I bought over 100 Xbox 360s, Wii's, PS2s, PS3s, and PS4s, and in this video, we're going to test and explore every single one of them and see what I find. Guys, welcome to the full compilation of The Hampton Hall. I'm driving 400 miles to buy a 700 pound lot of untested consoles from Goodwill, and on the way, I'm stopping at as many GameStops as possible to see if we can find some interesting goodies. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. All right, guys, we are here at CHKD Thrift Store in Virginia somewhere. We're gonna check it out, see if we can find some video games, so let's go. All right, guys, so we just went in this thrift store here. Uh, very interesting experience, didn't find too much. We searched the whole store, couldn't find any video game related stuff until we got to the front and looked inside of the glass case and found that they had a switch for $350. Mind you, this is a used switch. Don't know what was going on there. They also had a DSi and a case for 80 bucks. Again, way overpriced. And um, the store employees seemed to know a little too much about that DS, said there was some, uh, some pre-installed selfies. It comes with selfies <laughs> pre-installed and uh, it was Grant's old DS. I don't know who's, who Grant is. But the previous owner, yeah. <laughs> you know a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but a uh, pretty interesting place. Uh, let's go ahead and head on to the next store now. All right, guys, we're at a GameStop. We're gonna go in and see if we can find some interesting used and refurbished consoles and see what we find. All right, guys, so we just hit this GameStop and it was about how you'd expect from a GameStop. They did have the new Super Mario Wonder demo. Uh, we didn't have time to play it, but we uh, checked out the consoles there. They had some used consoles, uh, nothing too crazy interesting, so we passed there, but we'll go to the next GameStop and see if we can find something more interesting. All right, guys, here at GameStop in Virginia. Don't know where in Virginia, but we're here somewhere. We're gonna go check it out, see if we can find some cool consoles. Like, you have 52,000 points just sitting here. Is that a lot? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so we hit that GameStop, and they had some interesting stuff. Uh, we came across this Switch, which I'll show you in depth later, but it, had, it looks kind of jacked up. Like, it had a... It looks like somebody's replaced the screen at some time. So, you know, I had to buy it. The person there was very confused as to why I was buying the wonky Switch, but we bought it anyway, and we even got this pretty cool Spider-Man 2 bag since it comes out soon. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and hit up the next door now. All right, guys, we are in a mall, going to a mall GameStop. Had some adventurous parking, but let's go ahead and check out this, this place and see if they have anything interesting. All right, guys, so that was a really interesting GameStop inside of a mall, and there was just nobody there. GameStop didn't have much, but they did pull out some DS and 3DS games from the back. And we ended up picking up some. Uh, it was buy two, get one free, so let me pull those out. All right, so they're in the classic little weird GameStop cases, but first of all, we got Mario Kart DS, which I, I feel like was $19.99, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes these prices are wrong compared to what they actually charge me for. We got Super Mario Bros. 2 uh, for the 3DS, then Mario, Par Mario Party DS, and uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting that you can buy DS and 3DS games from, from GameStop here in 2023, but let's go ahead and go on to the next one. All right, guys, we're at GameStop number 45. Uh, let's see if they have any GameStops. All right, guys, so that was a pretty interesting GameStop run. First of all, we found a 3DS, which is awesome, an actual ret retro console. Um, got it here in this bag, but they, the person there, I talked to them, and they also confirmed that they're starting to get back into the retro game. Going to have some, you know, like PS2 consoles, PS3, 360 consoles soon which is very cool to see. I'm excited for that. Excited to see some more Bolt mods, <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and check out the 3DS we got. So classic GameStop, it's in a bag. I paid 130 for this, which is like definitely high, but honestly not outrageous uh, for a 3DS. I mean, like, to be honest, it just goes for like 250. But yeah, excited for this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next store. All right, guys, so we're in a pretty sketchy part of town, so we gotta get in, the, get in and get out of this GameStop quick. So I have no idea if this area is actually sketchy, but I will say that as soon as we got out of the car, there was somebody trying to give away free phones, quote, quotation marks free. I, I don't know what was going on there, but I deemed it as sketchy because that was a pretty weird interaction. All right, guys, not gonna lie, that GameStop was a waste. Uh, we saw, they had 
boxes in there for digital PS5 uh, used, regular PS5 used, Series X used. We, we, we tried to get a hold of somebody for like 10 minutes to ask them if they actually had the digital PS5 in stock and eventually it was like a new person that didn't know and then they had to ask somebody else and they were giving us the time of day and it, basically we don't think they had it but we're not 100% sure but we left anyway. Weird experience, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. Alright guys, so we're here at the next GameStop. I don't see it yet, but we're in this outdoor mall thing. We're going to see if we can find it and see if they have something better than the last GameStop. Alright guys, just checked out that GameStop. It was a pretty basic GameStop, nothing interesting. So we're moving on to the next one. And the funniest part was it had this sign on the front that said uh, you couldn't go in there if you're under 18. So I'm, I don't know what happened there, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, guys, on to the nail and spa for our last stop of the day, right next to the GameStop. Let's go. All right, guys, I ended up picking up a Series X at that GameStop. Couldn't find too much. It, they actually had a 360 box in display that we wanted, but they didn't have it in the back for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, I got a Series X and we'll check that out. So before I test out these consoles back in the studio, I just wanted to talk about a uh, pretty interesting experience we had on our way back home from Virginia. Um, <laughs> we had to stop for dinner, obviously, and we stopped at this uh, Mexican restaurant we found that was actually inside of a Days Inn, like like the hotel. Um, you straight up had to walk through the lobby to get to the Mexican restaurant. It was like it was fine once you got in there; it was normal and stuff. But uh, I just thought that was pretty funny, and we, we thought we were in the wrong place at first. But nope, sure enough, there is a Mexican restaurant inside of the Days Inn. All right, guys, we're back in the studio, and in the rest of this video, we're gonna go ahead and go through the 3DS that I bought, and also these DS and 3DS games that I bought as well, and just kind of explore them, see if they work, that sort of thing. And then in the video tomorrow, we'll go through the Xbox Series X and the, and the Switch Lite. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up right here and see what GameStop gave me. If you guys like the Hampton Hall and the Texas Load, you should check out my brand new sticker sheet with six high quality vinyl stickers. As you can see, we've got Texas Load themed stickers, we've got Hampton Hall themed stickers. I'm really happy with how they turned out. You can pretty much stick them anywhere. And if you guys wanna support the series, check them out on my website down below called jrobgaming.com. I'll have them for 10 bucks plus free shipping. You can also check them out on Whatnot with my link down below. And if you lose my link down below to sign up for Whatnot, you'll get a $15 credit. So you can get these stickers for pretty cheap. Also, by the way, guys, I do have Hampton Hall shirts for sale down below on my website. They're really high quality. You won't be disappointed. So check them out down below. I still just, uh, I don't know. I, I find it kind of funny that GameStop still sells consoles in bags like these. Like it'd be a little nicer if they had a box. It's not a big deal especially when you're in store, but they actually, I think they, I wonder if they ship them out in bags or if they actually ship them out in box. It doesn't matter, whatever. And yeah, so just taking a closer look at this thing, it is the, what is it, Aqua Blue, I think they call it? I think this might actually be like the OG model, like the one they released on launch day back in, what was it like, I don't remember the year. Um, but this thing is pretty dang scratched up and scuffed up and smudges and stuff, so I don't think GameStop wiped it down at all. The back looks like it was dragged across the sidewalk, which is very plausible. These things are used by a lot of kids that kind of mess with stuff. Um, here on the inside, wow, the inside is really disgusting. It, it, most of this is pretty easily wipe, wipeable down, but the buttons seem to all click. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and turn it on and just see if it does turn on. And the other thing to note is there is no SD card in the, here in the side, which is not surprising. I think GameStop is actually very strict about making sure they either remove SD cards or factory reset them now because I, I know they had some issues back in the past where they sold some SD cards with uh, very questionable things on them. I'll just put it that way, but it is. The console is booting up. Let's go ahead and uh, boot it all the way up and see if it works. Dude, I'm doing this, this 3D test now, man. This was, a uh, it was cool when it first came out, but the, like, the, the 3DS is so janky, especially on the OG 3DS. Like, it's, it's much better on the 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL, but, uh, the first one is just, like, you gotta keep it in one very specific spot for it to work. Not the best. All right, guys, we are booted up here. I do want to check the camera first. I have come around into a few 3DSs where the camera just straight up does not work, but a lot of times when the camera doesn't work, the console won't turn it on, on at all, so it's, it's probably okay but let's just test it out anyways. All right, all you can really see is the table, but yeah, the camera is definitely working. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really, who cares about the camera, honestly. Oops, I just took a photo. Uh, but let's go ahead, go ahead and go back to the main menu and try out these games. So first up, I have New Super Mario Bros. 2. I also have Mario Party DS and then Mario Kart DS, and the prices on these games were not bad. Like, I think they're a little bit above market value, uh, but once you, I think you had to buy, what was it, buy two, get one free, so it was actually, it was a solid deal. And the uh, game looks pretty solid. Let's go ahead and put it in. I never actually played this, this second uh, new Super Mario Bros. I played the first one on the DS, 
with my friend a lot back in the day. Like we played download play on that game, and that's a great sign. The the, the cartridge is not it's not reading. The pins on this thing are disgusting. Let me let me take a picture so you guys can see. I don't know. I mean, I guess taking a closer look at them, there's it's not too bad, but obviously it's not working. So okay, there it goes. So sometimes I run into that with 3ds sometimes where you have to plug it in twice for it to work. And now booting it up, I am curious to just to see what kind of save data we have on here and see how far people have progressed. I'm hoping GameStop kept the save data. Yeah, they did. So we got. Uh, world 2, World 1, so not too much play data. They got 57 Mario, 57 lives there. Yeah, so like I said, I have not actually played this version of New Super Mario Bros, so I'm not too familiar with it, but it looks like there's World 1, World 2, all the way up to World 6, and they've only up unlocked the second one. Um, so nothing too crazy there. And we did see the other save only had World 1, so it's clearly working. I'm gonna go ahead and inject this one. And let's go ahead and try to play out or play Mario Party DS and then Mario Kart DS. And I will say, I do like GameStop's little cartridges right here, like the cartridge cases they use. They are plastic, but it's just it's just nice for on the shelf and uh, when you buy it from them and it's not like loose in a plastic bag or whatever. It's just a little bit of an upgrade there, so I do enjoy that. Now let's go ahead and boot up Mario Party DS and make sure it works. Oh, we have a save file Autumn, which is <laughs> Danny's wife's name. That's funny. I don't know what MP points are. I've never played Mario Party DS. The only ones I've played are, I played Mario Party on the GameCube and the Wii, maybe, and then Switch. But I guess they haven't played all that much because there's still a few game modes that are not unlocked locked here, like Score Scuffle, Boss Bash, and Rocket Rascals. Uh, but yeah, there's just that one save there, so the game is working. Let's just check out like party mode and story mode to see if there's any save data here. Yeah, so that's where our save data is. I do wish it gave us like a date or something. That would be really cool. But uh, oh well, it doesn't matter. The game is working. Let's go ahead and turn this one off or unplug this one. We'll put in Mario Kart DS to test that one out as well. All right, yeah, Mario Kart pulled up. Let's go to the records here and see if there's any. Kind of, yeah, we got a little bit of, oh wow, that's not good. They got 18 wins and 39 losses and 12 wins and 13 losses on battle. Uh, wow, that's that's not amazing. Let's go ahead and see what all the characters they have unlocked here. So it looks like they have 10 characters unlocked. I'm honestly, I haven't played Mario Kart and DS in probably 15 years, so I don't remember if there's other characters you can un unlock or not. Uh, but yeah, that's what they have unlocked right now. Oh, we can check out the nickname here too. Cl <laughs> the nickname is Club Penguin. It's missing the end because there's not enough characters, but that, <laughs> dude, that's hilarious. I guess this person loved Club Penguin. That's just, I don't know, that's just funny. Oh, did they make this emblem as well? I guess so. It's like a half black, half green shirt. I don't know if that's supposed to be some from somewhere. It looks like a soccer jersey, honestly, uh, but I don't know. That's funny, man. All right, but anyways, this console is working. The three games are working, and overall, pretty good day at GameStops and a, a good day in the, the Hampton Hall. Now, make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next episode of the Hampton Hall where I go through the Series X and the Nintendo Switch. And then, of course, two days from now, I'll go through the entire lot of consoles. So stick around, and I'll see you guys next time. I drove to seven GameStops to buy the most interesting stuff I could find, and in this video, we're gonna go through everything I bought and see if we got ripped off. Guys, welcome to the, the Hampton Hall. So we have two consoles to go through in this video. Uh, first is a pre-owned Series X. I'm not sure if it's used or refurbished or whatnot. Uh, it's just what I found in the store. We also have a Switch Lite, which uh, was clearly mismatched when I saw it in the store. So that'll be that'll be interesting. But let's start with the Series X here. And the first thing I noticed is there's actually a sticker on the side that says it was like formatted and stuff on July 11th, which was a few months before I bought this console. So it's been sitting around quite a while. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. What is it? <laughs> it's like. Wait, no way, <laughs> what? Wait a second. There's no controller. You can't make this up, dude. Oh my gosh. I bought this in Virginia, so this was like 400 miles away from where I live, so there's no chance I'm going back to to get a controller. Wow. A normal purchase, somebody would have opened it up in the store and looked at it and seen there's no controller, but obviously I'm coming back to make it on a video, and so I don't see that until now, which sucks. And um, it, other than that, it looks actually pretty normal. Uh, we got all four rubber feet here on the bottom. We don't have any magic eraser marks, which is like extremely surprising. Usually with the, uh, you know, GameStop consoles, they're all scratches all over them, but this one's good to go. And flip into the top, uh, looks good as well. And in the back, this is clearly a pre-owned console, not refurbished because it hasn't been opened. But actually just looking in the inside, ooh, I can see in those cracks that there is some pretty heavy dust. And man, I, I just, I can't believe there's no controller in here. I should have opened this up when I got it. Unbelievable. All right, let's put that to the side for a second and open up the Switch Lite as well and see what's inside of here. Now this one, I actually did see them pack up this console so it should have everything inside. But let's see what's inside of the Switch Lite. Like I said, it was, um, <laughs> it looked, it looks pretty sketch just looking at the Switch Lite itself. You can see at some point they replaced the screen or somebody replaced the screen. Oh my gosh, the joysticks are like, 
it's like they're ingrained with, with like honey or something. Uh, but besides that, like I said, we got this gray screen here, which is not from factory at all. We even have a screen protector here. We do have a giant scratch there. I hope that's on the screen protector piece and not the actual screen. Other than that, it doesn't look too bad. We also do have a charger in here. Let's see. It's OEM. Hey, it's actually OEM. Surprising. And we have a little piece of paper. What is this? Oh, it's just that standard thing of how to plug it in. I, I do, I, going back to the Series X, like, I can't believe there's no controller in there. Like usually when you buy stuff from GameStop nowadays, you, you get a controller, cords, the console, and you actually get one of these pieces of paper like I just showed you, showed you that shows how to, how to boot it up, how to set it up, all that stuff. And this one was just like straight up the console, the cords, and that like bubble wrap stuff. And I mean, the other thing that was sketchy about this console, and I, I should have known this like right, right from the get-go that there was something wrong with this, is the, when we walked out, the person was like, yeah, make sure to bring it back here if it doesn't work. If anything happens, like just a casual statement as if the console was expected to not work so I don't know man let's plug it in and see if it works and just to add to the mystery here uh the serial number on the box does not match up with the consoles I'll just show a photo side by side so you can see it but now looking back at it and seeing that it was taped up twice it's like somebody did a swap a there but let's turn, turn it on though and see if it even works okay it is turning on and uh yeah let's hope it boots up Oh, and <laughs> what do you know? It was not even a factory reset. I don't have anybody signed in, but it's just like clearly already booted up. We have games and apps here that are not installed, but they're showing up like, what? What is going on with this console? Let's see if we can find any more info here in the settings. And just to continue adding to the mystery, there's never been a network set up on this console, which is like confusing considering they have two games that show up here. Let me know down below if you know what's happening with this console. I don't, I don't understand how you could have two games show up on the console, but not be downloaded and not signed in. I, I guess somebody could have signed in, downloaded those games, then signed back out and then and then disconnected from the internet and like deleted their internet connection. I don't know, I just like, <laughs> this is super sketch. So over here on the system update page, you can see it was last updated in June of 2023, which kind of matches up with the, what the box said. The box said it was factory reset in July of uh, 2023, but again, just sketchy stuff going on here. Let me go ahead and try to put a game, wait, okay. <laughs> For a second, I was gonna try to put a game in, but I wanted to first make sure there was no game inside. And I pressed the button and I didn't hear the eject button at first, but all right, let's put a game in and see what it does. So I put the disc in, it is installing, which is good to see. Um, I also tried to connect to the internet and it's giving me an update, of course, but we're gonna skip and stay offline for now because I don't wanna download a four or five gig update right now. Uh, but it does appear this console is fully working, which is <laughs> good after what we just experienced here. Let's go ahead and move on to this Switch console and Take a look at that. So next up over to the Switch and you can kind of get a closer look now at just how disgusting those joysticks are. It clearly looks like somebody was, you know, eating some pancakes with some syrup or maybe had some honey or uh, something sticky and uh, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, very disgusting. Let's go ahead and wipe that off though so I don't have to touch it anymore. The baffling part is the fact that GameStop didn't wipe it off when they got this console in. Like if somebody wants to trade in a console like this, then fine. But it's GameStop's job to at least wipe the console down and make it somewhat clean, like just, <laughs> just baffling. And actually the other, the other strange part here is the fact that we replaced the screen. So somebody replaced the screen and then used this console and got it this dirty. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man, These, this is so confusing. All right, let's go ahead and pull the screen protector off. It's not even a protector, it's just a screen film. So hopefully this screen is not as nasty as it looks. Oh, man. Oof. Okay, so it does look pretty good. It's got a, it's definitely a third party one though. Um, let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see if it even works. All right, so the console is booted up and the screen looks good. I mean, it is a Switch light screen, so it's, it's very warm and not that bright. So it's like, when you compare this next to an OLED, it's like whew, night and day. But I do have a game somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and stick that in the cartridge and make sure that works. All right, guys, so the game is booting up, clearly working. And is it just me, or did anybody else play the OG Incredibles game for the PS2, like, back in the day? You know, what, what was it, like, 2004, maybe? Um, man, I played the crap out of that game. Uh, but, yeah, this console is working. Uh, I think there was one more thing I wanted to test. Oh, that's the, uh, the joysticks. I want to see if we have any stick drift here. Let's go down to our controls and just uh, test those out. All right, so left stick here, and, yeah, looks good. It does feel a little wobbly, but no, looks good there. Let's go ahead and check out check out the right stick. And yeah, that one looks good as well. Okay, well that's that's good to see. Honestly, a bit surprising considering how dirty these analog sticks were. Still just like baffling to see that. But um, this console is working, which is obviously a good sign. But now what I wanna do next is actually open this thing up and just take a peek inside to see if we have any uh, just interesting finds. Cause usually when people open up these consoles and do repairs, and leave stuff all dirty like that. They usually leave some stuff behind inside of the console as well. So let's let's open it up and check it out. And sorry guys, one more one more thing with this Xbox. I actually did end up updating it, 
And scrolling over, I don't know if this was here before, but I just noticed it. We also have Ubisoft Connects, we have Borderlands, and we have Minecraft all downloaded here. Like, yeah, this is so, I guess somebody signed in, left the games on here, signed out so I can't use them. Huh, so, so this is interesting because on the home screen, I can see all these games that were here at some point in time, but when I go to my games and apps, I can't actually see them because I'm not signed in. And then going to storage devices, these games are clearly not downloaded here. The only thing downloaded so far is like the, the apps that come on it and then uh, NBA 2K21, which is start, I started installing to the console. So I don't know, that's, that is kind of strange. It doesn't really matter. Just clearly somebody uses console, put some games on it, signed out and left me in the dust here. But let's go ahead and move back on to the Switch Lite console and <laughs> Try to open it up. All right, got the back off and oh yeah. It's not terribly dirty, but it definitely is dirty, which is just like, again, it's so surprising when people leave these things filthy after they do a repair. Like, oh no, we got a, we got a spider right there. Oh man, I guess it's dead. It's staying still. And dude, look at this. Like somebody clearly came in here and just left a mess. Like all you gotta do is wipe this down a little bit. Like look like you tried a little bit, come on, man. But you know, overall there's not a whole lot of components in here to get dirty and, and messed up and stuff, but we'll take out a few more screws here and get this shielding off and just take a look underneath the shielding. All right, shielding popped off. And of course there was one missing screw. Again, not a big deal, but uh, just, you know, something to note there. And yeah, underneath here, it looks pretty standard at first glance. Let me just take a look around here and see if I notice anything strange. No, I mean, it looks like everything is intact. I see all the ribbon cables look nicely in place. Uh, we, of course, have our thermal goop right there, which is always fun to see. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of strange when somebody does a nice repair like this and then puts it back together and like makes it dirty. Um, now, to be fair, somebody else could have opened it up later on and made it dirty after the person repaired it. I don't know. Just always interesting to think about the scenarios here. But guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out the full Texas Load unboxing tomorrow where we go through the entire 700 pound lot of consoles. So uh, yeah, stick around for that. And of course, we're going to have videos every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday all throughout December. So Hope to see you guys there and I'll see you next time. I bought a 700 pound pallet of untested video game consoles from Goodwill. And in this video, we're gonna go through the entire pallet and see if you got ripped off. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. So while I'm going through this pallet, guys, comment down below how much you think I paid and how many consoles are in this lot. I'll, I'll reveal it in the next video, but let's go ahead and start here with the console first console on top which appears to be a complete inbox xbox 360 i mean it's a uh, it's a pretty hefty boy i'm not going to open it up in this video but there is uh there's definitely something in you know what let's open it up let's see what's in this thing that's actually in nice condition okay we'll put that to the side and uh, let's move on to the next one and guys we have ps2 wii ps3 xbox 360 xbox one consoles in here just tons of stuff let's go ahead and grab a few of these wii's and get them out of the way we've got one white wii a black wii a white oh the rare black Wii that is GameCube compatible. That's awesome to see. Let's go ahead and get a little sneak peek, see if there's an SD card in any of these. Not that one, not that one. Maybe this one? Uh, oh, baby. And the, wait, wait, hold on. The SD card is flipped upside down. That's actually hilarious. You cannot, yeah, you cannot make that up. It was upside down. That's a, that is totally a Wii thing. That's, that's hilarious. The next thing I see here on top is a PS2, which is awesome to see. My last lot that I bought from Texas was no, no PS2. It was, just, <laughs> it was listed for $72 at some point. I don't know why, but uh, all right. And next up right here is a PS3 Slim. Hey, that actually looks like not bad. Next up, we got probably the most hilarious Wii in the slot. First of all, there's a Wii Play disc in here. And second of all, uh, guys, that's upside down. The Wii goes like this. That's uh, just, just more great Wii stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. We even have a red Wii in here. Like, uh, I haven't seen a red Wii ever, I don't think. That actually doesn't look too bad. All right, next up here, we got a 360 Slim. Nothing special there. I guess we can check if there's a, a, a heart. Ooh, a 250 gig. Next up, we have another 360 Slim here. Oh, it's missing the side piece here, but any, nope, a hard drive. And oh, wait, here's the funny part. At one point, they were trying to sell it for $50, I guess console only, I don't know. Uh, it's just always funny to see where these consoles came from. I don't, I don't know where they came from. Just Goodwill is just selling a massive 700 pound pallet. And guys, I missed this. There is actually a PS3 fat back here now. It's not backwards compatible. It's a, what is that? A CCH L01 and holy crap, what is going on in the back of this console right here? Is that, I don't want to touch it, but uh, what is that? Ew. Next up, another 360 slim matte version. Looks pretty nice. And I just spotted an Xbox One, which is going to be very interesting. These are, uh, you know, obviously a fairly new console. I mean, it's a decade old now, but this is a OG Xbox One. It's got a dent on the side here. Honestly, oh my gosh, that does not look great. Um, honestly, these things are not even worth that much more than a 360 these days. Oh, and I spot another completed box 360 down there, but we'll get to that in a second. For now, let's pull out some more <laughs> Wii consoles, because guys, there are so many Wii consoles. There always are. But we got three 
game compatible ones here. They actually don't look too bad. And of course the classic Wii that's still connected, like it still has the sensor bar, AV cable, and the power adapter all connected up, which is funny. All right guys, we, are, we got our first special right here. Oh no, it's a PS4 Slim, but it's completely shattered on the side. That piece is broken, that piece is broken. The hard drive is still there, I think. All right, next up we got the classic PS3 Super Slim. We have a black Wii, uh, hey, another, one of the rare black Wii's that's GameCube compatible. A fat PS2 with the network adapter. Hey, that's cool. It looks a bit dirty, but no surprise there. Oh, a bit dirty, that's a lot dirty. But of course, we love seeing PS2's. Oh, hold on. A GameCube memory card? Hey, we didn't see any of those in the Texas load, so that's cool to see. We'll of course go through, oh, it's in a knockoff one too. That's, wait, look at, look at that dust line, that's hilarious. And then next up, got my first 360E that I think I've ever seen in person. Maybe this is the second one. And of course, a stack of Wii's again. We got five Wii's here. Four of them are GameCube compatible. One of them is not, does not have the flaps on top, as you can see, but um, it's just Wii. <laughs> wow, not surprised at all that happened. And guys, of course we have a ton of power bricks. I mean, I'm just pulling these out by the wazoo. Apparently I'm pulling out some connects as well. It's just like a giant, a giant, giant string of controllers. And <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Dude, we got duct tape on this cable at the gym. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Yeah, here we go. First Fat 360. I'm really, really interested to see what kind of 360 we get here because the last time we got a lot of Jaspers and oh no, we had a service date on that one. So that's not a good sign. We got a, what is that? That definitely is a Xenon, I believe, or a Zephyr, excuse me. It's because it's got an HDMI port. So that's not great. Probably got red ring. And uh, yeah, ooh, what is that? <laughs> Dude, we have a melted rubber band on the top. Next up, we got another Wii and another 360. Uh, this one is a 360 Glossy Slim, which man, I can't, wait, hold on. <laughs> still got the sticker on the front. So we're gonna go ahead and test this 360 you just saw because I find it very interesting that there is still a sticker on the front. Otherwise, it is uh, actually very beat up. And then looking at the back, we got our warranty seal intact, which is good to see. Manufactured in 2010, so one of the earlier slims. But let's go ahead and plug it in and uh, see what it does. Ooh. All right, I, <laughs> I was trying to plug in the power supply and I accidentally already turned it on and revealed that we do not have a free game, which is unfortunate. But let's go ahead and see if this thing works. Obviously the tray works. We have player one here who is dressed up as his avatar. I always like seeing people dress up and making making cool avatars, but uh, not much gamer score. Let's go ahead and see if there's any other profiles here. So we got three profiles here. We've got, first of all, we have DMV's Royales. I don't know. Uh, oh, Briscoe and player one. So let's go ahead and try. <laughs> that's a funny, that's a funny picture. Uh, let's go ahead and try out these two profiles and see what's up. Ooh, we got the nice little background. We got DMV, DM I don't know how to pronounce it. I got 6085 gamer score though. Uh, Guitar Hero Live back in 2017. So hey, this console was fairly recent for a 360. And then, wait, that's, <laughs> this person played Guitar Hero Live in 2017. And then before that, the last game they had played was 2014. So that, that giant three year gap, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, last but not least, let's put a game in and see if it works. And yeah, the game is working. So let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the consoles. Hey, so far no consoles with X's. Yeah, yeah. So the last, uh, the last Texas load, check it out on the screen if you want to check that one out. That was our last series of 900 pounds. That one had like 10 PS3s that had giant X's on them from Sharpies where clearly they were, they were tested and didn't work. Uh, we haven't seen any of those yet, but of course we still have a ton of consoles to go here. Next up we have another, hey, another 360E, which again, I do not see these very often, so it's interesting to see those. And these always have the sticker left on them. There's tons of crap in here. And look, <laughs> what is this? Is it like a little, what do they call those, like a wind catcher or something? <laughs> Attached to an AV cable? It's a good luck charm. I think, yeah, we'll call it that. And next up, we've got a whole bunch of uh, consoles right here. we got a 360 Slim mat. And then next up, we have, <laughs> really, another 360E. More 360Es than I've ever seen in my life. And then, no, you know, another 360 Slim. I'm liking all the mat consoles I see here because the glossy ones just get beat up so bad. And uh, let's just check the hard drive here because why not? And ooh, we got 250, A. Hey, let's go. And then guys, I spy another Xbox 360 in the box. I just can't resist, let's take a peek here. And it is 360, nice. I think that's that's a matte console, but it looks like on the outside it says it shows a glossy, so not the right console, but who cares. And we're kind of on a 360 roll here. We've got this, <laughs> we got the Thrasher Xbox 360 Turtle Beach as well. I've seen many of those Turtle Beach Xbox 360 stickers. Another 360 Slim here with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Game, oh, it's got a GameStop refurbished sticker. Hey, that's a jackpot right there. Next up here, I spy a couple more of these fat Xbox Ones, which nobody likes, but uh, they are here. Holy crap, what happened to that 360 controller? I don't think I've ever seen that happen to analog sticks. What? What on earth? Somebody literally chewed them off. Guys, we got another, <laughs> we got a Wii in a bag here from International Paper in Franklin Mill. <laughs> this is so random. It's all tied up stuff too. We got multiple, hold on, hold on. We got 
a couple <laughs> Wii operations manual, two of them actually. We've got two Wii's as well in here, and we've got a controller, we've got a random HDMI cable because you definitely need those with a Wii console. Guys, this is what we deal with in these, these lots. There's just so many wires tangled up here. You can see like, you know, six power bricks for the Wii and just random other stuff that I, I can't even tell what it is because it's all tangled up, but what a nightmare. All right, guys, so we got another boxed Wii back here, and since it's already open, we'll take a little sneak peek here. It actually doesn't feel quite as heavy, so I'm not sure if there's a Wii inside, and none there. Oh, the other is. We got a Wii inside, and of course, it's all blue from the packaging. We're going PS3 slim mode. We got three in a row. They all look basically the same. One's got a matte front, the other two have glossy fronts. So let's go ahead and test out one of the PS3 slims we just saw here. So got this one right here, which is very dirty. Flip into the bottom, we have three rubber feet missing and the warranty seal is gone. So not a great sign. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Got this bad boy plugged in. Three, two, one. We got life. And oh, we got a free game. Dude, let's go. Got Black Ops 2. This is, it is so rare that I get a free game in a PS3. So this is amazing. Well, that's not amazing. I just heard some very loud clicking noises inside of this console. Okay, so it says cannot start. Appropriate system storage is not found. Did somebody take out a hard drive? Hold on, let me check and see if there's even a hard drive in here. Yeah, there's definitely a hard drive. Now that noise it was making definitely sounded like it was coming from the hard drive base. So I bet this thing is just absolute trash. Let me just go ahead and turn it back on with the hard drive out and see if the clicking noise uh, still persists. Yeah, so I'm definitely not getting that noise anymore. So this hard drive was for sure making that loud clicking noise, which is not a great sign for a hard drive. We're not gonna do any repairs in this specific video, but we will put this, this console in a future video and of course repair it with a new hard drive and that should fix it. Um, but I'll, I'll put everything back together so it'll be a surprise for me in a few a few weeks when I decide to test this thing out again and find a free game. If you guys like the Hampton Hall and the Texas Load, you should check out my brand new sticker sheet with six high quality vinyl stickers. As you can see, we've got Texas Load themed stickers, we've got Hampton Hall themed stickers. I'm really happy with how they turned out. You can pretty much stick them anywhere. And if you guys want to support the series, check them out on my website down below called jrobgaming.com. I'll have them for 10 bucks plus free shipping. You can also check them out on Whatnot with my link down below. And if you lose my link down below to sign up for Whatnot, you'll get a $15 credit so you can get these stickers for pretty cheap. Also, by the way, guys, I do have Hampton Hall shirts for sale down below on my website. They're really high quality. You won't be disappointed, so check them out down below. And guys, look at this. We got another 360E, another 360 Slim. I'm actually presently, pleasantly surprised how many 360 Slims we've gotten because the fat ones are obviously less reliable. I do like to see fat ones every once in a while because we have a, have a chance of getting an NXC dashboard, Blaze dashboard, one more 360 Slim. And it's a glossy one. I feel like checking the hard drive on this one. So let's go ahead and see what's inside of this bad boy. And 250A. So of course, guys, we gotta get back to the, uh, the Wii console stacks here. We've got four white Wii's. Oh, we got another another fat PS3 here. This one is mutilated. We've got even the, the front piece right here missing. Scratched up like crazy. Hey, the warranty seal is still intact. Uh, flipping to the back, we are CECH K01. This thing looks pretty nasty. Now, I mentioned these fat 360s back here that I'm curious about. First of all, we've got a wireless adapter just hanging next to it, which is cool. <laughs> And then, ooh, we got another console with a service date of 2010. It's basically yellow on the back, and it appears to be, I think that's a Falcon. So that's not off. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at the top here. <laughs> what is this? You got cliff bars, um, some kind of builders in Chesapeake, Virginia, which is not surprising because we got it close to Chesapeake. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but that's pretty funny. And then while we're on this fat 360 train, I got another one back here, and that one is from 2006, definitely a Xenon. I will be curious though. I really hope we've come across the blades in this, this, uh, this lot. Another fat PS3 with the warranty seal intact, but unfortunately not backwards compatible, just like the other two uh, for our purposes. They're not backwards compatible, so who really cares? And what do you know? Another 360 slim, glossy with a, oh baby, GameStop warranty seal intact. Well, not intact, it's here, but uh, ripped off. So somebody did some work on this thing. It does look like it has a hard drive, maybe. Yeah, 250 gigs, dude. We're getting so lucky on the, uh, the hard drives with the 360 slims today hey wait a wee bag let's go anything in here we've got nothing 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 and more nothing great well you know what we do have another stack of four wii's all gamecube compatible hopefully all working but uh who knows these things are very prone to disk drive issues so maybe get lucky wait, what is that sticker what is that sticker, sticker? On? Oh. for we for we <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and test one of the Wii's you just saw on the screen. I already got it plugged in. There is no SC card inside, which is unfortunate, but let's go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. I'm hoping we get a free game. And, ooh, jackpot, I hear a game inside. All right, go ahead and guess down below. Wii Sports or, or Mario, Mario Kart or something else? What do you think? It's probably Wii Sports, but let's see. 
Let's go. We Sports Resort. That's a jackpot. Ooh, and the disc looks good as well, dude. <laughs> Every time. You can't make up how many free games I get in these things. Uh, let's go ahead and connect our controller and just see if the console works. And sure enough, booting up, we got all the classic channels. Actually, we don't have as many of the classic channels. Like, we don't have the uh, Check Me Out channel, but we do have the newer channels like Hulu Plus, Netflix, all that good stuff. Uh, no secret channels over here, and the game is clearly loading up and working. But let's go ahead and check out the last time this console was played. Wow, wait. Hold on, August of 2021? Okay, so they, yeah, they played Wii Sports Resort for half an hour for the last time and then said, no, nah, I don't want this anymore and took it straight to Goodwill. That's, that's how I like to envision it. It's probably not how that happened, but that's, that's how I like to think about it. And uh, that's, that's pretty dang recent for a Wii. But uh, let's see, let's check out the, uh, the save date as well. And we got a decent number of saves here, but anyways, this console is working. Great to see, first video, right off the bat, a free game, but let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the consoles. Yeah, well, you know, guys, we got more 360 Slims in here. Again, I like seeing the Slims. Oh, hold on, or the uh, the Slim mats and uh, yeah, Wii U. That's cool to see. Very scratched up, which is <laughs> expected with a Wii U. Here we go. We got another inbox 360. I don't want to open this one up because I don't want to spoil the surprise. But there's definitely definitely a 360 in there. It's very heavy. Another bag of stuff back here. It looks like another Wii bag. DRPT, Department of Rail and Public Transportation of Virginia. Nice. And we've got one Wii. We've got a couple knockoff nunchucks controllers a what is this oh my goodness disgusting put it back put it back <laughs> and yep that's it <laughs> hey our, our first non gamecube compatible black wii which is surprising to say that when i've seen so many black wii's today now next up we've got a 360 mat another xbox one fat i really want an xbox one s but i don't know if we got any of these in this lot all right guys we are making significant progress here we've got two more 360 e's we've got a fat ps3 down here with a zoo york extra large sticker on it it is an extra large console and you guys like wii's because i have some wii's for you and what do you know every single one of them is backwards compatible or ganky compatible except for one black one we've got another ps3 slim here another 360 slim what do you know another 360 slim I am curious, <laughs> got a random foot in the bottom. I am curious what the hard drive is in here. And dude, another 250 gig. These are, if you guys don't know, the 250 gigs sell on their own for like 20, 30 bucks. So they're pretty valuable. Oh, I might've just damaged some consoles myself, but we've got this paper bag. <laughs> dude, I've never seen so many bagged Wii's in my life. We got a Wii in here, a bunch of just random cords. We got some Wii wheels with controllers still intact. It's not even a OEM controller is a motion two in one. And hey, we got a, a rarity here. We got a 360 Elite and it's a, oh, we got a Jasper. Hey, finally, Jasper with a 120 gigabyte hard drive. Nice, dude. And of course, next up, more Wii's, but let's keep going here. We've got another another fat PS3 with the warranty seal intact. Never mind, never mind. Somebody, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Usually people just peel the whole thing off. This person just dug out a little hole for it. And dude, while we're on these fat PS3s, we got another one here. Another, another word to seal intact. Of course, it's very beat up and dusty. And we have another Geo one. So finally, finally a duplicate of one of, the, one of the PS3 fat models. We've seen pretty much every possible non-backwards compatible model here. I guess this is the face plate to the, uh, the Elite that was missing. And then next up, a couple more PS3 Slims. This one's got a random sticker on it. 160 gigabyte, which is cool. And uh, yeah, warranty seal. Oh, <laughs> GameStop warranty seal. Perfect. Wonder what that looks like on the inside. What if they bolt modded it? And then we got, <laughs> we've got this uh, PS3 Slim with a sticker just straight up peeling off, which is strange. I've never seen that happen. Wait, wait, it's like, yeah, hold on. What is that? It, yeah, somebody definitely like stabbed that. Forget the bagged Wii's. We got a, we got a boxed Wii now, guys. Dude, wait for it. Pez. <laughs> we got a Wii, we've got a, a charging thing. We've got some booklets. Hold on, what is this? We've got a Harvest Moon manual. <laughs> and it's a box Wii, but not the not the kind of box you'd expect. Hold on guys, we got another another PS3 Super Slim. Haven't seen many of these today. I think this is the second one. We got two more 360Es. We're almost getting to the bottom. We've got a few more surprises down here. And by surprises, I mean a GameCube compatible Wii. Now we do have a few more 360 Slims here. We've got a, a matte one. I'm kind of curious how many gigs this has. I'm gonna guess 250, because why not? And nope, never mind. Guys, we got a handful of consoles left on their GameCube compatible Wii. That's actually the last Wii of the lot. Go ahead and let me know down below if you guys, <laughs> guys counted how many Wiis in this lot. There's, there's a lot. And we have, what do you know, another fat PS3 with the warranty seal intact. Of course, not backwards compatible, but it is a LO one. So again, a nice, nice variety. I love when I see these PS3s with the power not turned off. People just yank it out. And guys, last but not least, we have a few 
360 slims left here. I'm gonna check just one of these bays for hard drive just because just I want to. And what do you know, it's a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Woohoo! And uh, yeah, guys, honestly, as long as these consoles, as long as we get a lot of these consoles that work, uh, this is a pretty solid lot. I mean, these consoles, none of them are smashed, minus the PS4 Slim, and they overall look pretty solid. So guys, let me know down below what you think, and I'll see you in the next video, because we'll be doing these videos very often. I bought over 700 pounds of untested consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna go through about 10 of the consoles, test and fix them, and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Home. My profit goal for this video is $200 so we can save up for a cool limited edition 360. I'll show that on the screen, but let's go ahead and start with this 360 right here, which is actually a 360E, which I don't see very often, so I'm pretty excited for it. It is pretty scratched up, but all things considered, it looks pretty good, and it's funny to see a manufacture date of 2013 for an Xbox 360. Uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, first 360 of the Hampton Hall. A little nervous. Let's see if it turns on. You know, I don't know if we got broken consoles here, working consoles, we're gonna find out here. And it actually sounds like there's a disc inside, so can we start off strong with a free game? Yeah, baby, let's go. NBA 2K18, first console in the lot. We got a free game. Now this doesn't mean much because it's NBA 2K18, but um, ooh, we got some profiles. Hey, I don't usually wear glasses, but I have some eye issues right now, so we're rolling with the glasses for Part of this video but let's go ahead and check these out we got how do you pronounce that that's almost like assassin and asian morphed into one name that's pretty creative you also got chris eric hall uh haters one two three jc jc money one two three and jcm and mad or nah one three four five just a classic but let's go ahead and put some of these profiles up see if they got some interesting stuff now being an xbox 360e console this is on the metro dashboard which is you know whatever not a big deal uh kind of a lame dashboard to be honest but uh, let's go ahead and check out Chris's profile here, see what he's got. Latest game played was NFL Madden NFL 17, so this console actually played pretty recently, even NBA 2K18 as we saw in here. Of course, all offline. Yeah, this guy just played tons of different sports games, which is fair. And uh, let me just scroll through all these profiles and see if there's anything else other than the sports games. Dude, Madden all has the best avatar. He's even got the gloves and everything. Um, but scrolling through all these profiles, literally every single one of them is just sports games, which is fair. Like, I love sports games as well, but... Uh, usually I try to throw in some other variety too. Oh, dang it, they, dude, they used up almost every every bit of the storage space. We got four gigs on here, only four megs free though. That's funny. I tested out the disk drive and it is working, so great start to the Hampton Hall. We got a fully working Xbox 360. It will be listed down below for sale on my website, which is called jrobgaming.com. And basically throughout the Hampton Hall, we'll have every single console you see in these videos listed for sale down below, at least like 95% of them. Uh, so go check them out. And we'll have a mix of like console only stuff, console controller, console controller and cords. We're basically just taking all the accessories from the Hampton Hall and throwing it in with these consoles and cleaning them up and that sort of thing and reselling them. It, we kind of have this cool system going on where we're gonna have a piece of tape here that has the number of the console and we'll match it up on the listing as well so you can kind of reference back to the video and see which console specifically you're buying. So this is number 33. You'll see number 33 on the website. And by the way, I'll throw a photo on the screen of how much I paid for the whole lot and how many consoles I got. So I paid like $1,400 for about 110 consoles, which is actually not bad. Uh, it's about $12 per console. So a whole lot cheaper than what I paid for the Texas load. Uh, moving on, let's go on to the next console. So next up we have some of my favorite consoles from the lot, which is a, a bag of Wii's. You can see this international paper <laughs> bag. I don't know why they're in a bag here, but we can see one Wii, we have uh, two Wii, and then we actually have some other just random accessories and stuff in here. We've got a uh, dirty controller, which probably has corroded batteries. Oh, actually, oh, I don't think they're corroded. Hey, that's surprising. We also have an HDMI cable because that's so useful for a, for a Wii console. And then we've got an AV cable for a 360, which is also very useful for a Wii console. We also have some manuals, a Wii jacket, and oh, we got Wii Motion Plus in here, which is actually kind of cool. But let's go ahead and plug one of these Wiis in. Actually, let me just check one of them out. We'll start with this one right here, which, wow, it's got both flaps intact and it actually does not have that many scratches on it, which is surprising. It is pretty dusty, but any SD card? Nope, no SD card, but that thing is filthy inside of there. How is it so dirty, but like there's not many, that many scratches on it? <laughs> Whatever, let's plug it in, see if it works. Got this thing plugged in, let's see if we have a free game. Usually the Wii's are, oh, no free game. You can tell like right when you boot it up, you can hear the noise and know if it's a free game or not. Uh, but usually, like I was saying, uh, it's pretty often they get a free game inside of the Wii. But let's go ahead and boot it up and see what's on it. All right, we got, it just looks like the standard. We got Hulu Plus, Netflix, Everybody do a Voach channel, the Check Me Out channel, some absolute classics there. So we have quite the variety here. We got like Wii Fit Plus, Zumba Fitness, 
But then we also got Mario All-Stars and some, some Super Smash Bros, that sort of thing. But let's go ahead and put a game in and just see if it works. So we'll put the classic in, Wii Sports. And, oh yeah. Wait a second, hold on. Nope. Oh, come on, dude. Nope. That's interesting. Nope. All right, well, for uh, temporary sake, we're gonna do a little slap here and, wow. That actually did work. I've done that on the 360 plenty of times, but I did not know that worked on the Wii. But if we fix that, it looks like it's working because here's Wii Sports and dude, I can't believe I actually just slapped the top of the Wii and got it to work. It's, that's amazing how universal that is. And coming into Wii Sports here, we can see all the Miis and it actually looks like we got a lot of Miis here. Ooh, we got Bad Dad. Ooh, okay. I see you. Let's see what you got, Bad Dad. Oh crap. Let's go. No. Pop out the, in the Indian inning. All right, well, we're failures. I failed there, but I'm actually curious if I eject the disc now and try to put it back in, will it still be broken? Did I just magically fix it by slapping the top and it's like fixed forever now? That's, it's a, the, the amazing thing is somebody probably gave this Wii away because it wouldn't accept discs anymore when all they had to do was freaking slap the top of it. I'm a genius. I can't believe I did that. And of course, we already checked out some of the Mies in Wii Sports, but yeah, you can see some here. There's probably like 15 Mies. This one is asleep for some reason. Livy, <laughs> so random. And of course, the other thing I like to check is I like to go to the calendar and kind of scroll back until I can find some play data. So let's do that. Oh, here we go. Wow, April of 2020? Person was playing five hours a week a day in April of 2020. That is amazing. All right, I'll take it. But this console is good to go as well, guys. Uh, and it'll be listed down below for sale. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so next up, we have the other Wii that was in that bag. Let's see if there's an SD card in this one. And nope, there is not. And overall, it doesn't look too bad. We got one flap left. Uh, but yeah, let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, three, two, one. And. Ooh, that does not sound good. Uh, no free game, unfortunately, again. That's crazy, but this drive is sounding kind of kind of whack. Oh, we got some games. We got Super Mario Bros. 3. We've got Pub, Pub Darts. That looks like a Super Nintendo gamer. No, that's just like a straight up, it's like a WiiWare game or something. Interesting. Okay, I, that's what I like to see. Free games, wait a second. No, wait, how do, there's no SD card. How is there, how are there photos on the photo channel? What? I'm so confused. Was it just me? There was definitely a photo of somebody on that little pop-up of the, of the Wii photo channel, but yeah, like right there, but I can't access any photos. All right, um, let's go ahead and put in Wii Sports. Again, no free game here, which is unfortunate. We'll see if this loads up. That sounded rough. Oh, ah. Oh. Yikes. Okay, so this drive is not working, which is great. So here's my thing with Wii disk drives. What I've found is that it's really not worth anybody's time to try to troubleshoot the issues on a Wii disk drive, unless it's very specific issues that you know, like it's the one solution to it, like slapping the top of the disk drive. Um, what I've found is there's like a multitude of different issues and like the time it takes this troubleshoot and find which issue is causing the problem it's just like not worth most people's time. But let's go ahead and scroll back and see when this thing was last played. Wait, another one from July of 2020? Wow, Deca Sports, Wii Sports, Photo Channel. Dude, what is it with these Wiis that are played for so many hours in the 2020 day? That, that's amazing. That's actually right at the start of the pandemic, so maybe people pulled their Wiis out to play because they were bored. I don't know, but just by the way, that little, uh, basically what I look for is this yellow icon for the messages. That, that doesn't mean that's the last day it played. It just means it's the last day that there's like a, you know, like a message on the message board like this right here. Um, so it's it's very hard to actually find the last day that was played. Like this thing could have very well been played in August of 2020, say, uh, for example. But I'm not going to scroll through every single day to find that. Um, so we're just gonna, we're just going to assume it was July 2020 when this thing was last played. Uh, let's also check out the Me channel and see what's going on there. Okay, we got um, 10 Me's. Eh, nothing crazy, but yeah, we got some Me's, which is already always cool to see. Manny, wait. Are these two Wii's like actually, maybe these two Wii's actually came, straight up came in that bag from the person who don donated them. That's gotta be it. Cause the other Wii had a person named Manny as well. And this one has a person named Manny. They were both played in 2020 and they were both in that bag. These Wii's must've been donated together, which is really interesting, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next console um, and uh, see what it has in store for us. All right, guys, next up, we got another 360 console. This one is a slim, and it, I mean, it looks pretty good. There is some scuffing right here. Um, we still got the warranty seal manufactured in 2010, and there's definitely a hard drive in this thing because it's pretty heavy. Yeah, we got a 250 gig. Yeah, baby, let's go. All right, let's plug this thing in and see what it does. All right, three, two, one. Am I plugged in? I think I actually have a bad power supply. There's no light on it. 
I just plugged in. Yeah, so that one was definitely a bad power supply because I just plugged this one in. It's got an orange light on it. So uh, now let's see if this thing turns on. All right, three, two, one. There we go, we got power. And ooh, I don't think I heard a game. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. But the disk drive just shoots straight out, which is always a good sign. Now it's time to check out what kind of profiles we get on this thing. We've got a nice little background of, I can't tell what that is, but we got a user signed in immediately. It's crowding, crowding toaster. Yeah, that's pretty creative. Oh yeah, it looks like a true gamer. Got the Xbox 360 shirt on, the camo pants. What is that, a skate park? Oh, that's awesome. I love seeing that. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2 played in 2020. Dude, all these consoles are like played fairly recently. Wow, 2020. Call of Duty Black Ops, Minecraft, Call of Duty Ghosts, a uh, bunch of stuff. Even goes back to 2014, so pretty, you know, a six year play history is uh, actually a lot longer than most people with uh, 360s. Spider-Man Dimensions, if we, if we had that game in this console, that'd be worth more than the console, but uh, let's go ahead and see what else we got on this thing. All right, we have 15 profiles. Awesome Man 50, Bishop, Caleb, Chara, Crowding Toaster, <laughs> God himself apparently, Heeb 95, Jamie, Kyle, Olaf, Olaf Master, Pink Angel 95, Pizza Master 24, Player 1, Spiciest Walnuts, Supersonic 1. <sighs> what a hand, what a, what a mouthful. Let's go ahead and try out Spiciest Walnut 1 and see what he's got in store. 22,000 gamer score. Hey man, that's no joke right there. Brian, get quad feed smoke dank weeds. He is from Virginia Beach, which makes sense because that's close to where I bought this thing from. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. We got 2019, again, I guess that makes sense because the last one was 2020. Uh, but like Call of Duty, Black Ops, Skate 3, Guitar Hero 3, Batman, pretty wide range of games here. We got a full 75 games here. Let's see when the last one was played. 2011. Wow, so 2011 to 2020 or whatever it was. Good on you, Brian. All right, next up, let's try out Heeb95, who has 7,000 gamer score. And no bio, no message. But we do have some games played in 2019. I mean, all of these, all these profiles have played games fairly recently. Does that person have vampire teeth and elf ears? I don't even know you can do that with your with your avatar. Again, played in 2019. But yeah, all the other profiles are like offline profiles. They don't have like a bio or message or anything. But again, they all have a pretty recent play history of 2019, um, all in that time frame. So yeah, I don't know, like a family of people, a dorm room, a pass down between family or friends. I don't know. It's always interesting just kind of making some theories about what happened with these consoles and uh, who played them because it is, it is kind of strange to see this many different profiles played within the same time range. It's, it's gotta be like a house with, you know, 15 different people, which is crazy to think about. But I don't know, let's go ahead and check out what kind of storage we got on here. We, we saw we had 250 gigs, but I'm curious if we have a bunch of demos or profiles or whatnot. Um, wow, a bunch of games are downloaded. Actually, let's see if these games are full games. Are they? Uh, no, not much. We got Minecraft, is that? Ooh, we got Minecraft. Hey, that's something. What? <laughs> No way, <laughs> I'm booting up Minecraft. I don't know much about Minecraft. I've only played here and there, but I'm trying to boot up a save file here and it's called Jacob's World 1. What are the chances? Uh, okay, uh, sure, let's load it up and see what happens. Dude, I feel like this could actually be an entire series just exploring people's random Minecraft saves on old Xbox 360s. I don't know, let me know down below, guys. Are you interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff? Like if people have save data from old, old Minecraft games, should we open them up and make videos on kind of just what we find? I guess I found this like house in the sky. All right, moving on. Let's see what else is on this console. This console also has Black Ops downloaded. Uh, let's go ahead and put a game in though and see if it works. Okay, yeah, the game's working. And you know, the cool thing about these consoles is as far as I'm aware, like you can see these old profiles, but you can't actually log into their profiles. So you can't see their personal data or anything. So let me know down below. Should I sell these consoles with the profiles on them? Like I feel like some people would actually like to see, get the nostalgia of scrolling through old profiles and stuff. So let me know down below. But anyways, this console is, uh, this console is working. It'll be listed for sale down below on my website. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we'll throw a little wrench into things and go with the PS3 Slim. And this one doesn't look too bad, at least compared to the Texas Load. Most of the PS3 Slims looked really bad. And we do also have our, our warranty seal intact here. It doesn't look bad at all. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. And I will note that in the Texas Load, all the PS3 consoles were actually clearly tested by Goodwill or somebody and most of them did not work. I'll be curious to see if these are the same deal or if these are actually truly untested. All right, three, two, one. We got life, any free games? Nope, Oh, here we go. A, all right, well, it's a good sign that it's not factory reset, but it looks like whoever turned it off last just straight up unplugged it, which is not surprising at all. Not factory reset, that's awesome. See, we got Netflix, Crackle, Voodoo Movies. Um, let me just go ahead and start with this, let's see, what is it under? Okay, memory card, you, no, what is it under? Save data, here we go, save data. We'll start here and see, okay, nothing. 
All right, never mind. Let's back up. Let's go see. Yeah, we got one profile here, which is Matt. Let me just see what firmware we're on. We're actually on 4.30, which is, uh, that's not that recent. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is from 2012. Okay, not too recent. I mean, it looks like we got a 160 hard drive. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's see what's saved on here. Okay, so the interesting thing here is it looks like whoever played this thing actually went through and deleted all of their save data, but left their game data utility because you can, you can see all the updates for like MW2, Red Dead Redemption, GTA 5, Liberty City, tons of stuff here. And that must be where all of our storage space is taken up at. Cause if you go back to storage space, you could see that we had like 50 gigs taken up. Yeah, we have 49 gigs that are gone, um, but I like, I can't find anything here. Let's go ahead and put a game in. I got MW2, of course, just like, just like usual. Uh, you know, PS3 Slim disk drives just, they always sound strange and they pull in slow, but that's how it's been for literally every single one I've tested. Um, let's just make sure it loads up here. And yeah, the game is loading up and playing without an issue here. And man, this is a great console. I mean, it looks pretty clean. And I'll flip it back over in a minute to check, but I think we have all four rubber feet, which is doesn't happen very often. But guys, this console, of course, will be listed down below again, um, which is like all the other ones, number 63. Let's so check it out if you're interested and let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So, I mean, while we're at it, let's go with another PS3 console here. We got a fat one and this one is pretty scratched up, which is not surprising considering it's one of the fat glossy ones, but looking at the side, we do still have the warranty seal intact, which is what, you know, I say fairly often, you actually find these with the warranty seal not intact, especially on the old fat ones. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it in though and see what it does. All right, I plugged in here. Let's flip the switch, turn it on and any free games? No free games. Uh, it, it's hard to leave PS3 games in the consoles because frankly, for one reason, they have a light on the front that tells you if there's a game in the, in the console. So most people remember to take them out. Um, but uh, it's booting up, so that's a good sign. Ooh, we got a few, got a few people on here. We got Anthony, BJ, and Jeremy. All right, let's start with Anthony and see what, see what's up with him. Oh, we got a message box. Let's go. This is the best part when he. <laughs> Sup, Tony. So innocent. That that's the best I've ever seen. Sup, Tony. <laughs> that's awesome. Usually when you <laughs> pull up a PS3 message box, it's got a bunch of like vulgar messages. Um, but, uh, man, that's awesome. Let's see, we had one save on MW3. All right, nothing much there. Uh, maybe that's why it was on BJ. Maybe he's the one that's uh, got all the save data. Let's, let's check it out. Now, BJ also has a message box here. Check out the received. We got one game in fight and we've got no sent messages. So maybe these guys just didn't play the console that much. We do have some save data there. We got like GTA 5, Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 2. So it looks like it was last played in 2014, which is, I'd call that somewhat recent for a PS3 considering the PS4 came out in 2013. But let's just keep scrolling around and see what we find. Oh, I, I keep forgetting this is a Blu-ray drive data utility. This is 40, that's that's a funny movie. Um, I thought it was actually gonna have the movie downloaded there, which would, would have been a jackpot. I was about to just sit down here and watch it on, on screen with you guys. We're on 4.55 and we have, it looks like a 40 gig hard drive, which is pretty typical for a old PS3. It's usually either, either 40 or 80. Um, unless it's backwards compatible. Last but not least, we gotta check out Jeremy here and see see what he's been up to um, in the last decade. Received, nothing sent, nothing. All right, uh, let's see if there's any uh, save data here. Yeah, Black Ops 2. So yeah, it appears these guys just did not play much, which is fair. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a game in and make sure it works. So it does pull, it pulls games in, although very slowly and you kind of get to give it a little bit of help, but. Not a big deal. It's kind of expected with a dirty console like this. Well, cool, game is working. Uh, no problems at all with this console. Although the, the disc drive was, like I said, a little bit slow, but other than that, console is fully, fully working. Again, it'll be listed down below on my website, jrobgaming.com, so check it out if you're interested. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Maybe this console does need a little work because the game is just straight up stuck inside of it now. Great. All right, well, let's open this thing up and see if we can get our game out. So I was able to open up the PS3 and then open up the disk drive and pull a disk out pretty easily. I just had to like release a top piece and it, you know, slid out. But I unfortunately did not have enough time to troubleshoot the disk issue because I just have so many consoles I'm testing right now. I'm hoping that later in the series, I'll have more time to be able to actually repair some of these consoles. But uh, for now, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we're gonna try out another Wii here. We have a white game compatible Wii with one flat missing. And it's got a sticker here on the front that says 39.90. Uh, I guess that's how much they were selling it for at some point at Goodwill. I don't know if that came with any cords or anything. I hope it did because that's pretty expensive for a Wii without cords. No SD card. And we have console number 76, I guess that is. I don't know. <laughs> let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. I really want a free... Dude, I want a free game. Come on, man. In my experience, most Wiis have a free game. We've run three in a row now with no free game inside. And it looks extremely basic. It's just like the default channels that come with your Wii. Yeah, nothing over here. No secret channels. Let's go ahead and check out the save data and see if this thing was even played that much. <laughs> we got two games on here, Super Mario Bros. 
and Mario Kart Wii. So yeah, this console was not played much at all. And the interesting thing is, I've seen this on another, another Wii before, but the colors look like, everything just looks blown out. Like everything is super bright. I wonder if that's a setting, because I've seen this on a Wii before where it's just like the picture looked wrong. Let me check. I changed a couple settings, but it didn't do anything clearly. It's still very blown out. I don't know why it does that. It's kind of strange. Let me know down below if you've ever, ever seen that before. But let's put a game in and hopefully it doesn't make any really bad noises like those last two E's. Sounds good so far. That's promising. Uh, but let's see if it works. Yeah, there it is. Honestly, <laughs> it'd be really disappointing if the game didn't work considering this console looks like it's barely been used. Only had two, ga only two games saved on it. But let's see if we have any Mii's. My guess is we have one Mii. I was right. <laughs> We have one me, Richie. <laughs> Come on, Richie, you played one time and just decided to quit. Uh, to be fair, the Wii could have been played, factory reset, sold, somebody else played it that, you know, but in general, people don't re factory reset Wiis because it's just like not a thing you think about with a Wii. And it's just like, there's not much personal data on here anyway, unless you type in your like personal information in the, the me name or something, I don't know. But let's scroll back and see if we can find when this thing was played. So kind of unsurprisingly, I scrolled through every single month and found nothing. So I guess this person didn't even play enough to get a, any messages on their on their calendar, which is funny. Uh, but all right, console works, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have one of the few Xbox 360 fat consoles here. And this is a Black Elite with a 120 gigabyte hard drive. And looks like it also has some Sharpie marker that was written on the side of the hard drive, which is kind of funny. Now flip into the back. It was manufactured in 2009, and uh, yeah, definitely a Jasper, which is good to see. It looks like it's never been opened. Not surprising, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, now that it's plugged in, three, two, one. Okay, there it goes. I just wasn't pressing hard enough. The, the button is kind of broken, which is just a faceplate issue. It sounds like we have a free game inside. There definitely is. Oh yeah, NBA 2K11, and what is that gunk on there? Ew, what the heck? All right, I hope that is not like Coke spilled inside of the console. I'll put that back in there for safekeeping, but surprisingly, this drive is opening out without opening up without an issue, which is, yeah, it doesn't happen too often on these fat 360s. Uh, but let's go ahead and explore this thing and see what's on it. And I guess I'll just start with the game since it's booting up automatically, and it is working without an issue, which is great to see. And now that we know that works, we'll go back and check out the profile, which is Anthony, and he's got 7,000 gamer score. Not bad at all. Checking out the achievements. Last played NBA 2K11, not surprising considering that's the game inside. And then also just a bunch of other various games, Mortal Kombat, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, uh, a lot of variety, but nothing, nothing played online here though. We have a couple other profiles as well. We got Anthony, Mori, and Rick. Um, so we already saw Anthony, let's check out Mori here. All right, well, not too much. We got a couple of Call of Duties, Burnout Paradise. Oh yeah, that's a good game. And then last but not least, we got Rick here with Resident Evil 5 and Army of Two. And then yeah, checking the storage, it's still 95 gigs free, so didn't use much of the storage here. Family settings is not turned on, which is good to see. And uh, yeah, I guess this console is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And you know, while we're at it, we'll hit another 360 right here. We got number 99, we got a 360 Slim, which doesn't look too bad, except for when you look inside of it, it looks like there's just, it looks filthy. I don't know, just a ton of dust and dirt. Ugh. Let's flip it around and, oh, we're missing a side piece. That's awesome. And we have, still warranty seal is still intact. Manufactured in 2011. Now checking the hard drive bay, let's see what's in here. We got nothing. So we probably have four gigs built in, but let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, got life and, oh yeah, there's definitely a game in there. Oh, it's not. What did I hear? Maybe I just, maybe I just heard the dust uh, kind of whirring up a little bit. That was ugh, strange. All right, we got a, ooh. <laughs> we got this guy looks like Frankenstein. Sketchy baton, sketchy baton, uh, 67. And we got Trey. All right, so let's go ahead and check out sketchy baton. Well, I keep, it's probably sketchy, sketchy baton. Uh, whatever, dude, I, I don't know. We got Brothers in Arms played in 2016. Assassin's Creed Revelations also 2016. And yes, this person picked up an Xbox 360 in 2016 and played it for less than a year and then gave it away, I guess, to Goodwill. Um, I don't know, let's check out the other profile as well. All right, next we got, we got Trey, who has zero gamer score and no games played, which is just just great. Let me go ahead and just <laughs> verify how many gigs we have here. Yeah, so there's definitely four gigs. So yeah, we got 1.7 gigs on demos. Naruto is the only demo downloaded. Um, so yeah, not a whole lot going on with this console, but of course, let's go ahead and open the disk drive up, disk drive up, put a game in and make sure it works. And I mean, luckily, despite how filthy this console looks, it's booting up, game's working. Um, I don't know, console works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. So next up we have this Wii console. Of course, just another white GameCube compatible Wii with both flaps intact, which is not too often you see that. No SD card, let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, I really hope there's a free game in here. Please, please, yes. Yes, I heard the noise, there's a free game. All right, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, Mario Kart, Wii Sports. Really, just dance. I mean, it looks like perfect though. Dude, this happens every once in a while, but I'll get a Wii 
where I have to stand back like way farther away to for the Wii uh, sensor bar to work. I don't know why, maybe it's the sensitivity. Okay, so somebody took the sensitivity and put it all the way up, so you have to use it from really far back. That's, I, I had no idea you could do that. But okay, cool, the console is working so far. Let's check out the save data here, see how much this was played. Yeah, we got some Super Mario Galaxy, Wii Sports, just some classic stuff. Of course, Just Dance, as you saw. Um, let's go ahead and make sure the game works, and then we'll test out some other stuff. All right, so Just Dance is working. Let's go back to the Wii menu and check out the Mii situation, see if we got any Mii's on here. Okay, we got a few. We got five Mii's. This one looks interesting down here. Bus driver. <laughs> we got the bus driver. That's funny. Yeah, it's all pretty standard, but we got the bus driver down here, which is my favorite. And of course, last but not least, let's go ahead and scroll through and see when this thing was last played. So this thing was played a long time ago. We got February 2009. We've got, what is this? Memo 30 days. Okay, strange. We feel that's played in 2009, that's funny. Let's see what was played in January 2009 here real quick. We got We Fit again. What? What is this? Oh, they set up a goal. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. They set up, they set themselves a goal and actually played We Fit and made little memos to themselves. So like, yeah, we're gonna count down to maybe like a weight loss goal or something. But the funny thing is there's no other memos after this. I mean, I guess I can scroll through a little bit to see if they actually played We Fit, but no, that's kind of sad. <laughs> So it looks like they held their goals for like a week and then gave up, but oh well. All right, this console is fully working and of course number 77 will be listed down below for sale. So go ahead and check it out. And overall, pretty good lot to start with on the Hampton Hall. So thanks for watching guys. And of course, let me know down below what you think about these consoles. We got new episodes coming every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday during December. So make sure to stay tuned and I'll, I'll see you next time. I drove 400 miles to buy a truckload of untested consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of the consoles and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. I'm still trying to save up for this limited edition 360, so my profit goal today is 200 bucks, and we're gonna start with this fat PS3 right here, which is <laughs> extremely scratched up. Uh, we do still have the warranty seal intact though, which is always a good sign. And then flip into the back, we have a model CECH L01, which is not backwards compatible, and we have, what is, ew. That is disgusting. It almost looks like snake skin attached to the, oh man, that's gross. Okay, well, let's, let's plug it in and see if it works. Oh no, man. Let me just show this to you guys. Back on, come on, show the audience. There you go. All right, so we got the yellow light of death, which is unfortunate. And you know, the real way to fix this is to solder some wires to the board, get your error code and figure out what the exact issue is. But we're gonna put this to the side, move on to the next console and maybe come back to it later. So next up, we'll hit it with the old trusty uh, 360 Slim because these things just seem to never die. But we got a matte version, which of course always looks pretty good. And uh, let's check out the hard drive bay here, see if we have a hard drive. Nope, but hopefully we have four gigs built in. Now flip it to the back, we do still have the warranty seal intact and we have a manufacturer date of 2011. Um, but let's plug it in and see if it works. Ooh. Oh, wait, <laughs> let's go, dude. I do this way too often where I'm trying to hold the console in place while I plug an HDMI cable or a power cable in and I accidentally pressed the, the sensitive button. And look what we got, guys. We got a free game, Red Dead Redemption, and it's a bit scratch up, but, but not too bad. But man, that's, that's a quality game. Let's go ahead and plug the controller in and see if this bad boy works. So I put the disc back in and of course it boots up automatically and the game is working. Now I gotta get my glasses back on for this bad boy. Uh, but let's go back to the main profile or the main screen here. Check out the profiles and see if we can find some interesting stuff. All right, so we got Ben, nice, all caps. <laughs> Dip his life, dip, dip. Dude, you, you can't make these profiles up, man. J Dog, uh, Player One, Chris Janes, all pretty. Oh, we got 20,000 gamer score. Hey, man, that's pretty good. But, dude, Dip his life, that's <laughs> that's hilarious. We got to pull this up and check it out. Yee yee. <laughs> I'm 22 years old and currently serving in the U.S. Army. Uh, but, of course, the last game played Red Dead Redemption. No surprise there, considering the game is in the console. But let's go ahead and check out the next profile here, which is. Chris Janes, of course he's got an Xbox Live profile, so he might have some, some like a cool bio or whatever. Let's go ahead and check that out. And yeah, no surprise there, his message is never back down. That just seems appro appropriate for Chris right here. I'm a wrestler, friend, gamer, and a fighter. That's actually a pretty, pretty wholesome bio right there. Most of them are pretty dirty or just like, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but I actually played Spider-Man 3 last in 2018. That's so random, but I that's pretty recent for a 360. And now this guy's got a pretty long play history. Let's see if the, let's try to find the first time this got played. 2011, okay, so 2011 to 2018. These 360s, man, these, these slims are just super reliable, fingers crossed, but let's move on to the next console now. And remember guys, this console will be for sale down below on my website. Uh, you can see it, it's number 98. So if you wanna find that specific console, check it out, number 98. 
And uh, let's move on to the next one. So next up, we'll test out this black Wii, which is actually GameCube compatible, which is, you don't see those very often, um, but indeed it is. And we got tons of scratches all over this thing. And flip into the back, we have our number there. Uh, actually, let me check. Is there an SD card? Nope. No SD card, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Three, two, one. And oh, baby, we got a free game in here. All right, guys, guess down below. What free game do you think is inside? I'm going Mario Kart. Really? <laughs> Skylanders, come on, man. All right, well, it's a free game, can't complain. But uh, I was hoping for some Mario Kart there. But let's see if this console works. All right, so booting up, we got a pretty standard Wii. I don't see any special channels here. We got, of course, the Netflix channel and Check Me Out channel, my favorite of all time. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out this game, just make sure it boots up, and then we'll go back and check out some other stuff. So I got Skylanders booted up, and of course, I can't even do anything because I don't have the, like, the little base or whatever you call it. I don't know anything about Skylanders except that you need that base to even play, so this disc is basically useless. Um, let's go back to the main menu and see when this thing was last played. Oh, hold up. September 2020. Dude, I'm, I feel like I'm finding a lot of Wiis that are actually played fairly recently. 2020 for a Wii is really recent. Um, we <laughs> played just a bunch of random games for like five minutes each. That's funny, and got a ton of messages. Discontinuation of Wi-Fi, YouTube on a Wii. This is, <laughs> it almost feels like this person booted up their Wii on this date for the first time in like in years and got all these messages because they were so backed up. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out, last but not least, the Me channel. Okay, not terrible, but only five Mies. We got Schwalib, Lyle, Genie, and De Defy, Demon D. Uh, this console's working, it'll be listed down below for sale. And uh, let's move on to the next one. We already got the cords out, so we're gonna do another Wii next up. Uh, we got a white Wii this time with one, one flap on top, which is just awesome. This console actually doesn't look too bad for Wiis. And no SD card, but it, ooh. No, never mind. It does look pretty bad. It's got some like sticky stuff on the front. Gross. Uh, huh. Well, let's plug it in and see if it works. Now, judging by the outside, I'm going to assume this console probably has a disk drive issue and probably does have a free game inside. And sure enough, it does. I just heard the, the little buzz there. Mario Kart, maybe. And oh, no Mario Kart, but it is Wii Sports. Let's go, baby. Another $20 game. <laughs> I love how many Wii consoles just have old copies of Wii Sports inside. Uh, this is pretty scratched up, but let's check and see if it works. All right, guys, are booted up. Wii Sports is loading up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the disk drive is pretty dang slow here. Like, that's a little slow, but then watch when I put it in. It's just like, yeah, that's a, that's not just a little slow. That's like way too slow. Now, if it's coming in slow, I, I imagine the, the rollers are just dirty. So we'll open this console up and see if we can clean those off and get it working better. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and explore this console a bit. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to check out the last time this thing was played. Oh, there we go. All right, November 2013, an hour played of Arcade Zone. What is, what is Arcade Zone? This looks like another case of somebody booting up their, their Wii for the first time and connecting to the internet for the first time in forever and getting a bunch of messages. Um, but if you go back a couple of days, it played some Wii Sports here, which makes sense considering we have Wii Sports in the console here. Yeah, a bunch of Wii Sports. That's like, that's classic. But still, 2013 was 10 years ago, so <laughs> in reality, not that recent. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the save data. Oh, wow. Uh, not much. Arcade Zone. I still don't know what Arcade Zone is, but we got Wii Sports Resort. Deca Sports, Wii Sports, and NBA Live 09, so not much going on there. All right, so console nickname is B and G Will. That almost makes me think of Goodwill because of the G and the Will, but I don't know. Uh, let me <laughs> leave a guess down below what you think that means. Um, let's go ahead and last but not least, check out the Mii channel. Oh, we got some Mii's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyways, console works. Uh, let's go ahead and eject the disc, put that to the side. We'll move on to the next one. And actually, before that, let's open this thing up and see if we can get the disk, the disk drive working a little bit smoother. So I have this Wii apart and I'm gonna clean it out a little bit so we can try to get the disk drive a little bit smoother. And the first thing I wanna comment on is where did this rubber band come from? Like after we disassembled it, we didn't even notice this rubber band until a minute ago. And I, I don't know if it started over here or if it was like in the disk drive or something, but we found it right here. And yeah, that's a uh, pretty sketch. Maybe that was causing our issue with the disk drive being kind of wonky. Let's go ahead and put a game in and just see what it looks like with the console all the way apart. Yeah, so it's still like a little bit jumpy, but that actually looks a little better. Um, let's go ahead and eject now if I can press that. Let's see if this is slow. Okay, it's perfectly fine now. Uh, honestly, maybe it's like the disk drive piece that's on the outer case that was causing it to open slowly. So we's back together. Let's go ahead and see what this disk drive does now. It is still a little bit slow going in. We'll see what it does when it comes out. So yeah, it's ejecting fine, but pulling it in, it's just kind of slow. Like it works fine, but it's it's slow. So I'm gonna take this thing apart one more time and just see if we can clean the rollers or something and get it working a little better. All right guys, so we're looking down on the Wii right now. This is the back of the Wii. And inside here is a disk drive that's kind of disassembled now. 
And you can kind of see right up there at the top there, those are the rollers, and you can see they're pretty dusty, pretty dirty. So what I'm gonna do is actually just take a Q-tip with some isopropyl alcohol and kind of clean along it, and then uh, simultaneously roll the rollers so that I can clean all sides. And we're gonna see if that fixes the issue. And yeah, by the way, these are what the Q-tips looked like, very dirty on both sides, so you know I got some grime off of there. All right guys, moment of truth, see if this fixed it. Boom, let's go baby. Yeah, perfect. All right, so all we had to do is clean the rollers and we're good to go now, so guys, uh, this console will be listed for sale down below. Check it out, and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, guys, so next up, we actually have an Xbox One, uh, one of the few in this lot. I'm pretty excited to test this out because I haven't tested out an untested Xbox One ever, I don't think. Uh, but it's very beat up, very scratched up. Flip into the back. Let's see if their warranty seal is still intact, and it is. Is it? Actually, it looks like it's been peeled up and then put back, maybe. Um, but other than that, it actually doesn't look too bad. Let's plug it in and uh, see if it works. I had to go digging around, but I found a Xbox One power supply. Let's go ahead and try to boot this thing up though and see if it even loads up. Uh, so three, two, one. Power's not plugged in. Let's try this again. Uh, ooh, yeah, there we go. Any games? Oh, no free games, man. Nobody released free games and newer consoles, man. Come on. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so I went to go find a controller and we booted up here. We got games. All right, let's uh, let's just check out these games and apps here. See what we got on here. So we got five games: Black Ops 4, FIFA 19, Forza Horizon 4, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Never heard of that. Witcher 3. Uh, but let's try to boot up one of these games and see if it'll work. Oh, I need to be online. Okay. You know what? First, first, hold on. Let's take a step back here. Let's go check out what uh, what firmware update we're on, so we can see how old this thing is, and then we'll try to update. The OS version is 10.0.19041. Let me just see if I can find when this thing is from. Okay, so it's actually from 2020, which I guess makes sense now that you look at it and it says 2020 Microsoft on the side. Um, so that's actually fairly recent in terms of the Xbox One life, uh, life cycle. But let's go ahead and see if we can connect to the internet and actually play these games that are on here. This person's Wi-Fi name was FBI Tactical Assault Bravo Tango. It's actually pretty funny because my Wi-Fi name is FBI Surveillance Fan, so it's pretty close. All right, so no surprise there. We got an update. Um, I'll just go take a nap for a few hours and we'll come back when it's done. All right, guys, so hours later, we're finally finished with the update. Let's go ahead and try to sign in now and see if we can actually play any of these games. Oh, wait, hold on. We got more than one profile. I didn't even, not even, not even notice this. We got, wow, Raggedy U6, Showcase. That's actually a pretty funny name, Showcase. Uh, Little Worm 8. These are not even, wait, what? Holy crap. These are not even names. They're just random emails linked here. Let's start with the first profile and see if we can play these games. Oh, oh okay, this person's got a pin. I, I guess I'll try to guess it. I guess I did actually guess the, the pin correctly, but now it wants my password as well, which obviously I don't have because this is not my account. All right, well, uh, I guess we won't be able to play these games, unfortunately. Let me just try it anyway. And yeah, nope. I can't really see much on this console since I can't sign in, uh, but let's go ahead and try to put a game in and just make sure it actually works. Well, uh, the Xbox seems like it's doing nothing when I put a game in. It goes in perfectly fine and I hear it lock into place and it sounds like it's, it tries to spin but then does nothing. But the Xbox is also kind of freezing and trying to install a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if that's an Xbox issue or if the disk drive is just straight up not working. Let's try one more time. Well, Assassin's Creed is not working, so I'm gonna put that to the side and try out a couple other Xbox One games, see if those work. And if they don't, I'll probably just factory reset this console and see if that fixes the issue. Okay, so that that game also went in without an issue and actually started spinning up and then just stopped. Well, last but not least, we'll try Anthem here and see if that works. Well, now this game's working. What? I don't know, man. Let's just go ahead and factory reset this console and see what happens. Okay, this is funny. So. I decided not to factory reset, and I decided to actually put Assassin's Creed back in, and now it's working fine. I guess the disk drive just needed to warm up. That was strange. Let's try an Xbox 360 game as well. Yeah, so I put MW2 in, and it's giving me the install file now without an issue. So I don't know what was going on. Uh, I'll do some more testing before I list it down below on my website, but we'll call this console good for now, and let's move on to the next console. All right, so next up, we're going back to the PS3. Got a PS3 Slim here, and this one, I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good. Flipping to the bottom, we have, <laughs> of course, only three of the four rubber feet, uh, as per usual. The warranty sticker is still intact, so let's plug it in and uh, see if it works. And actually, you know what I just noticed is that the this side of the PS3 is actually misaligned, the top and bottom piece, which is strange because the console is still fully intact. I don't know, I've seen that on a few PS3s before, but let's turn it on and no free game inside, but it is booting up. Yes, no yellow light of death, let's go, baby. All right, uh, system, of course, as per usual, system was not turned off properly last time it was used. There we go, baby, all right, we're booted up. Let's go ahead and check out these profiles first, see how many we, how many we got on here. We got Ross31, three, one, three exclamation point one three, okay. And uh, first of all, we gotta, of course, check how much storage space we have here. All right, so we got a 120 gig hard drive, 
We're on version 4.86, so this is actually played, I'd say, fairly recently. Let's go ahead and check out the save data and see if we can see the last piece of data saved here. We got GTA San Andreas back in 2020. Dude, so many consoles in this lot played in 2020. Uh, but that's that's it, G GTA San Andreas, that's, that's all. Not a single message sent or received. Uh, so this person clearly didn't play a whole lot. Just, uh, I saw a Hulu update, so I played Hulu, played GTA San Andreas. Not much else. Let's go ahead and put a game in though and see if it works. Oh, no, come on. Okay, there it goes. All right, the disk drive was super slow at first, but it is booting up. Let's make sure it works all the way though. All right, well, game is working, console's working. Uh, last but not least, we need to eject the disk here and make sure it actually ejects all the way because the last game I played on the PS3, it had, it had issues ejecting, so. Oh, oh, come on, man. I mean, at least it's ejecting, but it's like ejecting half. Oh, come on, dude. What is it with these PS3 disk drives, man? So it, it, it works if you grab it at the end and pull it all the way out. Let's try to put it back in and see if it does that consistently. Okay, well now it's, now it's working. So I tried it five or six times in a row and the disc is ejecting and pulling it in just fine. Now, I will still open it up and try to clean it out and see if it just becomes more consistent. All right guys, I have this PS3 apart. We're gonna try to fix the slow disk drive issue. Um, it appears to be pretty dusty and dirty, so I'm gonna first start by just blowing out the disk drive. And then the next thing I'll do is take an isopropyl, uh, take a Q-tip and put some isopropyl alcohol on it and just clean these little, ro these little rollers right here. One, two, three, four rollers. And just see if that will uh, fix the disc issue. Um, so let's try that out and see what happens. I got those rollers cleaned and put the console partially back together. And in all honesty, I don't, I'm not sure it's going to work because those rollers really weren't that dirty. But we'll try it anyway. It's worth a try. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we put it in. I believe when we went in, it didn't have an issue. I think it was just coming out. It was kind of slow. So now is the moment of truth. Yeah, it's definitely smoother than it was. All right, now for our final test, we got this piece back on. Let's go ahead and see what it does. It's definitely going in there. I just don't like, <laughs> I don't like how it pulls it in, but yeah, it's definitely coming out. It's definitely not as smooth as I'd like it to be, but I think that's just PS3 slim thing. So we're gonna go to here. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we'll test out this Xbox 360E. And of course, very scratched up. Uh, let's check the back though and see if the warranty seal is intact. It is. And then of course, next we wanna check the hard drive by bay. And yep, we do have a 250 gig hard drive, which is awesome. Sweet. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see if it works. And dude, I, I didn't realize how creaky the Xbox 360E is. Like just listen to that. Every time I just like touch it, it's like, <laughs> it's, I guess it's their latest, cheapest model. So I'm not too surprised, but interesting. All right, three, two, one. We got life. Oh, there's definitely a game inside. I could have sworn I heard a game in there. It definitely made some sort of weird noise when I booted it up. I guess maybe that's just the noise that the 360E makes when it boots up and tries to see if there's a game. Uh, immediately we got one profile here, Agu, Agu, Aguni? I don't know pronouncing that right, probably not pronouncing that right. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any other, other profiles here as well. Nope, just uh, one profile. It is an Xbox Live profile, so we might have some a message or something. I don't know, let's check it, check it out. And no message, no bio, and <laughs> eight games played, Connect Sports. Just Dance 2015 back in 2017. And yeah, just a, this is a very random mix of games. World of Tanks, Forza Horizon, Connect Adventures. All right, so be it. Uh, okay, let's put a game in, see if it works. We're gonna say our Red Dead Redemption from earlier. Put that game in. All right, guys, well, this game's working without an issue. Console is working. Kind of honestly a waste of the 250 gig hard drive. Just nothing on this console at all. But let's go ahead and just uh, move on to the next console. So next up, we got a white Wii, which is GameCube compatible. Of course, it is missing a flap. Uh, SD card, nope, no SD card. But let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, turn the console on. I'm still hoping for a free Mario Kart copy. No, no disc at all, come on, man. Oh, crap, dude, we got some games. All right, guys, so we got no free game, but we got other free games, if you know what I'm saying. We got, of course, the classic stuff, news channel and stuff. We also got World of Goo, Critter Roundup, Tiki Tower, Super Mario Bros, Str how do you even say that, Dan Danger Esk 3? Uh, I don't, what is it? This looks like a WarioWare game or something. We also got the, ooh, the Wii Fit channel. I love checking out the Wii Fit channel to see when people last played that. Okay, okay, let's start here, guys. Uh, let's just start with the Mii channel, actually, this time. We're gonna flip the script and uh, see if this person's, person's got some Mii's. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, baby. Gotta love seeing some Wii's here. Some Mii's, excuse me. What kind of name is that? Okay. Um, <laughs> dude, this is definitely one of the people that just made a bunch of random Mii's and used gibberish as the, as the names. All right, so first of all, I actually put a game inside to see if it works, and I don't have much hope. Yeah, just, just listen to this. Oh, man. 
So as you guys saw, the weed disk drive is not working. And I, in my mind, I have three options here. The first option is to tr open this up and actually troubleshoot the specific issue, replace a laser, whatever. But in my experience, that's just not worth it for the Wii because of how much time that takes and the fact that you can buy a used Wii like this, like console only for 25 bucks. Uh, and then you can also buy a replacement disk drive for like less than 20 bucks. So what I'm gonna do here is just buy some replacement disk drives off eBay. And if we come across any more of these that just don't work, I'll just swap out the disk drive, which is actually pretty easy to do. But let's go ahead and test out the rest of these games and make sure these other uh, pre-downloaded games actually work. Ooh, so I got this dangerous game booted up and you can actually see save data dates here. So we got the last auto save was back in 2015. And then the save before that was save game two back in, in 20, 2008. So this person actually has a pretty um, extended play history of this. We need to check the last time this console was played. So let's go ahead and scroll through here and, and uh, find it. All right, September 2010 is the last time I see a message here and not even any play data, it's just a message. Okay, nice, great. How does this happen? We got a new personal best here, but there's no play data? I didn't even know that was possible. Okay, here we go. Finally, we got some bunch of, wow, eight hours in this day of random games. Toy Story Mar Mania, that's actually a pretty fun game. Uh, WarriorWare, this is back in July of 2010. So I, I couldn't find any play data in 2015, even though I scrolled through it, and I saw that save data from 2015 earlier, but oh well, whatever, console is working mostly, minus the disk drive. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right guys, so next up we got another Wii here. It is GameCube compatible and no SD card, but this one, this one actually looks really clean. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, free game please. Ooh, I hear one. All right, Mario Kart. I'm, I'm looking for Mario Kart, guys. Please, Mario Kart, please, please. <laughs> Oh man, it's one of the <laughs> one of the Wii's that has an upside down game, and it's oh Home Alone, dude jackpot! Oh, that is perfect. It's Christmas time. Home Alone. Oh, let's go, dude. I actually, I'm gonna take this home and keep this. Uh, the, now the funny, <laughs> there's a couple of funny things going on here. First of all, you can't play DVDs on Wii's; they just don't work. Second of all, it was upside down. Now I'm curious, did this person get rid of their Wii because they thought it was broken? I don't know, but let's check what's on here. All right, so booting up looks pretty standard. Got all the normal channels. No hidden channels over here. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure game actually works though. Yeah, so Wii Sports is loading up. Uh, this personally, <laughs> this person definitely got rid of their Wii because Home Alone was not working. That's 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 hilarious. Uh, let's ch let's check the last time this thing was played. Oh, there we go. I almost missed it. We got July 2011, and a hey, there it is. We got Wii Party, Wii Party, and Wii Sports. So, oh man, how do they? I really wish they had left Wii Sports in here instead of Home Alone, but we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, they just added this person, Butch, here. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> 2011, 12 years ago. Wild, wild that 2011 was 12 years ago. Uh, let's go ahead and, speaking of Mii's, let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel and see what's on there. Okay, okay, we got a few here. <laughs> we got Michael Jackson. That's hilarious. We got Dad. Okay, yeah, looks like a Dad. Melanie, Lexi. We got Jacob. Nice. Egg. <laughs> Egg food. Okay, yep. But anyways, this console is working. It'll be listed down below on my website for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up we have a glossy 360, and I don't know why, but this thing just feels way heavier than it should. Okay, yeah, it's got a lot of scratches, of course. Warranty seal is still intact. And let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive here. I would guess we do based on the weight. Yeah, we definitely do, 250. And dude, for, for how heavy this thing is, it's gotta have maybe a handful of games in the disk drive. I, I don't know why it feels so heavy, but let's turn it on, see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got life, definitely a game inside. Okay, apparently I just don't know what noise I'm looking, listening to when I when I, when I I boot up 360s because there's clearly not a game inside. All right, let's see if this thing works. Oh, we got Cheesy Go, okay. Millie Marie, Draven, or Draven, I don't know. Uh, not a whole lot going on here, but let's go ahead and boot up Cheesy Go, let's see what's up. And nothing in bio, Minecraft, Dance Masters Evolution, what is that? I've never heard of that in my life. Uh, last played in 2014. All right, uh, how about the other guy? All right, Draven, uh, he's definitely got a customized avatar, which is cool to see. No Xbox Live profile, so he doesn't have any of that, that history there. Uh, Need for Speed, The Run was the last game played. Halo 3 ODST, Lego Batman 2, and then just a handful of random games like uh, Zoom button, Your Shape, FE 2012, whatever that is. So game's working, console's good to go. Uh, it'll be, again, it'll be listed down below for sale. And uh, yeah, pretty good lot of consoles here. I'll throw, I'll throw the full profit on the screen. I think we have enough now to buy the limited edition console I wanna buy. Uh, so we should hopefully see that in a future video soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in for the rest of the Texas- The Texas low. The rest of the Hampton Hall videos, which will be on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. And again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I bought 39 untested Xbox 360 consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test, explore, and fix about 10 of the consoles and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. 
my profit goal for this video is 300 bucks, so let's hope we can hit that. Now, uh, we're gonna start with this Fat 360 here, which is very beat up and dirty. It smells like bugs, and uh, flip into the back, it is clearly a Xenon console. Uh, no HDMI port, and you can see the port down here definitely says it's a Xenon. Hopefully it's not red ringed, but let's plug it in and see if it works. My nose is getting itchy from all the dust flying out of this console, but let's go ahead and turn it on, see if it works. So three, two, one. Come on, launch, please. Oh yes, let's go, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 that's an old dashboard. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. No way, let's go. This is unreal, are you, s oh my goodness. Dude, what a jackpot. Holy crap. We just hit a Blaze dashboard. Still got a guy signed in here. Wow, this is unreal. Is there a game in here? No, but of course the disk drive is stuck. Just like a, oh, that gave me the full, the full 2006 experience right there. Like, dude, I, I cannot believe we just booted up to the Blaze dashboard here on a random console from a huge lot of, what is going on here? All right, we'll start with the profiles here and check out what's on this console. So we got Krogsund here with a five, a five-star rep. You guys remember rep on the 360? What a throwback. Let's go ahead and click on this profile and see what he's got here. <laughs> this is like grade A 2006 Xbox Live stuff right here. We got, first of all, it says all in one, whatever. Uh, name is Matthew and he's on your mom's couch. Just like, what else do you expect from a 360 of this time in this, this era, man? I mean, uh, let's check out the games library here and dude, we got 15 games played or 15 games on here. Last game played was Hexic HD. We got Battlefield 2 demo. We got the Dead or Alive 4 demo. Dead Rising, dude, this is this is amazing. This is like, this is my guy. He's just got demos galore. I mean, like, this is how you did it back in the days of the 360. You just downloaded as many demos as possible. Uh, they're all free, amazing, great times. And, uh, dude, let's, <laughs> are there any other profiles here? Let's go ahead and sign out and check it out. We've got, dude, we have 10 profiles on this 360. What a jackpot. All right, we got uh, B, Jessica. We got the guy we just saw, Lauren, Matt. Noi <laughs> Noisel. And last but not least, we got two down here on Xbox Live, which is uh, S757 Bibg X16X. That's like 2007, man. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and see what's up with it. So we got another five-star rep here, which is great to see. Uh, 2600 gamer score. And uh, let's see, any mess? <laughs> <sighs> You can't make this up. This is this is straight up 2006, 2007 Xbox Live era, man. This is oh, this is the epitome of that. We got a uh, uh, first of all it says Robert SKK for life. I don't know what that means. Uh, a bunch of other gibberish. No man's land. And then the last line here, uh, I can't say it or display it, but it says, "Word, word, you British word." I'll let you guess what that says. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I guess we can go to played games here and see the last games played. Uh, Call of Duty 4, Fusion Frenzy 2, Gears of War, Army of Two, uh, Halo 3 got on 960 gamer score, so he almost finished this game. Yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other Xbox Live profile as well. All right, so this one is w Wall Wall Gameth. Uh, let's go ahead and see if he's got a. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This guy's got a five star rep and a 23,000 gamer score, dude. You are not recreation. You are pro. Like, like just picture this. This is 23,000 gamer score, like probably a year or two into the life cycle of the 360 because the blaze dashboard was not around not around too long and the message says who dares wins and it says scott from suffolk virginia which makes sense because i bought this whole lot of consoles from virginia and going to played games you also got call of duty 4 dead space i mean we've <laughs> we've had a remake of dead space since this since that came out uh rock band gears of war 2 uh just tons of how many games are on here let me just scroll i mean that's impressive there's like 30 games on here two years into play like, let's check out the hard drive actually and see how many gigs it is. All right, so we got 13.9. Yeah, it's probably a 20 gig hard drive from basically launch. You saw it was manufactured in 2006, so like a year after launch. And one of the other things to note here is that we actually have the marketplace here, which was a tab that was added later to the Blaze dashboard. So this is not like an OG Blaze dashboard console. This is uh, a little bit later. Now checking out, let's go ahead and check the console settings and uh, see what the actual dashboard is. So we are on 2.0.6717, which is uh, actually the very last Blaze dashboard that was made. So this is like 2008 right before NXT came out. So we got we got pretty lucky here that they didn't update. Now I feel like there's a chance there's music on here from No way. We actually have we actually have music on this console. BYOB Band Girls Money Bro. <laughs> Dude, I bet there's some tr game trailers here probably like Halo 3 or something. Uh we got Wait, wait. This is a music video, isn't it? Yeah, Dave Matthews Band music video from 07 here. Dude, this is like oh, Army of 2 trailer, a skate trailer. Uh <laughs> A debut trailer of something. I mean, like, let's just open one of these up. And dude, even this control bar at the bottom is like, oh, what a throwback. Now, next up, of course, we should probably open up the disk drive and try a game. So let's put a game in. 
and see if it works. Of course, we got a Blades dashboard game we got to play, so Call of Duty 2. So basically, if you have a game that's too new, it'll force you to update. So we want to make sure we're playing on a game that's really old. So Call of Duty 2 came out, I think it was a launch game, so this is definitely safe to play. We'll go ahead and put it in, and I actually saw some Call of Duty uh, save data on one of these profiles, so maybe we can find some, some old save data here as well and load it up. Or not, because the console, let me just, let me, let me let you hear this noise right here. You probably can't really hear it, but it's like squealing. Um, definitely not working, and now it's not ejecting. Okay, there it goes. And this is one of those situations where you're like, do I fix this console, or do I let it just live in its old Blaze dashboard glory and let it sit? Because I've actually opened up a Blaze dashboard in the past console, Blaze dashboard console in the past, and um, physically, just from the, the act of opening it up, it, it broke uh, because it was so fragile. So I don't know, maybe, but let's just go ahead and start by turning this thing off. I'm gonna pop the faceplate off here and see if this thing's ever been opened up before. All right, so faceplate off, and wow, I think this thing is unopened. Wow, yeah, that warranty sticker looks fully intact. Flip into the back, we do have some wear and tear like on the holes, so it looks like it's been attempted to be opened, but I guess they didn't go through with it. Ooh, man, I don't know. I'm not gonna fix it in this video, but guys, let me know down below, do you think I should try to fix this or should I just, should I just leave it? But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, I have a 360 Slim that I think will be pretty interesting. It's, uh, of course, very filthy. And then flip it to the side, we have a, a hard drive with a GameStop warranty or a GameStop, excuse me, a GameStop refurbished sticker on it. By the way, this thing is like not pulling out hardly. Um, but yeah, GameStop refurbished sticker on that hard drive, 250 gigs, barely clicks into place. That's strange. A uh, warranty seal still appears to be intact, maybe. Uh, manufactured in 2010. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, console turning on, free game. Dude, GTA 5, let's go, baby. Oh, that is awesome. All right, we got GTA 5, and ooh, it is scratched up like crazy. Now, the downside with GTA 5 is this is just, this is just a play game. We have to have the other, other disc to install it, so that's unfortunate, but we got half of it, and we have, ooh, we got some profiles. Let's go ahead and check those out. Dude, and of course, <laughs> as I'm trying to check out the profiles, the game auto boots, come on, man, take me back to the home screen. I'm just trying to check out these dang profiles. All right, so we have a few profiles here. We got Briella with no pants on. We have Crested World 8151, Queen Bree, and Serenity. All of these have like no gamer score, which is interesting. So Queen Bree played a good bit of GTA 5, not that much. Not an Xbox Live profile, but there was one of these profiles was an Xbox Live profile. So let me check that one out and see if they got something on it. All right, here we are. Crested World 8151 played GTA one time, maybe? What is the achievement? They, <laughs> oh yeah, so they played the first mission, which is repoing the car, and that's it. Uh, Dude, how could you play GTA 5 and stop there? Oh, that's, that's so tragic. And of course, there's no bio or anything. All right, well, uh, let's just, uh, well, we already saw the games working. I mean, it booted up and everything. Um, I don't know, this console works perfectly fine despite the fact that it's got a GameStop refurbished sticker on it. Oh no, no, we have, oh, we have family settings on, dang it. All right, so in case you don't, guys don't know, if you have this grayed out initial setup sign, that means that you have family settings turned on, which, means you're going to be blocked from doing th certain things. So we need to guess this uh, guess this code now. So let me try this. <laughs> Dude, you can't make this up. Every, every time the code is something easy, like it was just the right trigger four times. That's all it was. <laughs> Dude, I'm checking out the passcode reset question, and it's, what's your favorite person from, hist from history? And the, uh, <laughs> the answer is dad. What, what are the chances this person actually has like a really famous dad from history, like a... George Washington, I don't know. But cool, that was easy enough. Um, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below on my website called jrobgaming.com. QR code's on the screen as well. Uh, go check that out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And just by the way, this is a console number 43. So next up, we have another 360 Slim, which is absolutely filthy. And uh, flipping to the side, let's see if we have hard drive inside and stuck. We don't, that's unfortunate. Flip into the back now. Warranty seal is still intact. Manufacture date 2011. And wow, there is so much dust just caked into the port there. Oh gosh, <laughs> I'm about to like sneeze. Dude, we're definitely gonna see some bugs fly out of this one. Um, all right, let's plug it in and see if it works. Dude, I do that every time. I, I'm trying to lean over to plug it in and I accidentally press the eject button. And you can see right now there's no free game in here, but let me plug this all the way in. And boom, the console is booting up. Good sign. And the thing I find funny is about 360s is almost every single Slim I find has this sticker still on it, which is like, most people don't care. They just leave it on there and uh, let it ride. But let me know down below, do you guys, if you have a 360, did you keep that sticker on your console or did you get rid of it? I don't know, I just kind of find it funny when that thing is still there. 
There actually is a bug up here on top. I see a fly, a dead fly in there. De oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. All right, well, this console is just straight up freezing on the, as it's booting up. Uh, let me go ahead and look this up and see if I can fix it. So I finally got this console to boot up and uh, I actually had this issue once before in the past. And what I did is I took the hard drive out and they booted it up and it worked fine. So it was just a bad hard drive. Uh, this one, unfortunately, did not have a hard drive to take out. So it's probably an issue with the onboard storage. So what I did is I actually took a hard drive and put it in there. So we have our GameStop refurbished hard drive and it just booted up. So I guess it that fixed it for now. But we're looking at profiles that were that are actually on the onboard storage here because no... Nokiro, Nokirio was not on here before. Hold on, hold on. Let me just go ahead and check this uh, system storage right quick and see what it shows me. And yeah, even trying to boot up the storage devices is not loading. So there's definitely an issue with the onboard storage, but like I, I can't access it. Come on, man. Well, well let's just uh, let's just explore the profile for now and we'll deal with that later. So we got Nokiro here. Oh, right, this is all jacked up. So we can see on this screen it shows, oh no, it froze. Come on, crap. I can't even sign out of the profile. There's just straight up nothing I can do with the internal hard drive. The console just like took off for five seconds then calm back down. What is going on here? So our next step in troubleshooting here is to take the console apart. And what I'm gonna try to do is remove the internal flash storage to see if we can boot up without that. And because I think that's corrupted or there's something wrong with it, that's why it's not booting up properly. Now we kind of have two things that could happen here. Uh, so the 360 Slim has two different motherboards. We have the Corona motherboard and the Trinity motherboard. Um, now, uh, from looking at the back here, you can look at the, uh, basically the power on here and, um, and the manufacture date. I believe this is a Trinity motherboard. I don't know for sure. And I think the Trinity motherboard is the one with a removable flash memory where you can just like pop it off the board, which will be really easy. If it doesn't have that, it's gonna be a lot more work. But let's go ahead and just finish this tear down here and see what's inside. Like, holy crap, this thing is just absolutely covered in dust. It's like, it's not even dust, it's kind of like the smoker dust, you know, when you smoke in your house and you get this uh, filthy nastiness in here. Yes, I see the module, I can see the flash memory. And now that the disk drive is out of the way, you can see it there. So basically this is the flash memory inside of the, the console. Um, it's basically built into the console, it's four gigs. And we should be able to just pop it off, I believe. Yep, there it goes, so it's got this little uh, well, it's also got a little pad there that kind of holds it in place, but oh yeah. So we have basically a little proprietary connector there that plugs into the board. And so now if we try to boot this up without this piece, I think it'll st still boot up. I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't find too much info online with a quick Google search, but we're here to try stuff out. So let's try it and see what happens. Now for the moment of truth, let's see if it turns on. We got life. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, yes, yes, we put it to the main menu. Okay, okay. That's a good sign. And if you go to storage, it should just show up as nothing. Yes, no storage device is found. So it actually loaded up itself. It shows me that. Yes, I think this is working now. Let's go, baby. Of course, since there's no storage on here. Oh, we got, we got a disk in there. That must be why it's showing up as that. Now let's go ahead and try to boot up GTA 5 right here and see if it works. Now sure enough, the game is loading up. I'll probably have to put in the first disk to actually install it, but we don't need to do that right now. I just wanted to make sure it can actually, yeah, there it is tell me I need to install the first disk. Uh, but I just want to do this so we can make sure that the you know, disk drive is working. I'll, uh, I guess I'll clean out the inside since it's absolutely filthy. And then it'll be listed down below for sale. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up we have a console that I'm pretty excited for and it's a complete unbox, well, hopefully complete unbox, Xbox 360. And you can see it's obviously a slim with 250 gigs. Um, actually comes with two free games. I highly doubt these are in here anymore. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside of here. All right, we got on top, we got half of a power brick. We have an HDMI cable, and then we have our console, which, hey, is actually in pretty good condition. Now going further, we have uh, two AV cables, one on this, actually three AV, <laughs> we have two AV cables over here, one over here, and a power brick. I think I see, yeah, there's like a the <laughs> warranty manual thing in there. Um, so yeah, not too much going on inside of there. Let's put that to the side and take a look at the console. And yeah, this console is in really nice condition. Now flip into the side, let's see if there's actually 250 gigs in here. And hey, there it is. Nice, dude. Always good to see. And we do have still, still have our warranty seal intact, manufactured in 2012. Uh, so it should be a Corona motherboard. Let's turn it on. Any free games here? Maybe? Yes, let's go. Halo 4. All right, nice. And apparently it's only disc one, which is just awesome to see. We do have some scratching on the back, nothing, nothing too crazy. Disk drive works perfectly. Let's go ahead and see if uh, console boots up. But before I can even log into our profile, the uh, Halo 4 is booting up and working without an issue. Now we saw the game works. Now heading back to the main menu, you can see our profiles now. We got Abby, Alexa, Dad, uh, Sherlock, Tristan, and Un Unbid Carcass 9. Uh, definitely looks like a family 
I mean, there's dad there. It's got to be a family of people playing this 360. We'll go ahead and boot up Unbid Carcass 9 because it's an Xbox Live profile and see what's up with it. All right, so we got no bio, no message. Lame. And last game played is Minecraft in 2020. Wow, that's interesting. So they left... <laughs> <laughs> I bet this copy of Halo 4 has been sitting in here for six years and they just played Minecraft later on and left the console or left the game in there. But then scrolling back, we go all the way back to 2012. Wow. So 2012 to 2020 is actually a pretty wide lifespan for uh, playing 360 games. We've got a kind of mix of mix of games here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the other profiles. So I'm interested to check out the Alexa profile because she actually has 1850 gamer score. Uh, not too bad. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's funny how the avatar is just like straight up like looks like your NBA 2K player. Hold on, I forgot you could actually <laughs> make him dizzy. That's funny. Uh, looks like <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Like your your NBA 2K my player rolls in with a brown shirt and, and black pants. Um, but then we got this nice fancy like medieval looking thing in the background. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Minecraft in 2020 and Halo 4 in 2017. So hold on. This has like almost the exact same play history. So I'm back on Unbid Carcass 9 and no, these are definitely different profiles. They just have like the exact same play history. I mean, even the gamer score is almost exactly the same. That's that's kind of wild. But of course, the other thing to check is the, the My Games tab. We'll see what kind of games are downloaded on here. And we got 16 games, not bad. Of course, Kingdom for Keflings, Doritos Crash Course, Goat Simulator Trial, Halo 4, um, and of course, Minecraft. Wait, hold on, hold on. I did this on my last video, but let's go ahead and boot up Minecraft and see what kind of world they have saved here. Oh, dude, we have a lot of worlds. All right, I gotta try out Amusement Park. <laughs> okay, so I booted straight up and we got a like a rainbow wall here and just an open field. Uh, I've said it before, but I don't know much about Minecraft. I've only played a handful of times, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just a uh, full disclosure, we got <laughs> a bunch of beds and that's about it in here. I'm just breaking stuff. This honestly looks like somebody started a world and they were trying to, I mean, they said amusement parks, so they were probably trying to build an amusement park inside of this wall here and they just never finished. Kind of sad. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just booted up and immediately died. What is happening? All right, whatever, I, I quit. And we actually didn't finish checking out all the games here. Uh, we also got a few other Peggle Risk Factions. Ooh, we got Skyrim here. But anyways, this console is good to go, fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we'll try out one of the Xbox 360e consoles. And this one is uh, just looks like it was dragged on the pavement. I don't know why it's so beat up. Now flip into the back. Warranty seal is still intact. And that, oh, this is a game. Oh, no, it's a GameStop console. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> we got our GameStop sticker up here. We've got an Xbox 360 Wait, hold on. <laughs> they call this a Super Slim. They're mixing up their PS3 and Xbox 360 nomenclature. Uh, and yeah, it's GameStop refurbished, so no clue what we'll find here, um, but it is very filthy. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what works. All right, well, we're booted up here. Free game? Oh, it definitely is. Yes, let's go, Left 4 Dead 2. Aw, oh, baby. And of course, as per usual, it's very scratched up and there's like a little bit of gunk right there. What? <laughs> How? I don't know. Um, but we got one profile on here. We got at abbyshop003 with 300 gamer score. So looks like somebody that picked up a 360 and played one game, AKA Left 4 Dead 2. But let's check out the profile and see if that's what happened. Yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 and Red Dead Redemption, oh, Minecraft and Sims 3 Pets. Uh, but Left 4 Dead 2, they actually played a decent amount of uh, back in 2021. Wow, but yeah, nothing else on here. Let's go ahead and put the game in and see if it works. So yeah, the game's loading up. Uh, no issue with this console at all. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com, so go check it out if you're interested. And let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have another 360 Slim, which looks like it's literally been dragged through the dirt. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. And flip into the back, we have a manufacturing 2012, and warranty still is still intact, console number 40. Let's see, do we have a hard drive here? I bet we do. Hey, let's go, baby. All right, 250. Now the real question is, will we have a free game? Let's just start there. Okay. There we go, man. Okay, we got a profile here and this, dude, this console's in four by three mode. Let's we'll switch it up. We'll start with the games this time. Thir Wait a second, it just said 33 games and it jumped down to 32. How did that happen? Either way, this is a ton of games. We got Dragon Age Origins, Force Unleashed 2, Assassin's Creed Revelation. Holy crap, wait, these are all, oh my goodness. Holy crap, this is the jackpot. Hold on, hold on, let me just show you guys full games. We've got Dragon Age Origins, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2, Assassin's Creed Revelations. Holy crap, I'll just scroll through and you guys can pause if you wanna see it, but <laughs> Dude, we have 24 full games and there's still just some other random like demos and stuff. That That's unbelievable, that's, that's wild. Okay, so this is a X, XGC Sortie. I bet it, 
Oh, he's got a 19,000 gamer score. No surprise there. Drunken Fist, <laughs> Joshua and Cameron. So this is like a shared profile. That's funny. And uh, ask if interested in joining XGC. What is XGC? So I'm sure some sort of like clan or something. Let me know down below if you know. Uh, but uh, this <laughs> this is unreal. Uh, we got GTA 4 is the last game played here. That's funny, playing GTA 4 in like 2017. 113 games played? Wow, and the very first one was Burnout Paradise in 2008. So that, <laughs> from 2008 to 2017 is a wide span. Uh, let's go ahead and open the tray up, put a game in, and see if it works. <laughs> we got the classic booted up Call of Duty 2. Uh, but the game's working. But anyways, this console is fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. And of course, it'll be listed with all of the games that are already on here. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a Glossy 360 Slim, which is uh, pretty beat up as all the glossy ones are. Now let's go ahead and check if we have a hard drive here. And we do, 250 gigs, dude. <laughs> it's actually amazing how many hard drives I've gotten in this lot so far. Uh, manufactured in 2010, warranty still still in tech. Let's go ahead and plug it in, turn it on, see if it works. And wait, dude, I think this is, hold on. This is the console I actually tested briefly in my unboxing video because it still has the <laughs> it still has the dish tray sticker on the dish tray itself which is hilarious but let's, let's go ahead and fully test this thing out though and oh yeah this definitely is the same the same console i tested out in a previous video basically the unboxing video i'll throw it on the screen if you want to check that out uh, anyways this console is good to go it'll be listed for sale down below let's go ahead and move on to the next one so next up i have another glossy 360 slim which of course very beat up now flip into the side the real question is do we have a hard drive and what do you know? We do. Amazing. Uh, flip into the back. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ooh, no, no, no. It's a GameStop refurbished console. Come on, man. And it's even had the GameStop refurbished sticker removed, so you know somebody's done something inside. But let's go ahead and <laughs> plug it in and see if it works. We got power here. Now, do we have a free game is the real question. And, oh, baby, Skate 3. Oh, this is probably my favorite 360 game. So this, oh, that's amazing. This looks not too terrible. And... It boots up without an issue. Now, does the game load? That's the real question. Now, a uh, profile here is called Alone Ant 1197029. Okay, that looks like a generic name. Um, and yes, indeed, the game is loading up. I don't know anything about skating in real life, but I, I love the skate games. They're just, I don't know, they're kind of like, it's almost like GTA on, on a skateboard in some ways. Uh, definitely a fun game, though. Oh, oh. Why? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we got the Beast. We got Awesome, Brody. Uh, G <laughs> of course, we got Jesus here. Well, anyways, the game is working. I could mess around on this game all day long. But let's go ahead and check out these profiles here. See if we have anything else on this console. We got, let's see, we have our standard profile of Alone Ant. We got Marine, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Super Awesome, and Skya. Mr. Super Awesome, don't let me down. Oh, he didn't let me down. Dude, what a what a profile here. You got the shorts, the cowboy boots. Oh, that's uh, amazing. Skate 3, Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, I have another 360E, and this one's actually not quite as beat up. Let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive in here. I'm sure we probably do. Yep, what do you know? A 250, and dust flies everywhere. Hold on, actually, oh no, the, ooh, the side of this console is disgusting. Ugh. Okay, well, let's plug it in, see if it works. It's three, two, one. We got life. Do I hear a game inside? No, no game. Oh, we got some profiles here. We got Applied Clover 6, Beast 35, Beast Killer 35. <laughs> Wait, that's hilarious. We got Beast 35 and Beast Killer 35. <laughs> uh, Sound Wolf, Holy Shotgun, and uh, there's actually some funny profiles on here. Let's go ahead and check these out and see what's up. Oh, stud. Yes. That is the most 360. <laughs> yes, be a baller. Yes. Stud and be a baller. That is the the most. And his name is Brendan. Yes. Okay, okay. This is what I'm talking about here. Black Ops 2 in 2017. Yes. Uh, FIFA 16, MLB 2K13, and playing that in 2016. Why? I don't know. Oh, dude, he played NCAA 14 back in 2015. Should have left that in the console for me. That'd be worth like the same amount as three consoles them themselves. The, the game is so expensive. I got Soundwolf up next. What is what is going on with the profile picture? I can't even tell what that is. Uh, oh, he's got 9,500 gamer score. Coffee swag. I, I guess he looks like he likes coffees. Looks pretty fancy. And uh, nothing, no bio, but let's check out the last time it was played. Call of Duty Ghosts back in 2017. Uh, Rainbow Six in 2016. And the game's booting up here without an issue. Now the last thing I wanna check is the My Games. Let's see if they have any games downloaded here. All right, moment of truth. Do we have, ooh, we got something. We got Fruit Ninja Connect, Jackpot. Uh, Hexic HD on every console ever. Risk Factions Skate 3, which I just put in the console. 
the Gunstinger and Trials HD. Uh, so not much, but the console is fully working. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up is another 360 Slim, and this one is in pretty dang nice condition. Now, is there a hard drive? You betcha there is. Man, there always is. 250, wait, wait, 320, oh. Hold on, is this, is it, this must be the 320 from the Halo console. I think it's a, what is it? The Halo 4 console I think has 320 in it. Nice, dude. And we got the warranty seal still intact. Man, that is even more of a jackpot than I thought. Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, plug it in. Is there a game? Oh man, no free game. I wonder, somebody had to intentionally buy the 320 gig hard drive and put it in here. So maybe there's a bunch of games downloaded. I hope so, let's let's check. Uh, honestly, probably not. The hard, the, the profile is here, 255, 140, 60, 1145. So not much going on here. Uh, Raptor speeding has the most. But let's go ahead and start with the uh, the My Games tab and just see if there's anything downloaded. Oh, dude, I was right. We got Angry Birds Trilogy. Hold on, let me just move this to full games right here. 29, full. oh, dude, yeah, I was right. Somebody just bought this big hard drive to download a bunch of games. Angry Birds Trilogy, Battlefield 2, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty Elite, Crisis 3, Dirt 3, F1 2013, Fallout New Vegas, Family Game Night. Uh, I'll just keep scrolling and you guys can read it if you want to. Metro 2033, uh, Heart Pop Pursuit, Once Upon a Monster, what is that? I don't know, Skyrim, Sniper Elite V2. Dude, this is insane. And dude, like this, this console must have come from somebody else or somebody must have deleted their profile because how do you have like four profiles and the most any of them have is 1145 gamer score, but you have 29 games downloaded? Uh, something strange is going on here. And this, hold on, this console was last played in 2022, Family Game Night 3. Impressive, okay, okay, I see you. A lot of, <laughs> played a bunch of Wipeout as well. Yes, yeah, so the first game played was 2020. So I'd, I'd have to guess this console was handed down or, or sold to somebody else and they somehow kept all the games but deleted the profile, uh, something along those lines. I don't know. Let me just boot up one of the games and make sure it works. Yes, yeah, game is working here, and man, what, what a lot. The number of consoles we found in here that had hard drives, and not just hard drives, but titles downloaded, and then the Blades dashboard console, just amazing. I'm sure we hit a profit goal. I'll throw the profit on the screen. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, we'll have Hampton Hall episodes every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December, so make sure to tune in. And guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I bought over 100 untested PS2s, PS3s, and Xboxes from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. So we're gonna start off with a PS3 Slim, and this one actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, flipping to the bottom, we are, of course, missing two rubber feet, and we have a warranty seal intact, which is good to see, uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, we got power, three, two, one. We got a green light, and we got glasses, and we got no free game. Uh, but let's see if it boots up. Oh, we got the Darth Vader background, the black and red. That looks pretty sweet. We got Miller, Nico, and Kyle. Dude, Kyle, you know for sure Kyle's got some cool stuff on here. All right, let's go over to Friends Message Box. You know Kyle's got some messages here. Like, why wouldn't he? Pack and car, see you later. Dude, this, what a message. Pack and car, see you later. That's like a, I'm actually surprised that was in 2011. That's like a very, a very 07, I'd say, text message. Wait, what is this? Life with PlayStation. That must be like an OG PS3 thing. I don't remember that at all. Uh, we do have Call of Duty Elite downloaded here. Interesting. Let's check and see what firmware we're on. We're on, ooh, 4.11. Wow, yeah, that's from like 2012, I think. We got a 160 gig hard drive, so not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just start by putting a game in, make sure it works, and then, wait, hold on. Trophy collection. Can we actually see this guy's trophies? Yeah, we see MW2, MW3. So if I put MW2 in, we should see his stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure this works. So we are booted up and the game is working now. Multiplayer has 0% completion and so does Special Ops, so I guess he just played campaign. But let's go back to the main menu and see what other kind of stuff he's got on here. We can go to the saved data, no, 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 sorry, the, wait, yeah, saved data utility. It's my favorite part, we can see what the, when they last played. So MW3 back in 2011, we got MW2 in 2011 as well. Um, so yeah, that sounds about right. All right, we got Nico next. We'll check out his message box first. And oh yeah, here we go. Oh, dude, we got a phone number. Yeah, baby. Dude, wait, ah, uh, man, wouldn't it be funny if I actually tried to call, I'm not going to, but wouldn't it be funny if I tried to call this phone number? Dude, these are actually like pretty wholesome messages. Uh, addicts, never mind. <laughs> Text Greg, urgent, <laughs> urgently. I need to urgently play MW3 with you. What is your number? Want to play MW2? Oh, that's funny. I, I love seeing these old messages, man. Uh, that was actually, that was very clean messages. Usually they're dirty and has like, stuff I can't repeat. Now, last but not least, we gotta check out Miller here and see what see what he's up to. And we'll go to the message box first, because why not? 
<laughs> Dad took MW3 disc. Dude, that is the most... Oh, man, that's hilarious. Sup. Uh, yeah, this is this is funny. Let's see when the last time this guy played, though. Oh, 2012. Okay, a little bit more recently. But nothing, yeah, nothing too crazy. But this console is working. It's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com. So go check it out. And let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we're going to try out this awesome looking 360 Slim. It's got the Thrasher sticker. It's got the Turtle Beach sticker. You know, this 360 is going to be cool. And have some cool stuff. Now, flip into the back. We've got a warranty seal still intact. Do we have a hard drive? We d oh, baby, we got a 320 gig. Nice. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got life. Any free games? Yes, we got Destiny, which is worth 50 cents. Uh, which is, oh, wait, hold on. This disc actually looks perfect, which is surprising. But yeah, Destiny, not worth much, but hey, a free game is a free game. Let's go ahead and hope this thing boots up. Oh yeah, we got some, wait, hold on. How do we have the same profile twice? I don't think I've ever seen that before. We got Jay's Jet Stay Fly twice on there. Kamikaze Beast, uh, Kamikaze Instinct, Low Low Warm. I straight up cannot say that. Um, Love, Meagle, Pizza Guy Zero, Player One, Player Two, Recalled Feline Eight, Top, FMF Squid. Wow, we got, <laughs> it's like 12 profiles here. The console just freeze on me? Let's try a reboot here. All right, I don't know what happened, but let's try this, uh, Jet stay fly again and see if it works this time. <laughs> is there something wrong with this specific profile? It's doing it again. What, what in the world? Okay, so it was something wrong with that profile, which kind of makes sense considering we saw the same profile in there twice repeated, which is very strange. But both of them would just freeze the console and I, I immediately tried the third one and it worked without an issue. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what the last game you played was. Is this profile working? It's, it's showing me like half the data. I think we might have a bad hard drive here because it's showing me like, oh, yep, there it is. All right, so we're gonna try to take the hard drive out. I'm gonna first try to like blow it out and see if, I mean, it looks like perfect. I don't know. I'll blow it out, put it back in, see if that works. If not, we'll boot it up without the hard drive and see if that works. I just booted up without the hard drive now, since I think that's bad, but it's still showing the profiles just with, oh, it's showing show, some of the profiles. What is going on here? All right, let's try Jet Stay Fly again and see what happens. No, I just like can't sign in now. Dude, what is going on with this console? All right, guys, so I think the move here is to pull out another 360 and go ahead and test this one out, and then we'll also test this hard drive and just see if we can figure out the issue now. We got a slim 360 here, of course, another glossy one that's just, like, mutilated, um, just like pretty much all of them. Warranty seal intact and stuff, though. Now, do we have a hard drive? I bet we do, because we just always do, of course. 250 gig. <laughs> what do you know? Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, got life. Do we have a free game? Yeah, dude, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and the disc looks good. I don't, there's a few smudges, but it looks good. Let's go for it now, like 10 bucks, I don't know, but uh, that's that's pretty cool. Now we got, we booted straight up to the main menu here. We've got Kimono 123. All right, let's check it out. Oh, and of course, <laughs> every time, everybody's got this, everybody's got the disc on autoplay. I, I, let me know down below, are you an autoplay person? Back in the 360 days, I like intentionally went into my settings and turned off autoplay because I cannot stand it. I like to select the disc when I want to select it. I don't want it to autoplay. Um, but the game, yeah, the game's working. You can sell. So we are, got that out of the way. Now let's go back now, check out these profiles. Actually, I'll sign out first and see how many profiles we have in total. Ooh, we got eight profiles. We got a fib, G Mono 454, Greg, Hannah, Kimono 123, Laurie, Taylor, and VB Wood 07. All right, let's check, start out with Kimono because I was the main user here. And then we'll uh, explore these profiles. Oh, dude. This one's got oh, peace, fun, and gaming. Nice. Got the full get up as well. What is that? What is on that hat? This is this is awesome. Nice. Caitlin, uh, no bio. But let's check out the last time Caitlin played Black Ops 2. No surprise there since the game is inside. Assassin's Creed. I've actually been playing through Assassin's Creed 2 recently. Last played online. Oh, wait. This one says 2018. So, you know, fairly recent. Let's check out the first game played. All right. First game played was 2011. So, pretty long play history. Now, honestly, 4,000 gamer score for 50 games is like not that much, um, but you know, it is what it is. Let's check out the My Games, see if we have anything downloaded. We got Kingdom for Kathleen's because like, yeah, of course we do. And then, yeah, we got Fruit Ninja Connect. Let's cheer demo. Oh yeah, Peggle. We got Portal, still alive, and Worms Trial. <laughs> nice, so not a ton, but we got something on here. Let's check out these other profiles now. Oh, this guy's got a code, passcode, dude. Come on. <laughs> There is no way. What, why even put a passcode on if it's going to be the easiest thing possible? It was just a left trigger four times. The first option. Uh, amazing. Uh, we've got G-Mono here. Die Try. Dude, can't hate him for that. Uh, last played Black Ops 2. Last played in 2015. First played in 2011. So pretty similar play history to the, to the first profile. Now let's check out the others. Your profile was not completely downloaded. Oh, wow. Okay, so... <laughs> 
it looks like at some point somebody tried to download an Xbox Live Pro because I, I guess that was a thing on the 360. You could actually download your profile from the servers, which makes sense. They must have ended the process early and didn't finish. That is okay. That's interesting. Now, what we're going to do next is turn this console off and try to put in the 320 gig hard drive and see if we can uh, get this thing to work. So hard drive in and we got some of the profiles showing up. Let's try the jet stay fly and see if that loads up. All right, I loaded up. I'm, <laughs> I'm trick daddy. Nice trippy nation. I last played Black Ops 2 in 2013. And then let's check out the first thing played was in 2011. So actually pretty short play history, 2011 to 2013, but it was able to acquire uh, 11,000 gamer score, not bad, but there's still something sketchy going on here because earlier we saw a profile or an avatar on this person, but now it's just gone, but the profile works. Let's try another one of them. All right, recalled feline eight, not much going on here. Last played Castle Crashers in 2014. All right, so we saw that 360 works. I'm gonna go back to the other one now and try to game without the hard drive and try to just factory reset the console and see if it's working properly. It still just seems like a hard drive issue, but the, I don't know, just, just strange things all around. So guys, I turned this console on and tried it without a profile and it was working, but I still couldn't ac access the, the storage space and it couldn't like tell me how many gigs was built in. It just like wouldn't load at all. So I think we have a bad uh, four gigs of flash storage built in here. And the strange part is flipping to the back, it looks like we have a Trinity motherboard. You can tell by our manufacture date. It's from July, 2011 and also the, um, the amperage right there. But the, the strange part is, is I had another 360 like this that had bad flash storage and the manufacture date was four days apart from this one. L let me just show you. So this one right here on the bottom is from a previous video and you can see the manufacture date is four days later than this one and they both have bad flash storage on the board. That That's kind of suspicious. Like, did they just have a bad batch in that period of manufacturing? I, I don't know. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes with that kind of stuff. But for now, what we'll do with this console is put it to the side. We're going to save it for a future video at the end of the Hampton Hall where we try to fix a bunch of these broken consoles. Um, this should be a pretty easy fix, honestly. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we'll test out a Wii console and the faceplate is actually kind of like falling off there. Uh, but we don't ha don't have any flaps here, no SD card. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. And oh, I thought I heard a game in there, but I did not. Tragic. So we're booted up here, and this console honestly looks pretty barren. Like it looks like it was factory reset almost. But let's try a game out and see if it works. So game definitely shows up. Uh, next thing we'll try out is let's just go to the Me channel. I think we can tell right off the bat if this Me is if this Wii has been used. Uh, my guess is we're gonna have one Me here. Sorry guys, I was wrong. There's actually four Me's. We even got dad up here, but something I just noticed is that the colors are clearly very washed out or very bright here. And something somebody mentioned to me in a comment on a recent video is that if you see this, it might be a bad capacitor on the board. So we're gonna actually save this Wii as well, kind of like the 360. We're gonna save this Wii for a future video to try to repair it. But let's go ahead and just explore this some more and see when the last time this thing was played. Hold on, here we go. February of 2014, we got a message and it's just straight up a message. There's no, <laughs> no play data. I always find it funny when I see that message, but no, play data all right november 2013 same thing there we go finally august of 2013 we got some play data we sports that's it oh we got we got dad oh dad played some uh some we fitness oh you've added two years oh, so sad for dad but anyways this console is good to go for now of course like i said we'll save it for a future video to try to repair the capacitors or whatever the issue is on the board uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one so hold on next up we got we number 26 and i did not realize they made non-backwards compatible Wii's they were white. Uh, let's check, any, any SD card? No SD card, but honestly, maybe I did know that. I just, I don't think I've ever seen a white Wii that was not GameCube compatible. Well, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. Oh, there's a game inside, but it did not sound great. So I, I'll be surprised if the disk drive works. And hold on, what is, We Play Motion? Why have I never heard of that? Is that like the sequel to We Play? Interesting, this doesn't look too bad, but okay, that's, that's a new one. I'll take it, let's uh, see if it works. And actually the disk drive sounds fine now. I don't know what I was hearing earlier. And dude, what are the chances we get another Wii here that seems to have blown out color? So we'll, we'll save this one again for another future video to try to repair or see if there's any issue with the capacitors on the board. But we got Wii Play Motion here. Let's go ahead and boot this up because I'm, I'm curious what this is. So it looks exactly the same as Wii Play, definitely a sequel. We got Cone Zone, Veggie Garden, <laughs> Skip Skimmer, uh, Pose Me Plus, <laughs> Trigger Twist. I, honestly, I wish I knew, had known about this game back in the day. This probably would've been fun. Uh, but yeah, game's definitely working. The disk drive actually doesn't sound as bad as I thought it did. Um, let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So we're here on October 31st, 2014, and I found a memo that <laughs> says Halloween. Somebody just went <laughs> went ahead of themselves and put a memo on the on the board so they'd remember it was Halloween. Here we go. Here's some play data from 2014. No, <laughs> my B-Day party. Dude, this is, this is awesome. Hold on, hold on. We got to check out all these. We got uh, 
my B-Day, oh, so this is this person's birthday. Then their party was, you know, on the weekend, obviously. They played some YouTube broadcast yourself. Oh, dude, what a throwback. And you know we gotta check out the rest of these memos here. So August 2014 again, and we got Andrew B-Day. Dude, it's everybody's birthday this week. Holy crap. Uh, whose birthday is it on the 6th? We got, oh no, we just got play data. We play motion. Okay, okay. Let's go to the me channel. Check out the me's. Again, five me's. Lamo, Daddy Eric, Gray, Air. <laughs> Not much going on here, but this console again is mostly working except for the screen looks kind of weird. We'll save it again for another video. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up we have a PS2 to test out and this thing is uh, questionable at best. You've got this giant, just like two giant streaks on the top like somebody ran it over, I don't know. Missing the PlayStation symbol on the front. And uh, yeah, this thing is just an overall pretty poor condition. Now, the interesting thing is that we have a network adapter here, which might have some secrets on the inside. Let's uh, let's check. All right, got this popped off, and that one's part is pretty dirty. Looking inside, uh, the only surprises are dust, dirt, and bugs. So that's great. But let's plug this thing in and see if it works. Turn this bad boy on, and do we have any free games? Disk drive is stuck. Nice, dude. Awesome. Great. Oh my goodness. Wow, that thing looks like it's not been opened in years. And oh, what do you know? We got a little a little friend right here that popped out. Awesome. Uh, and immediately the uh, the clock battery is bad. Not gonna find anything in the browser because I don't have any memory card here, which is unfortunate. Uh, but let's uh, put a game in and see if it even works. So all I have with me right now is Strike Force Bowling. Well, it <laughs> doesn't really matter though. We'll try it out, see what it does. Dude, this thing is definitely not reading the game. I don't hear it spinning at all. It's doing something. It says reading disc, but what on earth? Did that thing move at all? <laughs> oh, there it is. I, I thought it was gonna spin forever, but there's a discrete error, not surprising at all, considering the noises this thing was making, and or maybe I should say lack of noises. Um, yeah, this PS2 is in horrible condition, doesn't work at all. I mean, it turns on at least, that's something. I actually might make an entire video on this console in the future where I, I don't know, maybe create the entire, the ultimate PS2 with a new case, maybe mod it. I don't know, let me know down below if you'd like to see that. But uh, yeah, this console is junk for now. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one and hopefully, oh no, let's move on. So next up we have a PS3 Super Slim and let's see if the disk drive mechanism works and it does, wow, surprising. Now flip into the bottom, nothing interesting happening except for the fact that we're, of course, missing a rubber feet, a rubber, a rubber foot. But let's plug this in, see what it does. All right, plug it in, turn it on. Here we are, finally booted up and holy crap, we got a lot of profiles. Aaron, Jaden, Trinity, Benny, Crispy, Nicola, Fury Phoenix 118 and eight. <laughs> These are all one word names and then Fear, Fury Phoenix 118. So we gotta start with him. Minecraft, let's go, yes. Minecraft, we got U2 for PS3. We got Minecraft PlayStation Vita edition. That's awesome. Uh, when was the last time this thing was played though? 2015 Black Ops 2, that was it. <laughs> Dude, we even have movies downloaded. We have, <laughs> you can't make this up. The movies downloaded are 50 Shades Darker and Sausage Party. Does it work? I, I gotta try it out. <laughs> Dude, you can't make this up. It's at the end of the movie too, where it's rolling through the credits. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually the first PS3 I've ever found that had, oh no, no, we have. No, no we don't. <laughs> On a PS3? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, this person went to a Justin Timberlake concert. That's awesome. Guys, this might be one of the craziest things I've ever seen on a console. I mean, you, you have about 750 pictures here and you can see it scrolls from 2001 to what is it, 2016. It's like a full 15 years of photos. It's basically the full family photos going on vacation, uh, getting married, growing up and having kids. It's, it's, it's actually kind of sad and pretty wild that this much of stuff is on here. Um, nothing, I mean, it's just like normal family photos, which is uh, very wholesome, but just, I can't believe I just found this. That, that's honestly the kind of situation where you'd like to get that back to the, the family that had those. Hopefully they have those backed up somewhere else instead of just uh, only on this PS3, but that, that's actually very wild. Um, now the thing I haven't checked yet is of course, how much storage space we have on this thing? We got the full 500 gigs here, and of course they probably used 100 gigs on photos, probably not quite that much, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's go ahead and start and just buy, putting a game in here. And game's working without an issue. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and check out the other profiles. <laughs> Need to kick some. <laughs> Sorry I got mad when the same person kill a nonstop. <laughs> yeah, at least they apologized. Oh, uh, here we go. We got some saved data on this profile back in 2015. So, you know, not terribly long ago. Yeah, so I went through all the profiles. Nothing too crazy. We got a handful of messages here and there. It looks like everybody played a little bit, but not too much. Of course, we saw the play data back in 2018. So that seems to be the re last time it was played. Uh, other than that, it was just like Minecraft, Destiny, uh, maybe Borderlands. So not too much going on except other, other than those 
photos there. But this console does work. It'll be listed down below once I figure out how to get these photos off and maybe to the people that own them. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, we got one of the OG PS3s. This thing is, of course, very beat up, very dirty. Still got the warranty seal intact. And looking at the back, our model number is CECHL01. So it's either 40 or 80 gigs, one of the two. Don't remember. But let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, flip the power switch. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> the red light took a good five seconds to boot. Whatever, let's turn it on and see what it does. No free game. Oh, we got life, yes. Last PS3 fan I had was Yellow Light of Death. Yeah, here we go. We got PlayStation Home, PlayStation Plus, the good stuff. We got, oh, we got some games. We got, oh, we got a PS1 game? No way, we got Crash Bandicoot 2, dope. We got Call of Duty Elite, that doesn't matter. Last time played, let's check it out. Uh, we got Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Hold on, hold on. I didn't know you could put save files in folders like this. Is that a custom option? Hold on. Let, let, me, let me just take a step back here. Let's go check out the profiles first. We have, we have photos. Hold on, hold on. Let me check out the profiles first, then we'll get into it. We got Devin Grundle, which we're on right now. Mandi Mandingo, user one and user two. We'll stick with Grundle right now, and he's got some interesting stuff going on here. But first, let me check the storage space here. And we have 80 gigs, and we're on 4.83, so one of the some somewhat recent dude yeah we got we got we got photos here oh it's just a call of duty wallpaper come on dude we also got some <laughs> we got some that's actually a pretty sick wallpaper we got a few of them there we also got another mw2 wallpaper i mean that's pretty cool though let me check out the save data again and see when the last time this thing was played so 2016 not bad you know seven years ago wait oh we got messages oh <laughs> radius hold on hold on let's start with the scent see has got us sending out yeah yo Boom, yo. Hey, good game. That's like something I would have said when I was like 13 years old. That's funny. To be to be fair, this guy probably was 13 years old in 2013. I don't know. Yeah, so not much going on there. Check out the received radio silence. Oh, no, this guy. Wait, wait. So this guy received a message in 2018, but you saw the play data. He last played in 2016. So that, oh, that's kind of sad for River Moss. Oh, never heard from this guy again. Oh, man, that's sad. Uh, we also got Yup in 2018. Wait, hold on. Why do we have random messages in 2018, but this guy's last save data was in 2016? Maybe that wasn't sorted correctly? I don't know. This is one of those spam messages? Yeah. <laughs> Use this code and sign up and get scammed. Never mind, you suck. <laughs> so nothing too crazy there, but that's, that's, that's funny. Let's go ahead and just start by uh, putting a disc in, see what it does. So MW2 is working, and you can see this guy had an 86% completion on Special Ops, 85.7 on Campaign. That's really specific. Uh, but uh, yeah, this console works. Let's go back to the profiles and see if we can find some other interesting stuff. So I did check out the other profiles. Not much going on, but you know, this console does work and yeah, it's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. Go check it out if you're interested. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up we have this Xbox 360 and the first thing I noticed right off the bat is we have a piece of pine straw sticking out the top, which is honestly might be from when we unboxed this lot. Uh, we're on console number 39. Warranty seal is still intact. I don't know if I've seen a console without the warranty seal intact yet for a 360, and of course, it's got a 250 gig hard drive. Let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We have the red dot of death. I don't think I've ever seen this on a 360 Slim. Okay, that's that's new. And by the way, with Red Ring of Death and Red Dot of Death, you can get a secondary error code. All you gotta do is press the sync button and then press the eject button. And I can't get it to do it with one hand, but uh, it was 0003, so let me look that up and see what the issue is. So from a quick Google search, it looks like there's a few possibilities here. First of all, a bad power break could cause this error. I tried two different power breaks, same issue, so it's not that. Uh, it could also be some bad MOSFETs. There's a handful of different MOSFETs we could try to replace. Uh, also could be a bad CPU, I think it said. We try to reflow the CPU. Uh, so this is another console that will go into a future video where I try to repair consoles, and uh, yeah, which is unfortunate. I wish I could at least turn it on and get the disk drive open, but Nope, doesn't open at all. Um, I could open it up manually, but we're gonna save that for later. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up we have this white Wii that I already have plugged in, and let's see if we have an SD card. We do not. And overall, this Wii actually looks pretty clean. Number 29, let's go ahead and turn it on though, and see if it works. We got power, oh, no free game. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a, oh, we got all the channels. We got the, even got the Mario Kart channel, got all the streaming channels. We got Check Me Out channel, no games though. We're gonna start by scrolling back and seeing uh, when this console was last played. Oh, wait, hold on. June 2022? Wow. I played Wii Sports for an hour and then took the Wii Sports out. Come on, man. What are you thinking? Leave the Wii Sports in for me. That's actually amazing, though. Is it, this was played a year ago. Crazy. Let's check out the Mii channel and see what's up there. Yes, we got some Mii's. Finally, we got a few. Still, like, I don't see any check-me-out Mii's. Like, usually there's some crazy Mii's on here if you got 
if you got them from the Check Me Out channel, but we got a handful, you know, here and there. Yeah, nothing crazy. But let's go back to the main menu and check if a game works. Yeah, game's loading up, so it should be good there. Uh, last thing I want to do is check out the Wii Fit channel, because I see a lot of... Uh, dude, I saw a dog scrolling through here. I gotta, I gotta check out the dog stats. Dude, <laughs> they're all sleeping, dude. Even the dog is sleeping. That's hilarious. Angel, it's been 2,000 days since your last, last session. I, how does a dog even play this game? I didn't even know you could get dogs to, <laughs> to play this game. It's amazing, though. Dude, we have a data point here in 2017. July 2017, but it says the dog is zero pounds. I, that seems wrong. Oh, here we go, 2015. We got a couple data points at like five pounds. So it was definitely a very small dog. I've never actually seen data points on these if we fit pages when I check them out. Oh, so that's awesome. This console is working good to go. It's actually a very quiet console, which is great. It means it's a good Wii. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we'll have Hampton Hall episodes every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And I'll throw my profit on the screen for this video. But guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I bought 48 untested Nintendo Wii consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test, explore, and fix about 10 of them, and see if we can turn a profit. You guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. So we're gonna start here with your average GameCube compatible Nintendo Wii console, and of course it's missing a flap like always, but let's plug it in and see what it does. So right off the bat, this is looking like a pretty standard Wii. Let's go to the save data and see what the games, see what games this person last played. Four games, really, Wii, there's not even Wii Sports on here? We're gonna fix that for this guy. We're gonna put Wii Sports in here, and Oh no, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again. Okay, so it eventually went in, but... Ooh, that does not sound great. Wait, hold on. Wii system update? From Wii Sports? This, okay, it's, it's gotta be the newer copy of Wii Sports. Hold on, hold on, let me check this out real quick. Hold on, guys, I'm looking... <laughs> so I'm just looking at this disc, but then I just noticed here in the corner of this Wii, it's like a little piece of paper almost sticking out. Is that is that what's messing us up here? Hold on, hold on. Ah, dude, it, it got stuck more in there. Let me, let me put the disc back in and spit it back out. Oh, that's definitely what's blocking us there. Okay, okay, L let's finish exploring this Wii. Then we'll open this thing up, see what's going on inside of it. And I have a feeling the disc drive will actually work. And we're gonna go to the console nickname first and see Deuce. Oh yeah, nice, nah, like dropping a deuce or is his name Deuce? I don't know. That was pretty funny. Oh wow, December 2021. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, last played December 2021. They played New Super Mario Bros. for almost three hours. I was surprised when I see Wii's that were actually played this this recently. Must have been the must have been the whole pandemic thing. But let's check out the Mii channel, see what's going on there. <laughs> we got two Mii's. We got Ryan made by Deuce, and we got Chrissy with uh, four Y's. Okay, guys. But guys, let's go ahead and open this Wii up and. See what's going on inside of it. So I have this console mostly taken apart. All the screws are out. And by the way, guys, if you've never taken apart a Wii, in my opinion, it's one of the more annoying consoles to take apart because of how many different types of screws there are. But let me know down below what you think. Um, but looking inside of this thing, I can kind of see that little piece of paper, whatever it is now. Let's go ahead and try to pop off the top. No, by the way, this is actually a, I noticed while I was opening it up, it's a Japanese Wii. So it's not even gonna play US games, which is awesome. But let's still open this thing up and see what's inside. Got this off. That part looks normal. And looking inside the disk drive, oh yeah, we can see it now. Right there, there's like a little piece of paper or something, man. I, I think I can extract that with my tweezers now. Let's see if we can get in there. Here we go. Oh, dude, it's just, <laughs> it's like the backing of a piece of 3M tape. Really? That was it? Was that all that was stuck in there? Yeah, it looks, looks clean now. Okay, all right, well, let's try to put a disk in now and see if it rolls in smoothly. So let's go ahead and slide this bad boy in and see what it does. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, goes in perfectly fine now. So it was, it was definitely definitely that little tiny piece of paper that was just in the way. Great. That's really strange because I, I just put in a US Wii game. Let's update and see what happens. Yeah, now Wii Sports is just showing up. Hold on. Okay, so somebody either modded this Wii. I see no signs of it being modded. Or somebody swapped the case on this Wii. That's so strange. And I just put in a US GameCube game and it's also working. So it, yeah, it appears to me that somebody swap the internals into a Japanese case, which is random, but I, I, don't know, I guess that works. Oh well, it is working, got the paper out, so this console is working perfectly fine now, good to go. This console will be listed down below on my website for sale called jrobgaming.com, so go check that out. And guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, let's pull a Wii out of the stack. We're gonna go with Wii number 92 next up. We got no SD card, and this Wii got both flaps and tech. Hey, it's a good sign. Let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, turn it on. Do we have, yes, we got a free game. I'm looking for a Wii Sports copy here. Again, <laughs> an upside down disc. Oh, it's Mario Kart. Dude, let's go. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. I, I just like, it's hilarious to me thinking about the fact that these people probably got rid of their Wii because they thought it wasn't working because they put the game in upside down. It's just, 
Oh, an absolutely hilarious thought to me. Let's see what this thing does and make sure it works. Yeah, and sure enough, Mario Kart Wii is showing up there, so it definitely definitely works. The person just uh, gave up on it because it was upside down. Oh, let's check out the Me channel. Okay, we got a handful here made by How Are You. <laughs> Nothing special going on here except for Daddy. Oh, we got a, got a random date here in January 2017. Got some play data. We played for seven minutes, and that's about it. Awesome. <laughs> and yeah, check out the save data. It's just Wii Sports, We Play, Mario Kart, and Wii Sports Resort. Are those not the four most popular games for the Wii? Not surprising at all, but yeah, I think those are straight up the more four most popular uh, games on the Wii. Let's also check out the console nickname here. Monkey. Yeah, I saw a person named Monkey in the, the Miis. But uh, okay, so this Wii works perfectly fine. Uh, hilarious that we had an upside down copy of Mario Kart inside. But it's amazing because Mario Kart is worth just as much as a Wii. But guys, this console will be available on my website for sale. Check it out down below called jrobgaming.com. Also got a QR code on the screen. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this console off and move on to the next one. So next up, I'm very curious to see what's inside of this Wii box right here. Uh, very beat up on the outside. It sounds like I hear crumbs in there. Like somebody had a little snack. Let's go ahead and pull this out, see what's inside. It's like little beads. <laughs> Dude, there's little, <laughs> there's little beads here in the corner. That's hilarious. And now the box is destroyed. Okay. We got all our standard stuff over here on the side, AV cable, sensor bar, blah, blah, blah. We also got, dude, there's more beads in here. <laughs> that's actually amazing. It's definitely a little kid just playing with their Wii and put some beads in there simultaneously. That's something my sisters probably would have done. Uh, but yeah, we got our Wii console here. Let me, let me throw these away first, hold on. This one is actually, appears to be complete, uh, minus maybe the manuals, but we have our stand. We even have the piece that goes under the stand. We have our power brick, all that gun, good stuff. And if you guys have never noticed, if you put your Wii back in the box without any protection, it'll actually become blue a little bit. You can see the blue here on the feet, which is a bit annoying. I mean, you can wipe it off, but look at that. Look at all that blue mess on the console. I've seen it a whole lot worse than this as well. But yeah, this one is here. Oh no. Hold on. We got a two gig SD card. What is what is next to our USA Maps? I feel like that's just a, the wrong SD card being the Wii, but let's <laughs> plug it in and see if it works. What are the chances this one has a free game inside? I'm going like 95% chance, but let's check. What do you know? Free game. Let's go ahead and eject it. See if it's upside down. Come on, come on out. Oh, dude, a GameCube game? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I have, this is the first time I've ever found a GameCube game instead of a Wii. It's not surprising though, I mean, plays GameCube games, Super Monkey Ball. I feel like that's actually worth some. Hold on, hold on, let me look this up. Yeah, man, this game's worth almost 20 bucks. I'm just so excited I actually got a GameCube game inside. That's awesome. Now, of course, we gotta check out this SD card. We'll first go to the SD card menu here. Sometimes there's games on here. Nope, no games. Uh, next up, it could be photos. All right, so digital camera photo, no photos. What is on this SD card then? Wait, the Wii message board's got a couple of photos though. Oh, it's just screenshots. I'm curious though, so when we looked at this thing, you guys saw that it said USA Maps on here. I'm almost wondering if it has a copy of like directions, like the, the maps. I don't know, I'm actually gonna plug it into my computer and see what pops up. So indeed it does have some sort of maps functionality. Odyssey Maps and Odyssey Voices says it's 1980, but that's clearly not right. Uh, I don't, yeah, it looks like something that should have been inside of some sort of proprietary GPS device, but yeah, I don't know how it ended up in the Wii. Uh, well, let's check out the last time this thing was played. Here we go, February 2014. We got, yes, yeah, and play data, Netflix, wow. <laughs> Netflix for five hours and that's it. So you knew you knew they were done with, with playing this, with this Wii. Uh, well, let's check out the Mii channel as well. So I don't know much about Star Trek, but it looks like they're probably a Star Trek fan because they got Spock on here and that looks like Spock from what I remember, but nothing else going on here. Um, this console is good to go though. Complete in box, pretty nice. Uh, I'll be listed down below for sale. Let's move on to the next one. So next up, let's pull out another random Wii. We've got number 95 and no SD card. One, one flap like always. Let's plug it in and see what it does. <laughs> guys, speaking of flaps, let me know down below. Do you guys still have, if you have a Wii, does your Wii still have the flaps? I mean, my Wii at home still has the flaps. I don't know why they come off of so many Wiis so easily. People moving them around, I guess. I don't know. Let's turn this thing on and free game. Hey, another GameCube game would be cool. But let's see. We got, oh man, what? The Hunt Bass Pro Shops. Hunting's so real, you'll need camouflage. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Got a bunch of smudges on this thing, but that's, hey man, it's a free game, I can't complain. <laughs> and the game is loading up, but let's start with the, uh, let's start with the Mii channel this time and see, see what's going on there. Oh dude, oh, oh baby, jackpot. Except it looks like the jackpot of just random Mii's, none of them, <laughs> dude, no, not, a one of, no, no, not another one of these. I can just imagine like a, a five-year-old making Mii's like crazy. Oh, there's dad actually, hold on. Uh, but <laughs> I can imagine, a, <laughs> look at that nose. I can imagine like a five-year-old just making a plethora of Wii's. 
me's, excuse me, and just putting, just typing in random letters. It's, that's literally all this is. Oh, this one's, this one's sleeping. Wake up. Wake up, why'd you kill, why you kill? All right, let's check out the save data here next. I mean, this person kind of played a lot of games. We got two full pages of save data here. Uh, this one is Mario Kart Wii. We've got like NBA 2K10, Build and Race. What is that? <laughs> got a game called Spooky Mansion. Oh, it's an I Spy game? That, that is such a Wii thing to have. The best part about the Wii is how many just random like party games there were. You got world party games. You've got neighborhood games. It's just random like compilations of mini games on, these, <laughs> on this console. Oh, it, back in the day, it was fun though. But I'm actually gonna boot up the game and just try to try to play it a little bit. Whoa, what is, hold on, hold on, what is going on here? So moving this thing around is actually extremely hard. I probably need to buy one of those like plastic holsters where you put your nunchuck and your controller in there. It's also like, I don't think this is 30 frames per second. This is like 15 frames a second, maybe. I mean, this game works. I don't, <laughs> what is it, like a $3 game? And then of course, checking out the last time this thing was played. We got some play data in, here's October 2012 whole 11 years ago and we got some Wii Sports Resort wow large mix of games here but uh yeah a whole 11 years ago amazing to see it's just amazing to think about the fact that it might have been like an eight-year-old playing this console and now that person is like 19 years old in college in the workforce crazy stuff to think about but this console is good to go uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console so next up we got another white GameCube compatible Wii that actually has both flaps intact number 18 do we have an SD card? We do not but let's plug it in and see what works all right I'm just gonna start with the eject actually on this one and see if a game pops out Let's go, we got Sims 2 Pets, yeah. $3 game, baby, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm booting up, it looks like an extremely standard Wii. There's no special channels at all, uh, and the game is loading up, so that's good to see. Let's go ahead and check out the, the Me channel, see what's up there. Ooh, oh, we got a handful here. Looking a little creative. Tabby, Jimmy, Jackie, Sarah, TD to Vet. So I actually decided to boot up Sims Pets 2 to try it out and just see what they were playing here. I uh, can't find too much details except for the fact that they were unemployed, which is just ama an amazing stat here to find. But going back, I can't figure out what I'm doing. It's just dark, and I, like, I can make my sim walk around and stuff. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and check out the last time this thing was played. Okay, so August 2010 is the last time this thing was played, but the last thing played was Wii Sports. But guys, this console is working. Remember, it'll be listed down below for sale. It is console number 18 if you want this specific one. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, I'm really curious about this red Wii right here. I don't think I've ever seen a red Wii in person besides this one. This one is very beat up though, and it's really easy to see the marks of this beat up because it's red. If it was fully intact, it'd be really cool. <laughs> Why is our piece of tape here so large on the side? Let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay, at first the disk drive sounded a little odd, but it, I think it's okay. There's also no free game in there, which is unfortunate. But let's go ahead and put Wii Sports in there and see if, or excuse me, Mario Kart Wii, see if it works. Like as soon as I put it in, it gave me two clicks. Let me, let me try that again. Yeah, so that's not great, but fortunately I do have some replacement disk drives. So after we explore this console, we'll open this thing up, replace the disk drive, which is actually very easy to do with for a Wii. Let's go ahead and scroll through here. We got all of our standard streaming channels, which is amazing. Like, guys, let me know down below, did you ever use streaming channels on your on your Wii? You know, me personally, I feel like by the time streaming channels were really popular, I had stopped playing my Wii, but I don't know, that was just me. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. November 2015, about eight years ago, we got Netflix. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this person, bro this person broke the laws of time. They played Netflix for 20, uh, 23 hours and 59 minutes. Pro Street for 13 minutes, Wii Sports for 10 minutes. Wait, hold on, Wii Sports twice, 10 and 18 minutes for a total of 24 hours and 40 minutes in one day. That is, I mean, props to this person. How do they do that? I don't know. In reality, they probably just changed the time or something, time, time zone, I don't know, and it, it just glitched the system. But we got Dale here, which actually looks pretty similar to my me with the huge afro and beard, which is funny to see. Yes, the console nickname is Bob. So in case you guys don't know, my, my me is actually named Bob. Like that's just what I always name my me back in the day when I first made it. And yeah, so that's, that's amazing. And it's actually amazing that he had a me that looked very similar to mine as well. Let, let me check out the me's and see if there's a Bob there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got some, we got some legit me's here. We got, oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> we got ugly butt here. I feel like that's something I would have made when I was eight. <laughs> Your mom, oh my gosh. Oh. Because we allow it and you will get it because we demand it. Skinny legs, I mean, yeah, you forgot an N, but that's funny. A lot of these memes are like pretty standard. Then he gets like poopsie and turd hole and whatever. This other. Oh, that's that's what I like to see. The creativity. I don't know if I call it creativity, but that's that's what I like to see on these memes channels. All right, guys. Well, let's take apart this Wii and see if we can get the disk drive fixed. All right, guys. So I have this red Wii open and 
We're just gonna swap out the disk drive, which is pretty easy to do. So I have a replacement disk drive here that I bought from eBay for like 18 bucks. Honestly, kind of not worth it because you can buy a used Wii for like 25, 30 bucks. But that's what we're doing for this video. And all you gotta do is take out, I believe, one, two, three, four screws, I think. And then this disk drive pops out. You take a ribbon cable out, plug it into the new one, and you're basically good to go. So let's, let's do that. So you got those four screws out. You can separate it a little bit. And there are basically two cables you gotta take out. Uh, there we go, got a little more space there now. Take out this cable, which pops out pretty easily. And this ribbon cable snaps out easily as well. And they'll put in our new disk drive. All right, now, new disk drive is in here. Got a ribbon cable in, got this cable in all the way, I believe. Yep, nice, now tuck this away. And we'll set this back down into place. And before I put those screws back in, we'll just turn the console on and make sure it actually works. And then we'll put the screws back and put it back together. All right, yeah, new, new disk drive sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and slide a disk in. Yeah, Wii Sports. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. So Wii Sports is loaded up, we're good to go here. Honestly, one of the easier repairs that you can do. Highly recommend it if you have an old Wii you wanna keep, but the disk drive's gone bad. You can just find one of these used disk drives on, on eBay for 15 to 20 bucks. Open it up, swap out those cables like I showed you, and you're good to go. Um, so guys, this console will be for sale down below. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now next up we got Wii number 17, both flaps missing, and oh, we got an SD card. We got two gigs. Oh, dude, this is a dude. This is a, this is a legit SD card for the Wii. I, I've seen these, but I've never actually seen them in person. That's amazing. They probably paid way too much for this specialized Wii SD card that does the same thing. But let's plug it in and see what's on it. I'm not gonna lie. I got a feeling this console is gonna have a lot of games downloaded to the SD card. Fingers crossed. Let's turn it on. No game inside. The disk drive sounds a little bit squeaky. Do we? Oh, we got a bunch of channels, but no games. We got the Mario Kart channel. Thunderbolt. Okay, that's uh. I don't know what that means. Now checking out the SD card menu, we've got something maybe? Did it trick me? It was <laughs> it was loading for uh, whatever. Oh, nothing on the SD card uh, right there. So let's check out the photo channel. Maybe there's something here. Oh, we got photos. An absolute classic, dude. I'll, I'll show you this one. Oh man, look at that. I think you could actually make that in the, on the Wii because they had like some, some just like graphic design kind of stuff you could do with your photos when you imported them. So that's kind of what that looks like. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, from 2011, kind of cool to see. It's just a bunch of like very innocent, like 10 year old kid taking selfies, which is what you see on most of these Wii's. But they, on one of them, they drew some, they used that graphic design functionality I just described and drew some stuff on a photo that, I, that's all I'll say. I, <laughs> oh man. But anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and put in Mario Kart Wii and see if the disk drive works. Yeah, Mario Kart's working there. Oh, they actually got the Mario Kart channel. Let me boot that up as well. Honestly, I don't remember what the Mario Kart Wii channel does, but we can see the players here. We got a couple players that are proficient in 50cc, played a little bit of 100cc and 150cc, but nothing too crazy. All right, here we are in July 2017. We've got some Wii Sports news. And then we also got some play data of Mario Kart Wii uh, about eight different times. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see that very often. This person played Mario Kart Wii six separate times. That's hilarious. But anyways, guys, this console is good to go. I'm actually gonna go ahead and plug the SD card into my computer and see if there's something else saved on it because having this SD card in here for 10 or 20 photos is kind of lame, but let's, uh, let's check it out. So I booted this up and it's got the same photos that were on the Wii, but it also has a few songs here. So we got Welcome Home, Sweet Child of Mine, and then The Boys of Fall is actually a Kenny Chesney uh, music video when I booted it up or, or opened it up, which explains the large file size. So <laughs> I don't know, pretty funny. But of course this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, next up we got another, uh, of course, GameCube compatible Wii, number two actually. And oh baby, another SD card. We've got the one gig max memory SD card, which I just destroyed. Let's plug it in and see if it works though. All right, three, two, one. We got, okay, that disk drive sounds bad, but we'll try it out of course. <laughs> That was a little startling. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a put this copy of Mario Kart Wii in. So I put the disc in and it didn't try to read it at all. It spun like maybe one time and it's not reading. So uh, I could open this one up and replace the disc drive, but I actually think I'm gonna leave this one without, with a broken disc drive so I can sell it cheaper and if somebody wants to buy one and mod a Wii, then that's that's good for that. Um, so this one just has a broken disc drive and that that's that. We'll save the other disc drives I have for later. Now I wanna check out the SD card menu here and see if there's any Games? Nope, no games. Check out the photo channel. Maybe there's some photos. And nope, no photos there. So what is another another SD card that's useless? Let me let me plug this one into my computer. So it actually looks like whoever had this Wii was smart and factory reset their memory card because there's not a single file on it. But let's go ahead and uh, boot up the the where's the Mii channel? Oh, it's down there. Dude, this is the I think the first Mii I've ever or first Wii I've ever seen where that person actually moved the 
the me channel. Let's boot it up and see what's on it. Okay, okay, we got a handful. We got Finch, Mom, Harry. Oh, we got Harry Potter, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I got a friend. But yeah, other than the Harry Potter, everybody looks pretty standard. Uh, let's go back and check out the last thing time this thing was played though. Here we go, June of 2015. We got, oh, we got Mario Kart Wii for, oh wow, four hours. We even got, oh, congrats Alexa. Collected every trophy in the game. Oh, that's actually pretty impressive. Now, oh man, I really wish I could boot up Mario Kart and actually check out that save file and see all the trophies they earned. But of course I can't because it's a broken disk drive. That sucks. But uh, last but not least, let's check out the, the console nickname, Buckwee. I feel like there's something off about saying Buckwee, but I, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know. But other than that, this console works, well, except for the disk drive, of course. But all, all this is for cheap down below for sale if you want a disk drive without a, with a broken disk drive. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, next up we got Wii number 83. No flaps, no SD card. Let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, three, two, one, we got power. Oh, there's a game inside. Let's see what it is. We got Wii Sports Resort. Let's go. Actually, hold on, hold on. I feel like I remember number 83. This actually might be the Wii that I tested in my original unboxing video, because I definitely got Wii Sports Resort. Okay, okay, guys, let me just show that. I'll throw it on the screen. Go check that video out if you want to see this console. Uh, I'll verify that this is that's, that's correct but I'm pretty sure it's the Wii that I tested out briefly in my unboxing video. Pumpkin, yes! Somebody's creative, let's go. Pumpkin, we got Leslie, Cameron, everything else is pretty normal, but we got a pumpkin. Dude, that's awesome. That actually looks like a pumpkin too. That's pretty sick. But guys, the console's good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, and of course, last but not least, we got this Wii with one flap, and he has some Sharpie on the front, which is funny. Uh, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, two, two, one, and oh, no free game. Now boot it up, we got Bunch of various channels. We got, of course, all of our streaming channels. Let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. Yep, there it goes. And this Wii, I'll be honest, it's got like that sound. It sounds like a Wii on day one that works perfectly. Got the nice hum of the disk drive spinning. We'll uh, take that out. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Oh, here we go. We got another 2015 uh, console here. We got Just Dance 3, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, Just Dance 3. <laughs> Three hours of play time. It looks like this one person earned a, uh, oh, a bowling power throws silver medal. Nice. You know what? It's always interesting to see when these consoles are played. This is definitely, it's gotta be Thanksgiving. Like Thanksgiving the day after, somebody was off of school. They're like, you know, let me boot up my Wii for the first time in ages. That's gotta be it. Let me, uh, I'm gonna look that up. 2015, is that when, is that what Thanksgiving was? Yep, November 26, right on the money. So this person definitely, <laughs> definitely booted up their Wii when somebody came over to eat Thanksgiving dinner. I don't know. Oh, it's always funny to make theories about that. Let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel as well. Oh, here we go. We got a handful. Nothing crazy going on. Just some pretty normal Mii's. But let's go ahead and go back and check out the save data here. Yeah, so straight up looks like this person. Uh, honestly, this is probably how a lot of a lot of Wii's look. Wii Sports, Mario Kart, and then a bunch of bunch of Just Dance games. Not surprising at all. I mean, Just Dance was super popular on the Wii. Still is pretty popular on the Wii. And last but not least, we'll check out the console nickname. Yes. <laughs> it's Yo Mama with a smiley face. That is amazing. Oh man, who put that there? Legend. All right, guys. Well, this console is fully working. Let's go ahead and eject the disc before I forget it. Did I, wait, did I put a game in? Yeah, I did. I tested a game. But yeah, this console is fully working. Again, it'll be listed down below for sale. And guys, thanks for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Again, the Hampton Hall episodes will always be on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So make sure to check them all out. And guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I bought a brand new special edition Xbox 360 as well as 10 untested Xbox 360s, Xbox Ones, and PS3s. And in this video, we're going to unbox and test everything and see what we find. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. All right, I got this bad boy out of the packaging. and It is a special edition MW3 console from, let's see, 2011, as it says right here. Don't sell before November 6, 2011. It's always hard for me to do this here, but let's, oh, let's get her done. And, mm. And, oh yeah, and we got a nice little loose piece. Cool, so we got our pam pamphlets on top. Don't miss out, we got the, oh man, the Xbox magazine. Let's take this console out, take a look at that. Below the console, we got our game, which is factory sealed, of course. We've got a game add-on download. What is, oh, we got a bunch of codes down, down there for male avatar gray T code. Also got our power supply, of course. We've got two controllers. Ooh, I think these are the nice controllers too. Hold on. Let's Let's take one out and look at it. Oh yeah, it is. It's the, it's the nice fancy new controller that you can twist it like this. Dude, why are these so dusty from being inside of this box? Let's take a look at the console now. The big, the star of the show here. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's, that is slick. I actually love 
how it's got this, this rough look to it, so that if you end up, what is this? What? Are pieces just falling off of this console? What is that? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, anyways, back to what I was saying, I love the rough look of this. It kind of blends in in case you damage your 360, you drop it, whatever. It kind of looks like it was meant to be that way. You got your Call of Duty MW3 graphic here in the bottom corner, you, you know, very roughed up here in the back. Here in the front, MW3 again, you got the classic sticker that people try to leave on their console for whatever reason. And here on the top, got the same roughed up look, MW3 logo. Let's flip to the back and see when it was manufactured. 2011, it should be a Corona motherboard, I believe. <laughs> Why is the sticker so crooked? It doesn't matter, but strange, whatever. Let's, uh, let's plug this bad boy in and see what it does. All right, console plugged in, and to get the authentic experience, I'm gonna use the original batteries as well, assuming they have some juice left. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. That, <laughs> dude, that, that freaked me out. I have never seen a battery so corroded. Oh my goodness. That was a stupid idea. Well, now that that's over with, I got a battery that's not gonna kill me. I honestly wonder, where this console was stored because it, it must have been in stored in an environment where that battery got destroyed because I've seen batteries that old that were like slightly corroded but I've, I, I don't know I've just never seen one fall apart straight, straight up like that but let's go ahead and turn it on actually let me get my phone out so we can get this here this boot animation three two one okay Ooh, oh that's nice Ooh, yeah what what dashboard are we on here hold on no it's definitely not NXE it's definitely Metro which is the unfortunate part but what <laughs> Maybe that's why this controller is so, like, just has dusty stuff all over it. Maybe the corrosion from the battery pack got all up in the controller a little bit. Hold on, hold on. This controller also just looks a little not great. That must be it. I got the other battery pack out, and yeah, you can, I'm, I doubt you see it on camera, but you can see the battery's also falling apart there. And I guess I should wipe down the controller. Man, never thought I'd have to clean up a brand new console. <laughs> all right, well, now that that's hopefully over with, let's see what this Xbox has in store for us. Sweet, we got this thing set up. We got a balloon, it's our birthday. Let's go ahead and see what this, I don't want Xbox Live, just go to the dashboard, dude. Here we are. Oh, dude, yes. Oh, I could have sworn this was on Metro, but this is, no, this is like the, an NXE hybrid, I think. It's not, it's not true NXE, but it's NXE Connect dashboard, something along those lines, I think. But dude, oh baby, let's go. Oh, yes. I love this, I love seeing NXE. But you're clicking on this, yeah, you get 291 gigs free, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and, I guess I should break the seal on that 360 game, because why not? Here it is. Oh, I got the classic seal on the side. Dude, these, this is super nostalgic. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's satisfying. Now open this bad boy up. Got a disc with not a single scratch or smudge. <laughs> it looks like I was getting stuck for a second, but nope, there we go. No, 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 no. No update, no update. Great, so I can't even... <laughs> I can't play this game without updating. I don't know what kind of update is gonna apply, but I would assume it's gonna hit me to the, the, the Metro dashboard. So let me go find an older game. So funny enough, let's try MW2. That's a little bit older. Yeah, there we go. That'll do it for us. This is so random, but I just found some plastic sticking out of this brand new controller. What, what is going on with these controllers with the, <laughs> the corrosion, this extra plastic console is working great. Here's on the MW2 on the MW3 console, but enough of Call of Duty. Let's go back to the home screen and kind of explore this thing a little bit and get a relive some past with this NXE Connect Metro Dashboard Hybrid thing. Got your play game there. You got your you know your avatar, network settings, game library, which will of course have nothing except wait. Oh, I forgot. It comes with built-in games. Let's go. The Trials HD, the Risk Factions, the Peggle. Clack, it's on every console. That's, that's great to see, it doesn't really matter. Um, and of course, Xbox Live. I wish I could see Xbox Live actually connected to the internet in this, this form factor right here, but of course, if I connect to the internet, it's gonna force me to update, I'll get the, the latest dashboard. So, nope, we're gonna stick here with Game Marketplace, which shows some, <laughs> you do, well, yeah, you, you know this is old when you see Forza, uh, Forza Motorsport 3. And, and Zune, Zune, Netflix, and ESPN, man. Whew. Avatar Marketplace. Last FM, that's some good stuff. I wonder if I can even customize my avatar offline. I don't know, let's try it. Dude, there's 20 pages of avatars I can choose from. Oh my goodness. I'll go with Slick right here, here we go. Oh man, I forgot about all this. You can change your hairstyle, eyes and eyebrows, face, mouth and chin. Dude, you can change, change your style. You can do everything here. Oh man, I, I miss this. You can put on a suit. Let's go with a blue suit with, a, with some bling, here we go. Oh yeah, the retro digital watch. Oh yeah, and then the, the fingerless gloves. Oh yeah, we're, we're looking swaggy now. Let me make this guy dizzy, there we go. Oh yeah. But let's go ahead and turn this console off because it's good to go and we've, we've made our, 
slick avatar right here. But let's go ahead and move on to the untested consoles now and see what's in store for us. And we actually have another inbox Xbox 360 here, and it appears to be number one, the first one we labeled when he this bought this entire Hampton Hall lot. And the funny part is this one has a high value security storage sticker thing on the bottom, I guess from somebody moving. I don't know, but let's open this box up and see what's inside of here. We've got hey, a pretty clean 360. It's actually even got the little, you know, foam storage pieces. Now taking that out, let's, oh, of course it fell apart, just, just like the last 360. And inside of here we've got some pamphlets just stuffed into the side, which is, I guess, better than nothing. Looks about the same as that other 360 we just unboxed. We also have, oh, two controllers, hey. Ooh, that's kind of clutch. Wait, hold on. First of all, this is actually a pretty nice controller. Doesn't look like it's been used that much. The thumbsticks look really good, but there are batteries in here. Are they corroded? They are not. That's a good sign. Let's put those, <laughs> take those out before they do corrode. Now this controller here as well looks really good. Also has batteries and oh, those don't look good. Yeah, that, that controller is probably gonna be trash. I don't usually mess with corroded stuff. You can fix corrosion on controllers, but I just don't mess with it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we got a couple power cables and a power brick in here and everything. So I don't know, let's uh, go ahead and plug this thing in, see if it works. I'm actually, sorry, I didn't even look. I forgot to even take a closer look at this console, but yeah, this thing looks really, like in some really nice condition. And flip into the back, warranty seal is still intact, and it appears to be a Trinity motherboard, I believe, what we all wanna know. Nope, no hard drive. Hold on, I wonder if this serial number matches up. Oh, you know what? The serial number actually does match up between the box and the console, which is surprising. Hold on, wait, I swear that looks like a glossy console on the front here, but this is clearly not a glossy console, but the serial numbers match up, strange. It doesn't matter, let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, got this bad boy plugged in. Turn it on, check the, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. We got a DVD, we got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. Can't be mad at a free DVD. Now let's see what's on this console. Of course the DVD tries to boot right up. Man, I cannot stand when these things auto boot. But now back to the home menu, we got fighting, it looks like it should be Irish. Oh, it is Irish, but it's a five and seven S, clever. Okay, fighting Irish 14 right here, Catherine. And let's see the last time Catherine played, 2015, Vancouver 2010. What, is that like an Olympic game? Why have I? Never heard of that. Okay. And then scrolling all the way back, it was first played in 2011, Sonic's UGC. I don't have no idea what that is. But let's go ahead and put a, let's put a real game in, not a DVD, make sure it works. Yeah, boot it up, that's good enough for me. Let's go back here, sign out, and see if we have any other profiles. We got two profiles, player one. I, I can almost guarantee you player one has less than 100 gamer score. Oh, 250, prove me wrong. Hey, congrats player one. You played FIFA 14 in 2014, nice. Now, let's go ahead and check these games right here. Any games downloaded, maybe? No. Nope. Just MW2, which is in the disk drive right now. Makes sense, because we got a 4 gig hard drive here. But yeah, not too much going on with this console, uh, but it looks like immaculate almost, and it works. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And guys, like always, all the consoles from this video, minus the very first brand new one, will be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com. So go check it out, and let's move on to the next console. Now, next up, we'll shift gears a little bit and move on to a Hold on, this thing is super heavy. It's a, it's a PS3 Slim, but I picked this up and it, what in the world? Why does this feel so much heavier than, okay, I don't know, but uh, it looks pretty good. It's of course missing a couple rubber feet, warranty seal intact. Let's plug it in and see what's going on with this thing. All right, plug it in here, let's turn it on. Got life, we got no free game, but let's see if it boots up. Okay, okay, we're booted up. Let's see if we got any games. Nope, pretty barren. Let's check out, uh, we got Ashley, and that's it. Okay, Ashley, let's check out your system and see the last time you updated here. So we're on 4.85, it's a 160 gig system. So it looks like it was played, I don't wanna say fairly recently, like 4.85 is still from many years ago. Yeah, just nothing on here. All right, so it looks like Ashley did not play at all. But let's put a disc in, make sure it works. All right, Ashley, your PS3 is working, your game is loading up. I, why did you donate your PS3? I, I will never understand. I guess if you're not using it, it's better to go off to me than just sit in your basement. But uh, yeah, this console right off the bat fully works. No save data or anything on it, but it, yeah, it works. It'll be listed down below for sale. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so next up we'll do PS3 Slim number 10. And this one definitely feels lighter. It is a different model, so that must be the difference. Uh, I don't know, different power supply or whatever. Warranty seal is gone, so this thing has probably been opened up. And dude, what is, what is going on with this like crater looking centerpiece here? I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Got power, no game. Let's see if it boots. Oh, we're booted up and we got this nice little teal background. No, oh, we got games. We got the Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies soundtrack installer. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Yes, yeah, so scrolling through here, there's a bunch of demos, but we also got Lego Batman 1, Lego Batman 2. We got a, a full Sudoku game. Where did it go? There it is, yeah, Go Sudoku. <laughs> and of course, as you saw, Battlefield 4 and uh, this soundtrack installer, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. We got, uh, let's check out the users here. So we got Brian W, Riggs, Emma, and 
Gom Gomsky 9? Okay, okay, let's check this out. Ooh, we got a message box. Oh, dang. I'm scrolling through. Can't, I have to go to bed at 8.30. Dude, why? Dude, you have, you're having a sleepover. That is a less legendary message as like definitely a 12 or 13 year old trying to have a sleepover with his friends. <laughs> what is this? Can, can you poly call faux duty black ops smiley face play? Oh, dude, this is legendary. Tuesday is my birthday, bring the noise. I'm gonna go remind Deadpool that my birthday is Tuesday. I heard an explosion update. Uh, Jurassic World movie for it. Sounds like this guy's planning his birthday to go watch a movie and hey, why did you kick me? Oh man, it's hilarious. Bad internet, be right back, shower. <laughs> Dude, there's like a thousand messages here. Those are those only received. Let's check out the sent messages here. Wait, hold on. This guy barely sent any messages, but he was receiving messages like crazy. People wanted to play with this guy for some reason. I, I don't know. Well, let's uh let's check out the last time he played here. Black Ops 2 in 2020. We also got Lego Batman 2 in 2020. <laughs> we got Play History all the way back in 1999. This guy was playing uh, PS3 seven years before it came out. That's hilarious. No, but really though, he's got save data in 2008, which is before the Slim came out. So I guess he had an older PS3. But this guy has a long PS3 history. That's, I don't know, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> he has this random video on here, some, somebody explaining some PlayStation stuff. I, I don't know what this is. We also got the tester preview show V. I don't know what that is, uh, zombie soundtrack. We got some screenshots here. Oh man, that's funny. I didn't even check this out yet. We're on 4.82 and a 160 gig again. Let's go ahead and check out these other profiles and see what's on them. All right, so Riggs hasn't played since 2013. Let me check out this message box and see if there's anything here. No messages. There are some received. Dude, everybody on this console was receiving messages like crazy, but never sent any. So actually, maybe here's a theory. What if the people on this console had mics, so they were talking to their friends, and their friends were messaging them back via text because they didn't have a mic? I guess it could happen on the PS3. I actually didn't play online with the PS3 in this day and age, so I'm not sure how exactly that worked. But this guy's got some, yeah, same stuff here. And yeah, not much going on. Let's check out Emma. So Emma didn't have much. Gomsky didn't have anything at all. Let's go ahead and put a game in, though, and make sure it works. All right, yep, game is working. So this console is good to go. It's amazing how many consoles people just throw out to goodwill that fully work. And I don't know, uh, I, again, like I said earlier, it's better than straight up just throwing them away, which I'm sure people do. But let's go ahead and inject this game. This console will be listed, listed down below for sale. Now let's move on to the next console. So next up, I have a couple of Wii's we'll test out. This one right here is pretty dirty and it's number 60. Flap is falling apart there and no SD card inside. Now this one is interesting because it has uh, first of all, it's number 104, which we put on there, but it has a thing that says this Wii works. I, I did not put that on there. That's been there. And it's also got, wait, hold on. What is, what the heck? <laughs> it looks like, ew, 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 ew. So it looks like the rubber feet in the bottom melted while it was sitting on like a tissue or something. So it's all sticky on the bottom. What the heck? Interesting. Uh, let's plug it in and see if it works. We'll start with the Wii on the right side, which supposedly works. And no game inside, not surprising. I'm guessing if somebody tested it, they ejected whatever game was inside. But let's boot it up and see what it does. Oh, yes. We got games. We got Kirby's Adventure and we got Super Mario Bros. 3. Jackpot, baby. Ooh, yeah. No secret channels. Let's go ahead and just start by putting a game in, make sure it works. So the game is clearly working and we got some Miis here. Let's check out uh, Chuck You Up. <laughs> Dude, looks like he's, <laughs> hey, it looks like he's been through the ringer. Come on now, Chuck. There we go. It's always Matt. Is that <laughs> dude the legend? Let's go ahead and check out the me channel while we're at it. Yeah, we got a handful here. Let me find my boy Chuck down here. There he is. Chuck you ate well, made by Al. Walker's son Hunter. This guy just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Come on, Greg, wake up. We got Keevan. Dude is the shortest man on earth. <laughs> so <laughs> guys, checking out the console nickname, it's Weed. That can mean a lot of things. I'll let you interpret for that. Uh, to be honest, these Weed nicknames are actually very creative whenever I click on them. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out when the last time this thing was played. Dang, January 2010, 13 years ago, we got a bunch of Wii Sports playing. And <laughs> we had 20 Wii Sports for 22 hours almost. Honestly, from how many messages are here, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually played that long, but in reality, probably just left their console on with the game on for almost the entire day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this console's good to go, it is working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console right next to it and see if that works. All right, I got this one plugged in, let's turn it on. And ooh, I hear a free game. And of course, the, dude, <laughs> what a combo. The flap falls off, Wii Sports comes out. Wii Sports is very scratched up, but in my experience, Wii Sports, dude, it, it could have a gash that bleeds through all the way to the front of the disc and it would still work. I, 
I don't know why, but that's just my experience with Wii Sports. But let's go ahead and boot this thing up and see if it works. So yeah, Wii Sports is loaded up there. Nothing else interesting channel-wise on this console, but let's go ahead and check out the Miis first and see what's up with them. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. We got a handful of Miis here. We got GJGG8M. My game, <laughs> it's like grandma. <laughs> oh man, they, they made him look like a nerd. So for the most part, these all look like normal people. But let's go back and check out the last time this thing was played. So I'm scrolling through and all of a sudden June 2013 has just a ton of, a ton of, not a ton, it's four, but uh, last played Wii Sports Resort, Madden NFL 9 for 20 minutes back in uh, June of 2013. Amazing. Now last but not least, we'll check out the console nickname and then we'll move on. Danny. Straight up. All right, I'll take it. But console is good to go. It'll be listed, both of these consoles actually will be listed down below for sale. So go check them out if you're interested. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up I have an Xbox One and honestly, I'll be surprised if this works because it, it's filthy and it's honestly just falling apart. Because looking at this front piece, like there's a giant panel gap right there. You can see this piece right here is crunched and it's just all, it's all just coming apart. I don't know, uh, let's plug it in and see what it does. Yeah, this thing is definitely not gonna work. I can hear a buzzing sound coming from it and it's not turning on. <sighs> Great. But honestly, I won't even bother with messing with this console today. I'll put it to the side and at the end of the Hampton Hall, like one of the last episodes, we'll go through and try to troubleshoot some of these broken consoles, see what happens. Yeah, that's uh, that's tragic. So next up, I have one of the Xbox 360 E consoles and it actually, uh, never mind, it looks really bad. I was gonna say it doesn't look too bad, but it's, no, it's pretty scratched up. Console number 107 and warranty seal is still intact. Let's see, do we have a hard drive? We do not. Oh well, let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, we got power, any free games? Yes, we got Just Dance 4, which is, I'm pretty sure this game is worth like $3. Again, better than nothing, but come on, you couldn't give me something a little better than Just Dance 4? All right, and I booted up, we got two profiles. We got Player 1, Zero Gamer Score, absolute classic. Then we got Va Vac Rush, or VA, VA Crush 5, 2100 Gamer Score. Not bad, let's uh, check it out. Hi, <laughs> classic. And the bio is Pro Gamer, 1300 Fortnite BR, I don't even know what BR means, buddy. I guess he's a pro Fortnite gamer. Little League World Series played in 2020, Just Dance 4 in 2018, NBA 2K17 in 2018. This is such a random play history for somebody who is supposedly a Fortnite pro. What a bio, man. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, let's check out the games here. Anything downloaded? Oh, God, Minecraft is just a trial, though. Just Dance 4, which is, of course, it's in the console. And yeah, let's just go ahead and boot up Just Dance 4 and see if it works. So the game is actually not booting up. It did start booting. The console is just frozen now strange though because this console i mean uh no never mind it's got a oh it's got a nasty ring around the outside of this disc so maybe that's it it's almost like somebody moved the console around while the disc was inside we'll try out the classic mw2 and see if that works yes mw2 read it up without an issue at all so i'm going to assume that's a bad disc and which like i said not surprising considering that giant ring was on there well i'm, I'm glad i checked because i was going to see if the parental controls were enabled and Indeed they are. Let's go see if we can fix that here. All right, well, unfortunately, it was not any of the obvious passcodes. Let's check out the oh, favorite food, dude. You got to guess pizza. It's always pizza. Well, let's, let's see. <gasps> this is unreal. It was pizza. Are you kidding me? <laughs> dude, that is unreal because there was another console we had like a year ago that both Danny and I were going through and we were like, yeah, let's, let's put pizza in. And it was pizza as well. That is unreal. Whatever, we'll leave that off and then go back. But I'm so glad I checked there. But anyways, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up we have a 360 Slim, which has these really strange marks on the top. I don't know how that got there. Honestly, it probably got that from laying in that giant pile of Goodwill consoles and something was laying on it. I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we have a hard drive in here. Oops, wrong side. And yes, we do, finally. We've got a 250 gig. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, we got power. Do we have a free game? Nope. Dude, I'm seriously just waiting for the day when I get a free game that's worth like 100 plus dollars. I think the most valuable one I've gotten so far is Mario Kart, which is like, you know, 25, 30. Oh, dude, yes. Yes. We're not on Metro. Yes. Now, this is like the, it's kind of like the console earlier. It's, it's not quite NXE, but it's like the Kinect NXE hybrid thing. It's basically NXE. It looks just like it. Dude, legendary. My man. Good on you, Tom. You kept it here. Oh, he's a G. He's standing there like this, like, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm an NXE boy. Let's check this out. We got 250 gigs, as we saw earlier, and we got Tommy. Tom, my boy. He's got Connect Adventures, Connectimals, Dance Central. Dude, this is a, dude, this guy was a monster on the Connect. Looks like a cowboy as well. I just imagine him on the Connect, like, slinging around his, throwing his lasso at cattle and stuff. I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. But let's go ahead and put a game in and make sure it works. Why am I putting Wii Sports in a 360? Don't lose my mind, man. All right, here we go. This is the real 360 game. 
game loaded up without an issue. Let's go back to the main menu and check out one more thing. And you guys know that one more thing is parental control is enabled. No, it's not. And actually, hold on, I haven't even checked. I have not even checked if there's any other profiles. Let me let me do that first. And no, nope, yeah, we got two profiles title total. Tom and Julie. Honestly, sounds like a husband and wife. I, Tom and Julie sounds like a that just sounds like a couple right there. Now, Julie. Oh yeah, we got the cowboy and the cowgirl. Nice, dude. This could this should have been in the Texas load. Why is this on the Hampton Hall? Like I don't. I don't got cowboys up there. Whatever. Cool. Once the console works, good to go. Let's eject the game. Move on to the next console. All right. So next up, we got a couple more Wii consoles. We have one that surprisingly has both flaps intact, no SD card. And then next up, we actually have one of the non GameCube compatible Wiis. And then hold on, looking at the front here, it looks like the disc drive is actually missing like a piece of the velvet or phone. What is what is that material right there that it slides through? I don't know, but it's missing a piece of it, so that looks strange. No SD card, and this thing is. Filthy, or just scratched up, I don't know. Let's plug in the white one first and see what it does. All right, turn it on, and no free game. But let's see if we got any free games downloaded. Mm. Oh, dude, we got, we got the Nintendo channel. I do not see that very often. We got that, nothing else special on here. But let's go ahead and put a game in, make sure it works. All right, game's good to go. Let me boot up this me channel, see if we got, see if we got some good me's. Ooh, yes, we got some special ones. All right, we got this, What? wait, wait, wait. What? Spit mess. What are, that looks like the uh, the dragon from How I Met Your Dragon. That that's what it looks like to me. We got fully <laughs> fully Becky. Uh, what is, dude, the eyes are at the top of the head. That's that's awesome. Afro puff. Yeah, it looks like me in about 80 years. April 2010. Last played Wii Sports for an hour and a half, and that was it. But didn't leave Wii Sports for me. Come on, man. But this console's good to go. It is working. Be listed down below. Let's go ahead and move on to the black Wii. Let's see what's in store. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. And, ooh, definitely got a free game inside. Okay, it came out. Dude, yes, Super Mario Galaxy, finally a new one. This one's got fingerprints all over it. Definitely used by like an eight-year-old that was eating Cheetos and put the game back in. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, make sure it works though. Uh, yeah, nothing else much on here, but the game is loading up. Good to see you. Let's check out the Mi channel and see what's up with it. All right, we got a handful of Mi's, not much though. Got Elijah, Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> console nickname is Dinky. Nice. There we go. Okay, here we are. January 27, 2017. We got a bunch. This is like, this is definitely when this person booted up the Wii for the first time in a long time or connected to the internet for the first time in a long time and it gave you all those messages. Can they play Netflix for two minutes? Console is working. Good to go. And uh, yeah, it'll be listed down below for sale. And guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Again, Hampton Hall episodes are every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So check them all out. And guys, uh, thanks for watching. I spent over $1,000 on untested consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test, explore, and fix about 10 of them, and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. Now, I'm saving up for this limited edition Xbox 360, so my profit goal today is $250, but let's go ahead and start with this fat PS3, which is uh, basically mutilated, very dirty, and then flip into the back, our model number is CECHG01, which is not backwards compatible, but let's plug it in and see if it works. Now, hold on a second. I don't know how I missed this, but the entire corner of the PS3 is warped, so uh, not a great sign. All right, got this bad boy plugged in, turned on, got life, no games inside. Oh, no. Here it is, guys, turn it on, and immediately we get the yellow light of death. Not surprising. And basically what I'm doing with these really broken consoles is putting them to the side and saving them for an episode at the very end of the series of the Hampton Hall. But let's go ahead and um, move on to the next console. So next up, we'll test out an Xbox 360 Slim. Yeah, warranty seal intact. Let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive here. I hope so. Yes, 250 gigs. Let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, plugged in. Turn on, we got life. Do we have a free game? Yes, Black Ops 2. Dude, got some scratches, but not too bad. Black Ops 2, that's like a $10, $15 game. Now let's see if the console works. <laughs> Wait, do these profiles, <laughs> first one, oh, of course the game. Auto boots, oh, I can't stand auto booting. All right, come on, take me back to the main screen. All right, so first up here we got Chase. <laughs> Next up is Chase's Blonde, without an E. JC, King Hartwell, Spooky Sugar 9703, Stud, my man. And we got Woeful Parchment 5, Creative. And actually, there's a, there's a mix of all people with fairly solid gamer scores. Let's start with uh, King Hartwell right here, China Sun Survivor. I've no idea what that means. Oh, he's got the background. The live jazz background, nice. No bio, let's check out the last time this guy played. Oh, I was about to say, wait, no way. This was played six months ago, or no, that's eight months ago at this point, but no wonder Black Ops 2 was left in here. This guy, oh, wait, this is, this is hilarious. So he was playing Halo 4 a lot back in 2020, you know, during the pandemic. 
And then I guess, <laughs> I guess eight months ago he decided to boot this up, and he's like, yeah, we give COD, <laughs> we give COD Black Ops Two a go, and then got rid of his console because he didn't like it anymore. I don't know. That's that's actually pretty funny to see. And this thing's got play history all the way back to 2013, so 2013 to 2023, impressive there. But uh, let's check out. We got any games here? Oh, dude, we got full games here. We got Advanced Warfare, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, Halo Waypoint. Oh, dude. Skate 3 and Tomb Raider? I should have known this guy was a Skate 3 player. I just You could just tell by the hair. Let's boot up Skate 3 and see what's going on there. Oh, yeah. He's dressed up in his hoodie and, and slacks and looks pretty... Oh, crap. Looks pretty <laughs> it looks pretty similar to his, his profile pic there. Let's check out the skater he's got. He's got Chase, Ke Kieron, I don't to say that, GX1000, and DDDR on his, uh, the Banquet Skateboards. Nice. But dude, I, I love reading out people's skate profiles and just checking out their avatars here. Dude, this console just went from pretty good to legendary without the games on here. Even the, the Batman games, oh... Those are so good. Now, we got to check out these other profiles as well. Spooky Sugar was the next one with a, a decent gamer score, so let's see what's up here. Wait, Spooky Sugar? Oh, never mind. He doesn't have that much, but he's got the... <laughs> this is, like, as, as basic as your avatar gets. We got Brooke, no messenger bio, but last played Halo 4 in 2017, Batman Arkham City back in 2014, the digital game on the console. Um, let's check out the next profile now. All right, Wolf of Parchment had the most gamer score. He had 9,000 here. He's got the camo pants, the fingerless gloves, Black Ops 2 in 2016, and that was the last game. Advanced Warfare, we also saw that on the console. And then scrolling all the way back, it was first played in 2011, so 2011 to 2016, not too long of a play history. But uh, man, let's check and make sure our family settings are not turned on here. They're not cool. So this console is good to go. It got a 250 gig hard drive with some free games. Gotta love the free games. But guys, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com. So go check it out. But let's move on to the next console now. Now, next up, we have a random Wii U console, which is very beat up. And this thing is filthy, man. Like, look at the inside of those vents. Ooh, baby. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Oh, 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 oh. I just plugged it in. It's got a white light there. That means there's a, get, a disc inside of the inside the disk drive. Nice. All right, let's see if it turns on. Got power. Now, let's see what kind of game it's inside. Something good, maybe? Something good. What just happened? Oh, my <laughs> power supply just unplugged itself. Awesome. Let's try that again. Yes. Yes, new Super Mario Bros. It's not, it's not even a Wii U game. It's just straight up a Wii game. They were playing on the Wii U. Dude, that is awesome. Let's go. And of course, I have a gamepad here, which didn't come with a lot. It's just my own gamepad. And boot it straight up. <laughs> Dude, legendary. Oh, yeah, we got some users. So we got Martin and we got Stella. Let's start with Martin here and see. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, I got to put in a password to even use the profile? What? Okay, well, at least I can use this other one. Let's see what kind of stuff is going on with this uh, console though. All right, scroll on to, wait, dude, this person just made a million folders? Great. Yes, here we go, we got games. Okay, so I was going through all the fold folders and most of them had nothing, except this one games folder it has Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land, which should be digital games here. Let's see if they even boot up. Oh, it's so clutch, dude, here it is, it's working. I'm not surprised at all because I think there was a bundle that came with both Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land. So here's another folder that has a few things. We'll go up, open up the Mii Maker and see if they've got any interesting Mii's. So we got like Stella, Martin, Lily, Keely. We actually got this one down here that looks kind of like me. And it's straight up called Dummy. Come, dude, I ain't no dummy. Come on, man. That's messed up. <laughs> this guy's got the super wide eyes. The, the poses here are actually pretty funny. But, uh, oh, I can change directions too. Yeah, everybody face the wall. You're all in timeout. Wait, <laughs> pee pants. <laughs> That's hilarious. But next up, we can check the daily log. And I guess that should tell us when we last played or when this console was last played. So let's check it out. Oh, that's so nice. On the Wii U, you can actually just press the trigger and it'll take you to the last time played. So this person had, it was 2018 when they last played. They played Minecraft for eight hours, Super Mario World for three hours, and Mario Kart for half an hour, and Peanuts Movie for four minutes. Dude, what a day. Actually, hold on, that's not a day, that's a month. Wait, wait, let me click on that. Oh, there it is on the screen. But well, still, actually, you can see on the screen that they played for five hours on the first and then it kind of just slowly progressed and that was, that was that. And actually, yeah, you can scroll through here and see every month Minecraft was by far the most played game. Actually, this month was Lego Marvel Avengers, but every other month is Minecraft. But that's just for Stella, I think. I, I wish I could see this other guy on the on the console, but I don't think it'll let me unless I know the password, which is strange that I can't even log in locally. Let me, let me try one more time. Yeah, so I still can't get on without putting a password in. But let's go ahead and test out a game. I got Lego City Undercover, and of course the disc is already popping out. Let's put it in and make sure it works. And oh yeah, there we are. It's working. Yeah, game's working. I'm gonna do one more thing though on this console. I wanna go back to the main menu and try to boot up the, 
the old Wii menu. All right, so now we'll put the Wii game back in, make sure that works. And I don't know, I haven't used the Wii menu on a Wii U in forever, but let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel and see, see what it shows up as. All right, well, never mind. The Mii's on the Wii are completely separate from the Wii U, so it's, I'd have to create a new Mii, which I'm not gonna do. But here back on the main menu, the disc is working clearly. So this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale, so guys, go check it out if you're interested. And let's move on to the next console. All right, guys, next up, we got a couple of Wii's here. We got a white Wii, GameCube compatible, <laughs> for we <laughs> uh, no SD card in that one. Now this other one is extremely dirty and beat up. Oh, what is that in the front? Gross. Uh, nothing in the disk drive or nothing in the SD card, sorry. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, starting with the one on the right, turn it on. Ooh, we got a free game inside. Let's go ahead and eject. We got, oh. This is not real. I am speechless. This game goes for $152 loose. That means if I had the case, this game would go for $200. That, that is ridiculous. Now, the other problem, the problem we're having here is that, that it's not showing up on the screen, but oh no. What is, wait, what is going on? Dang, guys, the, uh, that did not work. I swapped out AV cable, still the same issue. And I can see Super Mario Bros. there. Dude, there's, there's a lot of games on here. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta fix this. This is actually, I've gone through over 100 Wii consoles in the last few months, and this is the first Wii I've seen that actually has an issue outputting video but man this is another one of these consoles that will have to be put to the side to fix at the end of this series because i gotta do some research into how to fix that issue uh let's go ahead and try this other console out and I, man i really hope this game works all right now for this extremely dirty wii turn it on there's a game inside what's in it <laughs> another gamecube game what is hold on what is this no it's just naruto Cry, Cry. i mean any gamecube game though is worth something uh let me let me look this up this one's not that much it's 10 bucks but i mean it's 10 bucks i didn't have before and the disc looks really scratched up now this one is actually showing up on the screen so let's go ahead and boot it all the way up and see what it do wait <laughs> this one's got a photo <laughs> i can't show it but it's 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 not i mean it's funny but it's also at the same time like pda I, i'll leave it that way <laughs> but but guys we got games on here as well super mario bros we got sonic the hedgehog We've got Legend of Zelda. We got the free game here. We got, we got dude, we gotta try out Pokemon XD, please. I really hope this game works. This is unreal. Like, did these two come as a package deal? Like, I just picked these up randomly from the lot. And how did I come with two, two consoles in a row with GameCube games and downloaded games? Unreal. I don't know, man. Let's, let's boot up this, uh, this GameCube game and hope it works. So this is strange. I just booted up the game and it has this faint warning health and safety. It looks like when you boot up the Wii for the first time, but the GameCube game, GameCube controller won't do anything. Wii controller won't do anything. What what is going on here? Oh, the GameCube controllers are the GameCube controller ports are filthy. I don't even know if those are working. Game is working, boys. Let's oh, let's go. <clears throat> it's motivation. I it is unreal that somebody left Pokemon XD in their old Wii. I can just see somebody watching this video right now, seeing their old Wii, and just punching the wall. Like, oh man, that's that's tragic for them. But I'll take it, dude. Let's go ahead and eject it. And let's let's go ahead and explore the rest of this Wii and see what's up with it. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really disappointed if there's not a lot of me's here. There's not much going on there except for one me that I can't show you because it's just uh, not appropriate. I, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. This Wii is kind of wild. Let me check out the console nickname. <laughs> that's that's actually hilarious. Console nickname is console. Uh, last but not least, let's check out the last time this console was played. Here we go, February 2012. We've got some play. <laughs> that's another dude, I saw this in my one of my last videos where there's a there's a channel that has over or has 23 hours and 59 minutes of playtime and then you add another playtime and it ends up being over a full day of playtime in one day somebody told me that basically if you left if you started Netflix at let's say 10 a.m. yesterday and you ran it until 10 a.m. today it would put 24 hours on today plus you know this person probably played some more so that that i guess that makes sense not really but anyways guys this combo of we here might be the most unreal thing i've ever seen from a Wii uh in texas Lowe's series or the hampton hall series this one we'll have to get this one fixed in a future video and whew, i am excited to see what's on that console because there i could like see some f make out some faint stuff and i saw a bunch of games downloaded but guys pokemon xd gale of darkness whew, crazy Let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next console. Oh, and this one will be cleaned up and listed down below for sale. This one, of course, will go in a future video, but let's see, yeah, let's move on now. Now, next up, we have a regular Wii, which surprisingly has a GameCube memory card inside of it. And dude, look, look at that dust line, or dirt line, actually, that's insane. This console itself is just filthy, but uh, let's go ahead and boot it up, see if it works. And whew, we got a free game, no SD card. 
That did not sound good, but we got Mario Kart, dude. Nice. The disc looks almost perfect. Okay, let's put it back in it. Yikes, that noise is not pleasant. But let's see if it works. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if it works, it works. I'm not gonna touch it. It's not making the best sound. Well, the game works. All right, I will take it. Nothing else much special here on the main cha the main page. We got our Mario Kart channel and stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and check out a few things here. So first, we're gonna pop in here and look at the console nickname. And dude, I gotta I gotta take the disc out. It's annoying me how loud that is. JD's Wii. All right, so I guess whoever played this was named JD. I expect to see a me named JD. Now next up, let's go check out this memory card and see what's on it. All right, we got Madden 05. Dude, I actually played Madden 05 a good bit back in the day. NASCAR Thunder 03 and MV. Dude, these are like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these are like my three favorite games from 2003, 2005. I was huge into sports right then. And Madden NFL 05, I played on my friend's GameCube. I played NASCAR Thunder 2003 on my friend's GameCube. I played MVP Baseball on my PS2, but wouldn't it be hilarious if this was, this was my friend's GameCube from back when I was like 10 years old, eight years old, whatever it was. Let's go check out the Me channel. Wait, what? A me sent by Moore has arrived. I have never seen this. Oh, that's amazing. Somebody. Wow, nobody's booted up the Mies. First of all, why is it so blindingly, blindingly white? And that's amazing. I think somebody sent this we over, or they sent this me over from the, the Check Me Out channel and just had never opened up the me channel since then. And dude, why, wait, why is this so blown out? We got JD, of course, yeah, there's JD, JM, Chuck. Oh, it's Chuck Norris, <laughs> that's hilarious. We got Dan, Emily, and that's about it. Dude, this, this is straight up blown out. Let me go check the Wii settings real quick. Back here on the home page, I think it actually looks worse than it did before. I turned off burn-in screen reduction. I don't know what that would do to fix this, but I also uh, changed it to widescreen. Now, I, I'm not sure what the issue is here. I actually haven't looked into it, but I've gotten a handful of comments because I've had this same issue on previous Wiis. Uh, I had a couple comments that say it was bad capacitors. Another person told me that it was just a setting on the Wii. Somebody else told me it was bad AV cables, although I've swapped out AV cables, and this is the same AV cable I actually use for all the Wiis, and most of them work. So let me know down below if you know anything about that. But let's go ahead and check out when the last time this console was played. All right, December 2014, we've got... <laughs> this looks like one of those times when somebody <laughs> just turned on the console and connected to the internet for the first time forever. And then the next day we got some play data. Guitar Hero 5, that was it for this week. Actually, hold on, one more day. Guitar Hero World Tour, nice. So, so it was after that that they said goodbye to this Wii and took, to, took it to goodwill, I guess. But I mean, this console does work. It's got a weird screen and the disk drive is really loud, but it works, but I don't know, free Mario Kart, I'll take it. But I'll go ahead and throw this console into the pile of consoles we'll fix at the end of the series. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we've got a PS3 Slim. I already got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's got life, no free games. Oh yeah, it's booted up. All right, let's start and see what profiles we got on here. We got, we got a lot of stuff on here. We got EJ, EJ Money 757 User 1, KJ, a bunch of Js. Let's start and see what system software we're on and how many gigs we got. All right, 4.86 and 120 gigs, so probably played somewhat recently. Let's go ahead and see what's downloaded here. No games downloaded, but we can check out the save data utility. Last played YouTube in 2021, and then Call of Duty Ghost in 2015. I'm checking out the message box, dude. Everybody has... <laughs> Hi babes, you there? Oh, I'm supposed to be as this guy's girlfriend. That's that's hilarious. <laughs> so it's not a whole lot there. A couple friend requests and some sus sus messages, but this guy didn't send anything other than the friend request. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. Huh? Oh, there it goes. Wait, what? Oh no. Dude, this goes halfway in. Are you kidding me? Now it's straight up st crap. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, 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 stop! No, no, stop! Oh my goodness, did you guys hear that? That was very suspicious. I wanna risk it, I'm gonna put it in one more time. I'm speechless, I have never heard a PS3 disk drive make that noise. It sounded like an engine revving with a combination of, I can't explain it, that was, that was strange. All right, let's go ahead and check out these other profiles and we'll, we'll come back to that. All right, I got KJ last up and yeah, more YouTube. Oh, this guy's actually got some games though. GTA 5, Call of Duty Ghosts, Last of Us, nice. Uncharted, oh, Red Dead, dude, let's go, my man. All right, let's check out the message box. Oh my gosh, look at all the, look at all the received messages. This is like, this has got to be thousands. Most of them appear to be, wait, what? Oh, unused balance. Most of them appear to be just invites. Lobby and men, <laughs> what? What does that even mean? All right, not much going on there. Let's see if this guy sent anything. Uh, not much. It's, it's actually amazing how many profiles I've been through on these PS3s that have tons and tons of received messages, but barely any sent messages. Feels strange to me, and a lot of the received messages actually seem to be like conversations, 
So I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's not keeping all the same messages here or if I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but interesting. This console is clearly not working. Uh, this is one where I would open this up if it was just a disk drive like pulling an issue and it could probably fix that. But this is an issue where I probably need some replacement parts and I'm not gonna have those by the time this video needs to go live. So we'll push this to one of the repair videos at the end of the series. Uh, but yeah, that was the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we got a 360 Slim, and I already know this one has no hard drive because it's just uh, an empty bay there. A warranty seal is intact. Console actually looks pretty good itself, but let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, let's turn it on. We got power. Do we have a game inside? Nope, no game. Oh yeah, boot it up. All right, we got nothing at all. Wait, does this, does this even have any memory built in? Uh, no. Wow, okay, great. It's the rare console that used to have a hard drive and somebody took it out. Let's put a game in and see if it works. Well, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Unrecognized disk, status code, okay. Yeah, that's not good. All right, well, this console doesn't work. Guess we got another console to throw into the, the last few episodes where we fixed consoles. I wanna call it easy fix. Probably needs a, either needs a laser swap. Actually, from that noise, it probably needs a motor swap or a greased up rail, something, some sort of combination of that. But no wonder somebody took the hard drive out. It just stopped reading games, so they took the hard drive out, put it in a new console, and started playing playing there. But yeah, this console's not good. We'll put it in the stack to fix later. And then, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next console. <laughs> all right, guys, so next up we got three Wii's, one white, two black. They're all GameCube compatible. Let me check the SD cards. None, nope, none available. But let's go ahead and start right to left and plug them in, see if they work. All right, let's turn this first one on. We got... Got a free game, what do you know, man? Wii Sports, the classic, it's kind of scratched up, but man, in my experience, Wii Sports will work no matter what, so let's go. Wait, hold on, oh, dude, we got games. These are not just old games, we got Uno, we got Tetris Party, we got Monster Hunter, oh, that's Nintendo channel, Never mind. Check me out, channel. Wait, hold on, nice. That is awesome. What is this Happy Holidays Christmas? Why is my arm so far back? I gotta fix this sensor bar. And while we're at it, we'll check out the console nickname, Ace. Yeah, that's a pretty good nickname. Now let's go back and check out that holidays thing. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. You can make a card. Card, wait, wait, we have card album? So we're gonna see some old cards made. Yes, oh, one card, that's it? So you can select your tree, your frame, your stickers, your music. This is so random, but this is actually a really neat idea that you could, I guess back in the day when you could actually use internet on the Wii, you can make cards so like Christmas cards on here and send them to your friends. That's a genius idea. Genius, I tell you. And yeah, as you can see, Wii Sports is working. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel and see what's going on there. All right, we've got Ace and Buddy made by God. God himself, wow, okay. And of course, last but not least here, we'll check out the last time this console was played. All right, February, February 2014, we've got some play data, Netflix for the entire day, and that was it. Awesome. Well, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to this one right here. All right, so let's turn this one on. We got power and <laughs> Another free game? Are you serious? What's in here? We play. All right, we play. We can calm down a bit because we play is like a three dollar game, but it's still a it's still a great game, fun game. Let's go ahead and boot up the console and see if there's any other freebies on here. Got all the channels. We got we play. Let's check out the me channel first and see what's up there. <laughs> Dude, one me. This is a joke. Keith. And I mean, Keith even played a handful of games. Wii Sports, Wii Play, Mario Kart. How do you play all these games and only have one me? How much would you bet the console nickname is Keith Johnson? Must have been, his name must have been Keith Johnson. Honestly, I'm not even gonna bother checking the last time this thing was played because it's probably played like one time back in 2012, but uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the, uh, the unthinkable here, not even check the last time this console was played. So let's eject this game. This console, I mean, it's good to go. It's working. Listed down below for sale. And last but not least, let's move on to this console right here. All right, three, two, one, power. Another free game, are you kidding me? Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Another copy of Wii Sports. Dude, this is unreal. I, I, I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but like, dude, the number of games I find in Wii consoles is just ridiculously high. And now booting up, it almost looks exactly the same as the last Wii. We got all the standard channels. Let's just start it out strong here with the, the Mii channel. You can see Wii Sports is loading up. I'll start with the Mii channel and see what's on it. Hopefully there's more than Wii one this time. <laughs> what? Heather made by Heather. How do I keep, dude, this is, this is blowing my mind. How am I coming across these consoles, like one after another that are so similar? And, and, and like, trust me guys, when I picked these consoles up, they were like, this console was on the top of the lot. This one was like on the bottom of the lot. They weren't like bundled in a bag or a box or anything. They were just happened to be in the same lot of 120 consoles. Now console nickname, Heather, surprise, surprise. I bet if we go back, Heather has only played Wii Sports, but let's check. Oh, we got a handful, Wii Fit Plus, EA Sports Active, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports, Netflix. 
not horrible. Let's check out the last time Heather played. All right, here we are, August 2015. We got a message. I clicked on the wrong date. Let me go back, 22nd. And we've got a bunch of messages, but no play data. So this is one of those times where the person boots up, connects to the internet, and then doesn't actually play. <laughs> here we go, June 2010. We got some play data. Let's check it out. Me Channel, Wii Sports. And that's it. So that was, that's crazy. 20, 2010, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was, no words to describe this haul in this video. Remember, guys, Hampton Hall will have videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So check them out. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. I bought 114 untested PS3s, PS4s, and Xbox 360s from Goodwill. And in this video, we're going to test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. We're gonna start with this PS3 Slim here, and guys, this one should be interesting because we have a big fat GameStop refurbished sticker on the back. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, got this bad boy plugged in. Let's turn it on. We got power. Wait, do the game. Oh, we got a free game. Oh, dude, Fallout 3? Yes, let's go. Man, it's not often you find a free game in a PS3, but let's go ahead and see if this thing boots up. Oh, there we go, okay. Whew. Okay, thank goodness, it is booting up now. I just had to reset the video settings. Whew, that was that was a little nerve wracking there. And <laughs> we got some uh, profiles, we got Digital Boy, 1010, Neo Mega, and Shorty. <laughs> we'll start with Digital Boy here and see what he's got on this console. Uh, first, we'll go over to games. Any day? Oh, 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 we got games downloaded. Ooh, Invokers Tournament for the PS Vita. We got Rayman Arena for PS2. Oh, yes, nice. Awesome. Let's see the last time this thing was played. Back in 2017, played Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Fallout 3. <laughs> Not surprising considering we have Fallout 3 in the console right now. But the bad sign is I don't see Fallout 3 popping out, popping up under game, so it's clearly not reading the reading the disc. The disc looks fine. It's got a few scratches on it, but it should be reading up. It's probably why they got rid of the console. Disk drive probably doesn't work. Let's check out this message box, see if he's got any sent or received messages. Uh, oh, this is my brother's PS3, and he's on it sometimes, so I cannot play when he is on the game. <laughs> Such a brother thing. How old are you at? That's a questionable message. It's probably from a 12-year-old to another 12-year-old, but you know what I'm getting at. This is such so wholesome. Let's play Naruto. Let's be friends. <laughs> Wait, this guy actually responded to the guy that said, how old are you? And said, it's between one and 9,999. That's that's a good response. <laughs> oh, oh, we got, oh, we got music. Dude, this is awesome. I, <laughs> I love when people use their console for more than just games. They like store music and photos and stuff on here. So those two profiles have basically nothing on them, but I want to go ahead and try out a different game on here and see if it'll work because clearly Fallout 3 is not working. Yeah, there's, there's definitely an issue here because it basically, it tries to read for like five seconds and then it reloads the game. It sounds like it's spitting it back out and reloading it back into the mechanism and then trying to read again. Nothing happens. So clearly we need to fix the disk drive here. So for these broken consoles, I've been putting them to the side and we're going to save them for a few episodes at the end of the Hampton Hall where we try to repair these consoles. So let's put this one to the side and it, you know, it at least works mostly. It's got some free games, but of course, uh, disk drive does not work. So let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, we have a console that I'm really excited for. It's a PS4 Slim. And <laughs> the best part is there's a chunk taken out of the side right here. There's also a chunk just gone on this side. The hard drive is just, uh, yeah, the whole bottom piece is falling off. I think the hard drive is still in there. So that's, I guess, a good sign. Maybe it, it'll work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That just does not look good. Uh, the other side of the console looks decent. So I think it was just dropped on that one side. Well, let's plug it in and see if it turns on. To be honest, I bet this console will work just, just because, like, why not? But let's go ahead and see if, okay. Oh, I can't even press the power button. I can press the eject button and it does have power, but I can't press the power button. Maybe if I plug a controller in and turn it on from the controller, I can get it turned on. Oh, I don't know what happened, but I was messing around with it and it eventually just turned on by itself. Oh, wait, no, don't turn back off. Stay on, stay on. Okay, whatever I touched is making it so that it's pressing down on the power button like constantly now. So it was, it basically just went through the whole power cycle where it turned on and turned back off on itself. Oh, it's booting up. Okay, if I can keep this from turning back off. Well, I cannot believe this thing's booting up. Hold on, man. This is amazing. Okay, so it's finally booting up. Uh, basically, this button got wedged so that it was pushed all the way down and constantly pressing the power button. So it was just like turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off, cycling through. I had to unplug it and then, you know, unwedge this thing so that I could actually turn it on without it turning itself off. And now we're checking the system storage, which is not surprising at all. Let's go ahead and see if this thing will actually boot up all the way. There is no way this console just actually booted up. That is unreal. Hold on. You know what's even crazier is the fact that this thing is factory reset. So somebody, how did this happen? My assumption would be this console, somebody was, I don't know, somebody was playing this console, they picked it up, dropped it, whatever. It got smashed and they're like, all right, I can't use it anymore. Let me just donate it. But it seems like somebody factory reset it and then dropped it. 
and then donated it because this thing is, yeah, it's factory reset, but it is booting up. And what I'm really curious is what firmware version we're on because we could be on a really old firmware version if this thing was dropped ages ago. So let's check that first. No, we're not, we're on 10.01, which is like a year ago. So that is, may, <laughs> makes us even stranger. Hold on, let me actually, let me check the manufacturing date on this thing. What? This is so weird. The, the manufacturing date is November of 2022, which is basically one of the very last PS4 Slims that Sony produced. Let's put a game in and see if a game works. So we're gonna go with The Last of Us Remastered right here. And I think the, yeah, disk drive is somehow still intact, even though the, I guess it's just the case that's damaged because everything else is okay so far. Fingers crossed, let's see if this boots up. Yeah, there it goes, holy crap. I, I can't believe this console is working. So yeah, clearly the game is loading up and this console is working. Very odd, very strange. I'll list it down below for sale on my website called jerobgaming.com. So go check it out. I'll probably list it as is just because it's all beat up, but it is fully working and <laughs> amazing. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up I have an inbox Wii, which has stuff just rattling around and it's actually taped all the way up with just uh, shipping tape. <laughs> so gotta fully open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, got this bad boy open. First layer, oh, we got Wii Sports. Please be in there, please be in. Oh, oh. We got the, the case and the manual and this, this is actually in great condition, but there's no, no game. Maybe the game is inside of the console. We also have a Wii Fit board foot. That's random controller that's in really nice condition. Even got the stand here. Now, is there a console? Yes, there is. Nice, okay. We got the console inside and yeah, the console's in pretty good condition. Both flaps still intact. We do not have an SD card, but let's plug it in and hopefully Wii Sports is inside. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load and Hanson Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping. Anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games. So once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. Got this bad boy plugged in, let's turn it on. And there's a game inside, it's, it's gotta be Wii Sports. It is, I knew it. <laughs> dude, let's go. Wii Sports looks pretty good as well. Let's boot it all the way up and see if it works. Oh, dude, we got a, oh, we got a free game too on the system. We got Super Mario Bros for the NES downloaded. Let's go. No hidden channels, Wii Sports is loading up. Let's go ahead and start with the Mii channel. Oh, we got a handful, looks like a full family here. Every single one of them was like a three or four letter name, which is funny. Uh, let's also check out the console nickname. Party, yeah, it's a party, it's a Wii party. <laughs> That's so random. I, I can imagine just like, I don't know, I get the vibe from this Wii that they played Wii Sports, Mario Party, and Mario Kart probably. Let's let's, let's check here. I, I can't believe I forgot, about, I forgot about Wii Fit as well. But it looks like I'm, I'm not too far off. I got Wii Sports, Wii Play. Actually, I am pretty far off. There's no Mario Kart here. Okay, surprising. But anyway, let's go back and check the last time this thing was played. All right, it's so going back around April 2013. And, oh, never mind. We just got to... <laughs> A Wii U message, no gameplay here. All right, January 2013, we got New Super Mario Bros. for two hours, Wii Sports for 30 minutes, and they put it back in the box, so it took it a good will. <laughs> it's always such a funny visual to me to think about somebody playing Wii Sports for the last half hour ever, putting it to the side, and then just like the next day, they're like, man, I don't want this crap anymore. Let me take it to good will. It's, it's probably not how it happens, but anyways, this console's working. It'll be listed down below for sale, complete in box, of course, as you saw. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we'll test out this 360 Slim, which actually appears to be in pretty nice condition, to be honest. And flip into the back, we got the warranty seal intact, and I hear something rattling around inside. Hopefully that's not a bad sign, but we, oh no. <laughs> we have the classic GameStop warranty seal on the uh, hard drive, which is 250 gigs. Well, let's, let's plug this bad boy in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. I definitely hear a game in there, but it's making a slightly strange noise, maybe. Let me see what's inside first. Ooh, yes. Dude, it's, it's always Call of Duty. Call of Duty Ghosts. That might be a first. I always see Call of Duty Black Ops or Black Ops 2. Disc is in really nice condition. We got some profiles. And it's back to, hold on. I saw this on another console one time where we saw the same profile twice, and I don't understand why, but let's, let's explore a bit. All right, so we got Kent, Kent Swagner twice. We got Leet, Leet Kent. I don't even want to try to pronounce that, but let's start out with uh, Kent Swagner and see if that works. All right, Kent, what's up here? We got uh, Black Ops 2, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost back in 2013. And then, wow, really short play history. We got Assassin's Creed 3 first in 2013. And then, yes, yeah, so this guy played for less than a year. Let's check out the other profiles. So it appears that we have Kent Swagner on both the hard drive and the internal drive. Somehow you can put the profile on there twice. Never seen that before, but let's try out, uh, or, uh, other than that one at a time, let's try out this profile here. So this guy's got 5,000 gamer score, not bad. I believe I can, fr <laughs> oh, okay, uh, no comment. Location, USA, uh, okay. And Call of Duty Ghost last played, GTA 5. Last played online was Need for Speed Rivals in 2014. 
and first game played, if I keep scrolling back, was in 2012, Wipeout 2. <laughs> I've always seen that game, but I've never actually played it myself. I, I used to watch the, the Wipeout game with my, with my family, but let's try out this last profile here. Leet, Leet Kent. They got the classic swag glasses from like, that was, that was really popular in like, what, 2011, 2012, I think? And yeah, of course, last played in 2012 here and first played in 2011. So again, none of these guys played for, for too long. I guess they played for a little bit before they got their Xbox One grind on, but we saw the game boots up and plays. Let's go ahead and check out the settings here. Do we have family settings turned on? We do not. Checking out the storage, we got 250 plus the internal drive here. Good to see, we got a few extra gigs. And uh, yeah, other than that, oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to check out the games here. Do we have any games downloaded? Nope, we just got Call of Duty Ghosts, which is in the disk drive. So, uh, I don't know, console works perfectly fine, no issues at all. And yeah, it'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, I have a couple Wii consoles to test out. We've got both white GameCube compatible Wiis that are very dirty. Checking this one out, no SD card. And this one right here, there is also no SD card, but let's plug in the right one first, see if it works. All right, let's turn it on. It's got power. <laughs> of course, as always, there's a game inside. <laughs> Another copy of Wii Sports, unreal, man, every time. Oh, 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 hold on. Dude, we got a lot of games. First of all, I got the free physical game. We also got Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Nin Team NT. Next up, we got Donkey Kong Country 2 here. We also have Kirby's Adventure for the NES. We have Super Mario Bros. 3. What a jackpot. No hidden channels back there. Game is clearly working. Let's go ahead and check the Mii channel first and see what's up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Finally. Yes. We got Snoopy. We've also got Charlie Brown. Yes. Finally. This is like my Wii where I had Charlie Brown. I had Snoopy. I had Snoop Dogg. Or I, I don't know. I had anything you could download. I had. Okay. I, <laughs> I can't show that one. Uh, that'll be blurred out. Um, <laughs> I'll just let you take a guess Guess at what that was. This Wii was going well for a little bit until I saw the other Miis they had. <laughs> Let's go back to the main menu and find out the last time this console was played. All right, May 2016, we've got, dude, Snoopy played a ton in May 2016, that's awesome. Wii Sports, yeah, Wii Sports for three hours, and then, of course, dumped it to the side, took it to Goodwill, and that was that for this console. And last but not least, let's check out the console nickname. This Wii is called Wii, that's, that's, that's awesome. Now, honestly, if you went back and looked at my Wii, it might be called Wii as well, that just feels like something I would do, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to this console right here and see what it does. All right, plugged in, three, two, one, got power, we've got a game inside, Wii Sports again, oh, oh Just Dance, come on, man. I'm surprised I don't get more copies of Just Dance because of how popular Just Dance was and still is on the Wii. And this, ooh, this disc looks not great. Let's put it back in and see if it works. So this is a first for a Wii. I think this thing is frozen. Like I can't turn it off. I can't do anything. The screen is blank. So I've played around with this console a little bit and this is interesting. So it seems that it's not even booting up. It's not just a blank screen. It's just not booting up because I cannot even sync my controller. Like if I press the sync button here, press the sync button on the Wii, usually it would light up as the first player. I'd press A and I could go to the main menu and it would just show up as player one and I just wouldn't see a video output, but it, appear, it appears that it's not booting up at all. All right, yeah, well, I've unplugged this thing, turned it back on multiple times, still not working. From a quick Google search, it appears that it's either a bricked Wii or there could be a bad Bluetooth or Wi-Fi module that's just causing it not to boot up at all. So of course, this is another console we'll put to the side and fix in a later video. I think this one shouldn't be quite as hard of a fix as I, I think it is, unless it's bricked. I don't know if you can fix a bricked Wii. Uh, but let me know down below if you have any experience with this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a fat Xbox One to test out, and this thing is just mutilated. It does appear to be intact though, which is a good sign because the last Xbox One I got was basically coming apart, and yeah, it doesn't look too awful, to be honest. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. Oh wait, never mind. I just realized here on the side, <laughs> there's a random piece that's just broken out of place. That's not too bad though, but yeah, let's plug it in. All right, let's try to turn this bad boy on. Ooh, we got life, any free games? Oh. What was the game inside? What is this? Snatch. Oh, a Blu-ray disc. Hey, that's a that's a first. Never heard of Snatch, but uh, okay. Free Blu-ray. Let's go ahead and see if this thing boots all the way. Hi, Richard. <laughs> that's hilarious. Sheenosaurus. We got Fortnite downloaded. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it. What the heck? This drive just randomly tried to pull something in. But let's see what games we got downloaded. So we got Apex Legends, Battlefield 4, Doom, Fortnite. Geometry Wars 3, Overwatch 2, Worms, Rocket League. So a bunch of free games. A few of these are not free. Oh, a bunch of apps as well. Looks like he was playing some, watching some NFL Sunday Ticket. And uh, yeah, let's just try to boot one of these games and see if it actually works. Oh no. Yeah, classic. All these games, you gotta be connected to the network to verify you own the game. Let me just connect to my, let me just, let's just connect to the internet and see what happens now. Oh, of course. Xbox One was back with the classic huge update. I'll come back when it's done. 
finally got this thing updated, and I booted into a, a very cute screen here. We have <laughs> this guy's profile picture is his dog, I guess, which is awesome. Got I Love Cheese, Pug Hacker, and Tone Gosling. Now let's just, <laughs> let's boot these up and see if they even let me do anything. Yeah, so I tried to get into all four of the profiles just so we could like play some games here or uh, explore something, but no, all of them require a password, which is not surprising. And it kind of reminded me that I forgot the Xbox One doesn't even have an offline profile. They're all online. So to even start an Xbox One profile at all, you gotta connect to the internet and create a profile, uh, Xbox Live profile, which is unfortunate, especially looking far ahead into the future when you're trying to play a game uh, that you digitally downloaded in the future. Like we might run into some problems where you have to connect to the internet authenticate the game or authenticate yourself to play the game. I don't know, it doesn't matter right now, but that's definitely a potential problem down the line. Now, next thing I want to look up is how big our storage is here. I'm going to guess 500 gigs. Yeah, that's definitely a 500 gigs there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put a disk in and make sure it works. So this is strange. I put Assassin's Creed Unity in the disk drive and it is installing now, but when I first put it in, it did nothing. I pressed the eject button and then it like kind of woke itself up and I was like, oh crap, I'm supposed to read this? and oh, I need to clear up some space, but whatever. It's weird because I've done this on multiple Xbox Ones now where I try to put a game in and at first it's kind of like, a, the disk drive's like sleepy and doesn't want to wake up and doesn't want to do its thing and then you kind of mess around with it a few times, put some disks in and out and press the button and it's like, oh, I forgot I'm supposed to do some work here and finally decides to start spinning up and installing. So I guess it's just an Xbox One thing, you know, after a while it just forgets how to read a game, which no, that doesn't surprise me at all, this Xbox One is just, not the best, but guys, this console is working. Not much else to do with it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, we have a PS3 Super Slim. I think this is only the second PS3 Super Slim of the entire Hampton Hall lot. Let's see if there's a game inside. There is not. And actually, that mechanism is not bad. Usually, this thing gets really dirty and really grimy and doesn't actually extend all the way, but that one slides all the way out. Our warranty seal is gone, so that's not a good sign, but let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. All right, let's go ahead and try to boot it up. We got life, noise. I'm going to start here by putting in this Fallout 3 disc that I got in a previous PS3 and see if this disc even works. There we go. Finally booted up here. Let's go ahead and check out the profiles we got. We got <laughs> 7 Project 5 Go Big 7. Oh wait, wonder if that's 757 the area code, Project Go Big in the middle. 757, where, where, what is that area code? Oh yeah, 757 is like Virginia Beach. That's where this console came from, so that, that makes sense. 757 Project Go Big. What is, maybe that means something? I don't know. Uh, but the disc is, disc is loading up. That's a good sign. Let's go ahead and check this mus message box first, see if there's anything on here. We got some messages from 2017. We'll start with the sent messages. Doo doo baby. <laughs> this is, this is the most like 2013 message I've ever seen. Doo doo baby, change your diaper. <laughs> then we got some messages here that are, um, have some words I can't say, but then we got this one that says, I got in Charted 3. Uh, Word tight, and I had Warfare 2, but it got stolen. But I got MW3 and Skate 2. But yeah, me and Sensa are just chilling watching Netflix. What it do? <laughs> there is so much going on in this message. Incharted. <laughs> I've never heard anybody call it Incharted. That's that is awesome. Oh, and here's here's the res response to that message. This guy said, Who's Sensa? You need that Black Ops 2. There we go, that's wholesome. <laughs> There's some funny messages in there. It's just like, most of them are nothing special. It's just funny seeing the history here. Now let's go ahead and make sure this game boots up. Oh yeah, Fallout 3. It is working clearly. Let's go back to the main menu. And I, I've mentioned this story a few times, but I played Fallout 3 on like a 15 inch CRT, maybe 17 inch. I couldn't even see the HUD at all. It was awful, but I, I still played it and I, I think I beat it. But last but not least here, let's check out the storage size in this console. It looks like probably 250 gigs, version 4.81. And actually, one more, one more thing, I forgot. I need to check the last time this got played. Yeah, he did play NW3, just like he said, back in 2017. Also some Minecraft, YouTube, NCIS game. I didn't know there was an NCIS game. Skate 2, oh yeah, my man. And yeah, there's there's Uncharted. <laughs> All right, guys, this console is good to go, working great. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a 360 Slim, and this one, again, looks pretty good. It is a bit dusty, but that's how just about every console here is. Let's check if we have a hard drive. We do not. Actually, this one's, this one's got some like cobwebs inside. So never mind. This is a little, little bit more dusty than most of these consoles. Warranty seal is intact, but let's plug it in and see if it works. We got life here. I don't hear a game inside. No game. Oh, unfortunate. All right, boot it straight up to the Metro dashboard and somebody actually factory reset their console. Wow. You know, I've gone through maybe 80 or 90 consoles at this point, and this is maybe the third console that's actually been factory reset, which is just amazing. And so, yeah, not much to see here, but let's go ahead and put a disc in, make sure it works. I love when I'm standing in midair with no support. The good old 360 days. But yeah, this console is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a couple more Wii consoles, and this one looks like it was dragged on the pavement. It's just got this, these deep scratches all over it. Let's check new SD card. 
And this one is the, uh, we had a black GameCube compatible Wii right here. This one actually looks even worse. Wow. <laughs> no SD card, but let's plug them in, see if they work. All right, plug it in, let's see if we got a free game. <sighs> no, and we got a loud disk drive too. That's not that loud. Let's, let's see if it works. All right, boot it up here. We got nothing special, pretty standard channels here. Let's go ahead and put a game in. We'll put in Wii Sports. So I just put Wii Sports in and it is working. So the disk drive actually wasn't that loud. It was like a tad loud, but not bad. But let's go ahead and check out the Me channel right here. Actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna go to Wii Sports and check out the Mii's through Wii Sports. All right, bowling, we got Otis, Cool John, Soldier Slim. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. We got Dude. Right as I was saying dude, we got Dude. <laughs> we have a lot of Mii's here. Hold on, hold on. Let me just pick the first guy here. We got Otis. Let's do some bowling, and then we'll go back to the Mii channel. Get my signature curve on this. Oh, no, I split. I got, oh, I just got the spare off of that. But all right, let's go back to the Wii menu. I want to check out all of those Mii's now because I, I saw a lot. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got like 25 Mii's here. We've got Dude, my man Dude, Slick Willie. <laughs> it's definitely, those are definitely not Check Me Out channel Mii's, but they're definitely very creative Mii's, which is what I like to see. Now let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, January 2014, we got some play data. Michael Jackson, Wii Sports Resort, Michael Jackson, Wii Sports Resort. Michael Jackson, <laughs> there's a little switcheroo right there. And yeah, so I guess the last game played here was Michael Jackson and they took the game with them, unfortunately. Now last but not least, let's check out the console nickname, Warfields. That means nothing to me. All right guys, well this console is working. It'll be listed down below for sale, just like all the other ones. Now let's go ahead and move on to this console right here. All right, this bad boy plugged in. Let's see if we got a free game. What was that noise? But apparently there's not a game inside. All right, I'm not gonna put Wii Sports in it. I'm gonna put Just Dance in and risk this game to see what happens here. I don't know where that first noise came from because now it sounds perfectly fine. But the console looks normal. Got, of course, your Netflix, Hulu, Hulu Plus, no secret channels. And as you can see, Just Dance 4 is booting up without an issue. Let's go ahead and start with the Mii channel this time. Okay, we got a handful here. Cart <laughs> Cartman, like from South Park? What? This, this straight up, like from 90% from of the Mii's I saw here, it looks like a like an extended family, like kids, parents, grandparents. That's what I see on a lot of a lot of Wii's. And that, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, now let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was. This thing, this thing was played. Does anybody hold the Wii remote like this? I'm gonna start using like, it's like a, kind of like a pencil. Oh yeah, it's actually not bad. Oh man, September 2019, that's fairly recent. We've got, what? Hold on, I, I'm confused. So first of all, let me see, what, what, what date is this on? This is on, yeah, September 2nd, 2019. There's no play data, but then we have a message here that says 11-8-2018. What? Hold on, let me go to 11 8, 2018 I guess. Yeah, there is indeed playtime on 11 8, 2018. <laughs> Why would that message show up a year later? I'm so confused. Let, let me know down below if you've ever seen that, but that is not something I think I've ever seen or ever acknowledged at least. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname now. The Townsends, yep, yeah, definitely a family. And uh, yeah, this console is good to go despite the, let me do one more test here because that disk drive just sounded weird at first. Nope, sounds fine now. I guess it just had to wake up from its you know, decade long nap or whatever. But this console is good to go. You listen down below for sale. And guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, we'll have episodes every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So go check them out. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. I bought 39 untested Xbox 360 consoles from Goodwill. And in this video, we're going to test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. My profit goal today is 300 bucks because I'm still saving up for this 360 right here. But let's go ahead and start out with this uh, 360. And yeah, you can tell right off the bat, this thing is pretty much yellowed and there's just tons of stickers on top, which is awesome. I flip into the back, it's got a service date of 2010. I believe that's a Falcon motherboard power port. Uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. So I'm gonna be surprised if this console does not red ring, but let's go ahead and turn it on. We got life. I can almost guarantee you the disk drive will be stuck. Let's see, what? No way, disk drive is not stuck. And it's got Skyrim inside. Oh, but it closes on its own. That's <laughs> that's not ideal. All right, got my controller connected up, and we got some profiles. We got blue cornbread. Something sounds off about that. D <laughs> got these <D's> nuts. <laughs> double flip. <laughs> that that's actually hilarious. I also got double flip dog. We got phase killer. Salt and pepper. That's actually a pretty awesome nick nickname. And then we got that guy with a D. Okay, oh, of course he has an Xbox Live passcode. Come on, man. Well, this is tragic. I've tried every combination I can think of that's obvious and it's not working, so I can't sign into this guy's profile. Oh, man, he's the one that's got the most interesting profile as well. That sucks. Let's try out Salt and Pepper. No way, they all have profile. Oh, 
Yep, can't guess that one either. That's tragic. Let's try Phase Killer. Okay, there we go. Finally can sign into somebody's profile, but it's not even an Xbox Live profile, so it's not going to tell me much, but let's check it out anyways. So the latest last played date we have here is 2014, and the first one we have is also 2014, so not a huge play history. Uh, let's try to get into one of these other Xbox Live profiles, though. I think there was one more here. Yeah, Double Flip Dog was also an Xbox Live profile. Let's see if he's got any... No message, no bio. Yeah, his bio is hot. Nice. Uh, my <laughs> his latest game was played was Minecraft and MW3 in 2015, FIFA 14, and the first thing played was Halo 3 in 2010. Now, man, I really want to get into those other two profiles. They looked just... <laughs> they were just funny. Let me try those codes one more time. Oh, I guessed it. Let's go. It was left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, le right trigger for salt and pepper. Let's go. And he's got the Skittles background. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you got to have a bio and message here. Come on. Oh, all that work and there's not even a bio or a message. That's tragic. Last played MW3 in 2015, though. And I'm trying to find who last played Skyrim. Because Skyrim is obviously the game in here, but I haven't seen anybody that was had last played Skyrim. So it's got to be the one guy I haven't logged into yet. But anyways, this guy's first last played game was 2013. So he has a play history of 2013 to 20, 2015. Not too long. Now let me try the other profile one more time. Yes, dude. This one was right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger. So again, it was just the triggers, but the opposite of the last guy. Oh, that's awesome. All right, this is the guy I'm really interested in. Let's see. Dude, he's got the full-on get up. Everybody loves me. A man with a very large french fry in his hand. Where does this come from? And he's got the, he's got Brian from Family Guys as, as his profile picture. This is awesome. I'm surprised he doesn't have like a background here. What is his bio? I don't know what that means. Yes, yes, you are. Uh, okay. Uh, Hampton, Virginia. Makes sense because that's where I bought this console from. That's where I bought all these consoles from. And MW3 last played. And then the first thing with the date is Ace Combat 6 in 2011. So, so it looks like everybody stopped playing in 2015. I am surprised that we have Skyrim in here though because it looks like nobody played this last. Let's go ahead and make sure this game works. Oh, oh. Gotta do the classic slap the top of the disk drive. And it looks like it... Huh. So, the interesting thing here is that, yeah, you can see this thing's always flashing, which is not a great sign. Usually that means that it's not actually coming out all the way and triggering the, the mechanism that tells it that the disk drive is all the way out. And for some reason, it's not actually pointing back in right now. But anyways, the disk drive does appear to be working, although we will clean it out. We'll also replace the rubber band, and that should get this thing working a lot better instead of just having all those issues you just saw there. Uh, but we'll do that in a future video because, like I've been saying recently, we're taking all the broken consoles, putting them in a future video at the end of the Hampton Hall where we repair a bunch of stuff. I didn't check the games, actually. We got any downloaded games? We got, yes, we got Minecraft. Nice. Let's boot this up and see what the last save date is here. All right, so we got some worlds here. We got Solo, New World, Wild Castle, Nuketown. I don't know. Dude, there's a lot of... <laughs> There's a lot of worlds here. Let's try out Nuketown from COD and see what, uh, see what it looks like here. There we go. All right, we're in a big field. This definitely does not look like Nuketown. It just looks like a big field with a uh, big building and some cows. Maybe, oh, what is that? Is that the sun off in the distance? We do have something off, out here off in the distance. Let's go check that out. Oh, okay, hold on. No, I, I see it. Yeah, this is one of the houses in Nuketown. Okay, that, yeah, that looks pretty good. You got your shed out back, a garage. Okay, I see you. I don't remember cows being here, but... Oh, yeah, this actually does look like look like Nuketown, kind of. There's no bus, but there is another house over here. I don't know, pretty cool. Again, I'm not really a Minecraft guy. I don't really know how to play, obviously, you can tell. Now, next up, going to system storage. We'll see how many gigs we have here. We've got eight free. Yeah, so a 20 gig hard drive. This is like an OG hard drive, so it's probably going to die at some point. I want to say soon, but it's, you know, these things don't last forever. Let's go ahead and eject the disk and move on to the next console. Again, there we go. <laughs> Oh, now it's halfway out. Yeah, that thing definitely needs some work. Now, next up, I have an Xbox 360e console that we'll try out. Let's go ahead and see how large the hard drive is here. And we got a 250 gig. Nice. Let's plug it in, see if it works. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load Enhanced Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping. Anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games, so once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. All right, plugged in, see if it turns on. No way. A red dot of death on a 360E? That, no, that can't be real. So guys, I tried a few things here. Uh, first of all, let me just kind of show you, give you a better view of what happens. Basically, I turn it on, it immediately red rings, or red red dots in this case. I got the secondary error code, which is a 0023. I looked it up, uh, couldn't find anything concrete on what exactly that issue is, but it's definitely a board level issue, so I'd have to open it up and either replace some capacitors, resistors, or either reflow one of the chips. I think it was one of those things. But I'll look into it more. Again, this is one of the consoles that will go into a future video. But what I want to do 
at least for now, is try to eject the, the, the disk drive just to see if we have a free game inside. If you come on here the side of the 360E, there's a little yellow sticker right there. And if you stick a paper clip kind of right through there, it'll manually eject this disk drive. So let's try that out. There it goes, cool. Nothing, well that was all for nothing. Great, that sucks. Never thought I'd see the day when a 360E console gave me the red dot, but it is what it is. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next console. And again, this console will be in a future video to try to repair it. Now next up we have an inbox 360 Slim, which I'm always curious to see what are in these things. Oh, it's, uh, yep, we got an Xbox, that's a good sign. And we even have little foam pieces that are of course mutilated. Let's take the console out and see what's underneath this bad boy. We've got a power supply. Nothing on that side. I actually got a AV cable, power cord, and no controller. But uh, let's go ahead and see what this console's got going on. Actually, this console is super clean. Let's see if there's a hard drive inside. And there is, nice, 250 gigs. Also, I didn't mention it, but for the 360E that just red, got the red dot of death. Red dot sounds so weird, I just call it red ring. The red ring of death. I pulled out the hard drive so we can try this hard drive on another console just to see what was on it. Let's go ahead and plug this console in, see if it works. All right, three, two, one. You got life, good, no red dot of death there. Let's we'll see if there's a disc inside that hard drive. Disc inside the hard, disc inside the disc drive, sorry. Console's loading up, we got Tristan. All right, Tristan's already signed in. <laughs> His camera score is two, three, four, five. What are, what are the chances you have a gamer score that's you know perfectly in order like that? Now checking out his achievements, I don't see any Dates, last played 2012, that's the only thing it shows here, which is Party Animals and Madden NFL 13. Let's go ahead and put a game in, see if it works. And while that's loading up, I'm gonna scroll to the games, see if we get anything downloaded. We got, nope, just all the standard stuff, Kingdom for Keflings, Hexic HD, Peggle, Pinball FX, just the, the standard. And yeah, games, game is loading up, so not much to see on this console, but what we'll do next is turn this console off, take the hard drive out, and we'll put in the uh, 360E console's hard drive and see if there's anything on it. Let's see what we got here. We got B-Ball, nice. Employing Mean 02. <laughs> Sounds like a mean boss or something, I don't know. P&M Jack Attack, 13,000 gamer score. Oh, okay, okay. And we got Sophie 15XX. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to see much on here because it's not showing the avatars, which I have a feeling that maybe the avatar data is saved on the console, like 360E console, but the some of the other data is saved here on the hard drive. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. No bio, no message though. We can see when it was last played. Battlefield 1943 in 2016. And then first played NCAA Football 10 in 2012. It's not a huge play history. Let's go ahead and uh, try out the other profiles as well. All right, employing mean, Jim. No history here, Black Ops 2, 2017. And then first, yeah, Lost Odyssey in 2014. So not too much going on with this hard drive. Again, we can't see everything because the avatars are probably saved on the other console, but it is working. This console's working. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrogaming.com. So go check that out. And let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Crap, that was not good. So next up, I've got a 360 Slim, which doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we get a hard drive in here. We do. Man, I've seen so many consoles in this lot with 250 gig hard drives, and warranty seal is still intact, although it's peeling off a bit. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. Oh wait, dude, is this, oh, this console might be modded. I booted up, we got a blue LED. Let, let me turn it back off and on again. Okay, okay, hold on, I was, that startled me. All right, so turn it on, blue LED. It also, it also flashes, flashes red and green lights around the outside when it boots up. Also, by the way, the fan is on full blast, which tells me between the LEDs, the full blast fan, there's definitely a mod here. Yeah, there it is. There's two options here, maybe an RGH mod, or they just put LEDs in here and then did a 12 volt fan mod where they give it full power all the time, but let's uh, see what it boots up to. Now, I haven't booted up an RGH console in probably a couple of years, so I don't remember exactly what it boots up to, but I'm pretty sure it does not boot up to the main dashboard like usual. Uh, what did I, I swear I just saw a bug fly. It's, maybe I'm seeing things. All right, but we, we got some profiles here. We got baby.co, I am, I'm amazing. I'm amazing, that's awesome. Player one, PM blazing. Nice, let's just check out the first one and see what's up. All right, so baby.go. He's got no bio, no message. Last played MW2, nice, in 2018. And then first played NBA 2K12 in 2012. So fairly long, long history here. But scroll through this console, I don't see any other signs of an RGH. I, let's just uh, let's just start by scrolling through my games here and see what we got. Oh, oh, dude, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, these are all full games. We got MW2, we got Black Ops 3, Black Ops, Black Ops 3 Bundle. And Forza Horizon 2, all downloaded games. Let me just boot up Black Ops Bundle 3 because I'm not sure what... What? <laughs> Can't boot it up, okay. I, I have never seen this this error right here. So usually it either boots up 
where it gives you an error and says you have to put a, a disc in. This one just says, can't launch MW2 Xbox stores. Let me put in my, the disc tray is stuck too. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me just put in my copy of MW, MW2 and see what happens. All right, so disc drive works fine. It's booting up MW, MW2, but I wanna go back to that My Games tab and see what it shows there now. All right, so back in here, you can see MW2 still pops up. Of course, that'll boot up because we have the disc in now. Um, I'm, but I'm not, oh wait, hold on. XEX menu 1.2. Oh, that's, that's an RGH thing. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, this console is definitely, definitely modded at some point. I'm trying to remember the terms. How do I get into like the, what is it, like the Aurora software? I don't know, guys. It's been, like, like I said, it's been a while since I've booted up an RGH console. Oh, yes, I got into it. All right. I just uh, went to the XEX menu. I found the Aurora um, executable file, pulled it up, and we're partially in now. Usually, so usually people will install games here, and they'll show up right here. Obviously, there's nothing here right now. Let me go to settings though, and let's see if we can figure out how to mess with the like, you know, the, the fan, all that good stuff. Ooh, so so here we go. Now that I boot up the Xbox guide, we got a freestyle home, which is freestyle, I guess, is the RGH main menu. All my terms are mixed up right now. We can also see our processor, graphics, memory, and chassis uh, temperature readings. Uh, I'm trying to watch those to see if they actually change. Yeah, they're changing, so they are they are re reading right now. And then yeah, let's go, baby. This is. Oh, this is awesome. I cannot believe somebody had an RGH console and just an RGH console and then gave it to Goodwill. Let me see if I can find some. There's just like nothing on here though, which is kind of sad. All right, guys, so I've been trying to do some research online and also just search, surfing through the files here. And I ended up on Freestyle Dash, which is just another dashboard you can use through RGH. And you can see I'm signed into this baby.go now. You can see my disk inside. And it looks like the NXE dashboard, which is awesome, like legendary right here. And there's so many different things you can do here. Oh, we got, wait, hold on, we got the weather? Uh, no network connection, I'm not even gonna try to connect, but um, let's just throw, scroll through this freestyle dash here. And I'm trying to figure out how to play those games you saw on the main dashboard, probably just in the wrong category maybe. I, I don't know, I haven't really looked too much in the file structure of this thing. We got like Homebrew, Xbox Classic, Emulators, I love this dashboard. Now, something else I was just trying to do a minute ago is boot into Dash Launch, which is another software on here where you can basically tell your console which dashboard to boot into automatically when you boot up. But for some reason, Dash Launch was not loading. I don't know. I'll have to look into this more in another video, but let's just scroll through here some more. Check out the file manager. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the person who bought this bought an RGH console that wasn't all the way set up and then got confused when they tried to set it up and were like, man, this thing sucks and dumped it off to Goodwill, which would be hilarious. Like these things are worth 150 200 maybe a little bit less than that at this point but uh let me see what happens now if i eject the game it should disappear dude this this dashboard right here is awesome just like the nxe well anyways guys we're back on the main 360 menu now and in case you don't know what an rgh mod is on a 360 it's basically a hardware mod where you install a mod chip and it allows you to do homebrew uh you know install emulators uh, back up your games pretty much any of the standard modding stuff you'd see on consoles like this but clearly i have not touched an rgh console in years so i don't know what i'm doing with it but uh, let me know down below if you got any tips let's go ahead and check out this last profile here just to see what's going on with him and i'm amazing nice all right bio is i'm amazing been amazing since 06 rest in paradise nate record all right from newport news which is in virginia makes sense considering where i bought these consoles uh this one was last played in 2018 and first played 2012 so oh, to read his crash course nice but anyways guys this console is working we'll explore this more in a future video just because it's got so much you can do with an rgh console I'll probably open it up clean it out it is pretty dirty but uh yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next console so next up we have a fat 360 that appears to have a melted rubber band on top it's definitely a melted rubber band which is very strange but okay i guess it is what it is flip into the back we have a service date of 2010 here and it appears to be a was that a falcon Nope, I, th I thought this was gonna be a Falcon, but no, that's a that's a Zephyr right there, I believe. You don't see those too terribly often. But let's plug it in, see if it works. Got it plugged in, let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Got life, and of course, we already know. Holy crap, that freaking scared me. <laughs> that is the loudest disk drive noise I think I've ever heard, and I've heard some loud disk drive, disk drive noises. Now, we know we have a bad disk drive because, what? This drive is flashing when the disk drive is pulled in, but it's not flashing when it's out. Now it's stuck. That's like classic 360 stuff right there, but let's go ahead and leave it alone for now. And oh, this guy's at 56,000 gamer score. Just get up and fight. What is this? I guess that looks like some song lyrics maybe. I don't know. He's also got the Fallout character as his uh, profile picture, with his, which is pretty cool. Last paid in 2014, so man, yeah, he definitely dumped it for an Xbox One. Uh, Tetris Splash. 
and 150, 156 games here. Let's check out the first one played. All right, first played in 2008, so this guy's definitely, he's not quite an OG, because OG is actually 2005, but uh, still a pretty long play history and very impressive to have 56,000 gamer score. He probably has some games downloaded here too. Yeah, Advanced Warfare. Hold on, that, that might be the icon that need, means it needs a disc, is it? Yeah, it does. Okay, that one needs a disc. Well, these other games, that's a trial. SSX, yeah, we got SSX and Terraria and Tetris Splash are all full games downloaded. Let's go ahead and sign out and see if there's any other profiles on here. We got a full house of Xbox Live profiles here, and you can just tell by looking at them that they probably also have big gamer scores. But let's check out the 420. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Never mind, the, the 420 Goobins has never played at all. Who are you people? The Pinky Fry Cook? <laughs> no comment. All right, let's go back to, uh, let's try out XFG Co... Co... I can't pronounce that, I'm not gonna try to. Let's go ahead and see what's, what's going on with him. Maybe he's a Fry Cook as well. Dang, this guy's, yeah, he's got 28,000 gamer score. Anthony and his avatar, oh, there's his avatar. Super basic, but I, I respect it. Now, last played Diablo 3 in 2014. And by the way, this console is revving up by the second. You can see bunches of dust flying out the back. This is like classic fat 360 things. Now, scroll on to the end. Last played, or first played in 20, 2008, so pretty similar play history to the other guy where he has a, you know, a fairly long play history and got some decent achievements. Now, let's go ahead and go to the last profile here, which is XX0Eric0XX. That's like, that's the epitome of an Xbox 360 gamer tag there. All right, Eric. Dude, this guy's got 28,000 as well. I'm telling you, it was a full house of gamers. 41 days. What, is, what does that mean? I don't know what I just read, but it's apparently from 2015, and his location is like fire and ice. Uh, probably in reference to something that I don't know. Uh, last played COD Black Ops 2 in 2014. He's got 96 games worth. First played in 2011, so actually only four years and racked up a pretty good gamer score there. Man, I, let's go ahead and check, check out the, open the disk drive and try to put a game in, see if it works. I don't really have much hope for this thing, but the disk drive is working fine now. It pulls out, the light stops flashing, press it, it pulls back in without an issue. That does happen sometimes with, with 360 disk drives where they just sit too long, they get stuck. Hit them a few times, maybe clean it out a little bit, and then it's perfectly fine. Just a, uh, just 360 things. Dude, oh my gosh, this guy's settings are ultra sensitive. I'm used to booting up MW2 to this, the default settings, which is like a, a, a normal stick. This guy, like I tapped it a little bit and he goes flying across the map like so. <laughs> All right, well the console's still working for now. I'm gonna go ahead and eject this disc before it, the console just dies on me. Um, but uh, console is working for now. Oh, there goes the disc drive again, just flashing. You know what, while we're here, I'm, gonna try, I'm just gonna try to swap out the rubber band and see if that fixes the issue. So we're gonna do this a sketch way. Basically, you turn the console off and hold the disk drive open so that it stays open like so. So you can reach in here and grab the rubber band. And uh, yeah, this is the easy and sketch way to do it. Let me grab my tweezers. So basically right there, there's a belt that uh, connects two gears that essentially makes the disk drive open and close. So we're just gonna pop that bad boy out by sticking our tweezers in here. I would not recommend doing this if you don't know exactly where this band is because you don't wanna like stick your tweezers in there and grab something you shouldn't. All right, so as you can see, this, this band is pretty well stretched out. I have some new bands here. So let's go ahead and try to stretch one of those in there and see if that fixes the issue. Now this is the part that's kind of tricky. You have to get this band in there looped around these two gears without losing it, which I have done before. And then you have to open up the entire disk drive to get it out, but let's, uh, let me try this. Sorry guys, what am I doing? I might as well go ahead and clean the little wheel in here because that gets a bit dirty as well and that'll help keep the rubber band from, from spinning a lot. So let me clean that off. It really didn't get that much dirt off. It doesn't look that dirty in there, but it's better than nothing. And I want to reiterate that it's definitely a better solution to open your entire, your entire Xbox 360 up and do this rather than doing it the sketch way like I'm doing, but it is what it is. Oh, I got it. I think I got it in there. Nice. All right, cool. Let's plug this bad boy in, see if it works now. All right, turn it on. This drive pulls in. Let's go ahead and see if it ejects. Oh yeah. But anyways, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now next up we have an Xbox One to test out and it's pretty much mutilated just like every Xbox One I've, I've ever seen. It's just a, it's a very common trend with these things. Warranty seal is still intact. But let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. All right, plugged in. We got power. Any games? Nope, no free game. But let's see if it boots up. All right, here we go. We got Upright Muffin 24. Got a few games on here, or two games actually. What, What is this? It looks like four of the tiles should be there. I, I don't know, let's try to boot up Rocket League. It's probably not gonna work because that's just how things work on the Xbox One. So apparently Rocket League actually does load up. I, I'm so confused because the other Xbox Ones I've tested, I had to connect to the internet to actually, yeah, I had to do this where I had to connect to the internet. Okay, you never know with Xbox. All right, we got some other games here as well. 
Apex Legends, Batman, Arkham Knight. Oh, if this boots up, this is going to be a jackpot, but it's, it's not going to. It's going to tell me to log in, maybe? Oh, no, it's working. Oh, I don't know why, but it is indeed working. I, I got to look this up and try to figure this out now. Why do some games require me to connect to the internet and some don't? Because usually, like, if this is downloaded from this guy's profile, you would think that it's linked to his profile, so it has to verify his profile via the internet to make sure that he's actually allowed to play this game, which is why it usually makes me sign in. But this game, is that's not the case. Maybe it's just a... There's probably a certain classification to it that I don't remember. We also have UFC 3 here, and yeah, that's that looks like it's loading up as well. Okay, okay, so we finally found a console with games I can actually play. Wait, GTA 5. Ooh, 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 nope. Yeah, you gotta sign into Xbox Live. Okay, let's go ahead and connect to the internet and see what happens now. Dude, what do you know? Another, <laughs> another dang update. All right, let's update and come back in four hours. All right, guys, so I got this console fully updated, and I tried to log into all four of the profiles, but of course you can't use them without putting a password in. So I went ahead and actually deleted all four of the profiles just to see if these games are still work that are on the console. And sure enough, Batman Arkham Asylum, or Arkham Knight is working, UFC 3, FIFA 19, and Rocket League all work. Now, GTA 5 and Black Ops 3 say you have to put a disc in or, you know, sign in and be authorized to play the game. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, and I thought the games would be playable, but then just a minute ago, I decided to boot up UFC 3 just to, like, all the way to make sure it works. I got to this home page, I press any button as it says, and now I have to add a profile, and basically at this point, it freezes. I almost think it's getting, it's loading up this game, letting me install, letting me update, and actually play the game, but then it gets to the point where it's like, all right, now let's sign in so you can verify you own this game, and it's, like, getting confused, and just freezes up. I, I don't know. So I don't think this is fully working. Like I don't think these games actually work. I'm not really surprised considering it's coming from the Xbox One, but <laughs> let me know down below if you have any experience with this. I've never seen this situation before. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a, an actual physical game in, see if that works. All right, guys. Well, I gave up for now on this Xbox One. I don't know what's going on. It's just like freezing like crazy. Had to restart. Uh, the disc seems like it's installing, but it's not going fast four kilobytes. I'm going to put it to the side probably sell it cheap as is. Check it out down below. Let's move on to the next console. Now next up we have an Xbox 360 Slim. This one appears to be in pretty nice condition. Let's go ahead and flip it to the side and see if there's a hard drive inside. Yeah, let's go. 250 gigs. Let's go ahead. I uh, already got it plugged in, so let's see if it turns on now. Three, two, one. Got power, and I don't think I hear a disc there. Oh, 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 dude, GTA 4? Oh, let's go. It's pretty scratched up. But yeah, nice. I have never seen GTA 4 as a free game in a console like this. It's, you just don't see it very often. Now, were all GTA 4s like this with the, the white Xbox 360 label? I, I don't know, but oh, what is going on here? All right, we've got some profiles. The first one, like, I don't know what the head is from. It looks like a Minecraft head, but it's probably from another game that I'm not familiar with. Uh, we've got Emerald, Emerald Energy 25, Emerald Energy 29. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. We also have Trinidork. <laughs> We'll start out with Emerald Energy 25 and see what's up. And I'll also add that this bad, bad sign up with the disc back in and it says open tray. Yeah, it reads for like three seconds and then great. So laser is probably bad. Awesome. Actually, could be a bad game. Yeah, this game looks really rough on the bottom. So let me actually try it out a different 360 game and see if that works. Nope, never mind. That one died even even more quickly than the last one. <laughs> well, let's check out Emerald. <laughs> I am the king. He's got like he's got a king hat on, so can't deny it. Let's go back and Actually, first, before I check out the other profiles, I'm going to check out the games here. So we got any games downloaded. We got Assassin's Creed Liberation HD demo. Okay, just a few demos. And dude, what, is, what is the background here? We just have a picture of a party? Uh, okay. But uh, yeah, nice. This console is partially working. Another console will save for, <laughs> save for a future episode so we can try to fix it. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, next up, we got an Xbox 360E to test out. Looking a little odd because this disk drive is bulging out a little bit. You probably can't see that, but let's turn it on, see if it works. Okay, it's booting up. Disk drive opens. What is this? Oh, we got Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs too. Yes. I used to love this movie when I was like three years old. Um, never mind, it came out in 2013. I don't think I ever saw the second one. I didn't even know there was a second one. Let's see if this works. Yep, we got a couple people here. We've got uh, Castle, Castle Sphere 56 and a name I can't pronounce, and now it's booting up automatically. Awesome. All right, back on the home menu, let's check out Castle Sphere 56 first, see when they last played, and see if we got any games here. All right, no bio, no message. Name is Melody, last played in 2017, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm really curious if there are any games on this console. I didn't even check the hard drive bay. Is there any hard drive here? Nope, no hard drive, so we got a four gigs. We got a, d a demo of Bible trivia. Never seen that before, I didn't even know that was a game. Now. Family settings? No, no family settings. Let's go ahead and put a game in. We'll try out this GTA 5 from earlier and see if this game even works here. All right, yeah, so GTA 4 is loading up. Good to go here. This console is fully working and uh, be listed down below for sale on my website, jrobgaming.com. Let's go check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Check out the next one and uh, I'll see you next time.
I bought 19 untested PS3s from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Hampton Hall. My profit goal today is $250, and we're gonna start with this PS3 Slim right here, which of course is dirty, beaten up, missing half the rubber feet. Uh, but let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, we got power, we got life, no free games, but let's see if it boots. What the heck? It just turned itself off when I was trying to unplug and plug back in the HDMI cable. That's, that's a bad sign. Come on, dude. <laughs> it just turned itself off again. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so this console is a dud. It just, uh, it has green light of death. Like I can't, it won't respond to anything. And eventually it just turns itself off. Very strange, but we'll put this in a future video, a future Hampton Hall video to try to fix it. But for now, we're gonna move on to this other PS3 Slim and see if it works. All right, here we are, finally booted up. And we got, oh, we got some profiles. We got Witchy One, Fema Fatal, Dakota, Monk, uh, Swag Prince, and Sebastian. We'll start with Sebastian. See if they got any games downloaded in. Oh, dude. I haven't seen that background in forever. I actually made a video. I think the very first video I ever made on my channel was about a PS3 controller, on, a PS4 controller on a PS3. And I had this background on that PS3 at that time. I, I don't know how I remember that. And we go, oh, we got games. We got Final Fantasy IX for the PlayStation. We got Minecraft PS Vita edition. Interesting, Dragon Age Inquisition. And we also got the PS3 edition Minecraft. Dude, we got a, oh, we got a bunch of games. These are all full games too. Next up, we'll check out the message box, anything here. Going mining, yeah. Straight up, definitely Minecraft for sure. Who's a noob? Lost internet. <laughs> These are like exactly what you expect. All super clean, super wholesome, but like, oh man, I love it. Dude, there's so many messages here and they're definitely 100% all, <laughs> they're all about Minecraft. Every single one I can just tell is Minecraft. That's that's awesome. All right, now let's go ahead and just keep scrolling, see what the, when the last time this thing was played. If you go to saved data utility here, we can see Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe back in 2016, so been quite a while. Uh, let's also ch check the, the firmware on this thing. All right, so 4.81, 160 gigs. Let's go ahead and put a game in though, and see if it works. Yeah, we got MW2 booted up and working here. Uh, let's go back to the main menu, and I actually wanna boot up Minecraft and see if there's any, let's see what kind of saves we got on there. It's got a bunch of worlds here. Most of them are called New Worlds. We got Friends, Survive. Let's just check out the top one, which is Quest to Kill the Ender. D? Uh, what does that mean? I don't know. Let's uh, pull it up though. Okay, here we go. We got in a little house here. Let's see if I can exit here. I don't know how to exit. I just knock, <laughs> knock down the door. Uh, I, I've said this a million times. I'm not a Minecraft player, so I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of exploring. What are those, like rubies or something? I don't know. And it's raining. I, I had no idea it could rain in Minecraft. Oh, I found a, what is that, a horse? Go away, horse. All right, well, <laughs> I don't see anything, anything too crazy going on here. So let's go back to the main menu before I drown. The most classic message of all time. You up? <laughs> we probably know what that's in reference to, but I'll just uh, not say anything. And maybe if we check some other mes messages, we can get some context. And yep, I was right. What you're thinking is, is correct. Those messages were by far, like by far the worst ones I've seen on any PS3 consoles I've explored so far. That was, I, I can't show you, I can't tell you. It was, it was bad. Uh, you can probably guess. <laughs> and then we get to another profile and it's just somebody saying, no, I'm, I'm a mom of two. All right, well that PSG was something. I checked out all the profiles and most of them had like a few messages, but not, not much. But the, yeah, that one that I talked about was, yeah, it was bad. But the console's fully working. It'll be listed down below on my website called jarobgaming.com. So go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up we have a 360 Slim and this one is of course just dirty as per usual. Uh, warranty seal is still intact. What is Stickers peeling up though. Let's see if we have a hard drive inside and we do not, but let's plug it in, see if it works. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load in Hampton Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping, anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games, so once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. All right, plugged in, let's see if it turns on. Got life, any free games? Yes, we got Star Wars Connect. I have not seen that game in ages, but it's worth like, you know, two bucks. Hey, it looks really clean though. Let's put it back in, make sure it works. Let's see if this thing boots up. Okay, here we go. We got Annie, Mary, Nancy, Player One, and of course the game boots up automatically. My pet peeve, but at least we know the game is working and I, <laughs> I need to connect, but I don't have a connect with me. Oh well, game's working. Let's go back to, what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> he just straight up disabled the Xbox guide. So I can't even go back when I'm booting up a Kinect game. All right, back to it now. We're player one, rejected Orchid 4. So yeah, not much going on here. Let's check out, I guess, rejected Orchid because that's the only Xbox Live profile, even though there's zero gamer score. We'll check it out anyway. And this dashboard looks like slightly old. It's not the newest Metro, but it's uh, still Metro, obviously. 
And yeah, I don't even know why I'm clicking on this guy. He doesn't have any gamer score. Let's check out one of the other profiles. All right, so we got Annie here. Last played offline, so nobody knows. Let's see if they have any games downloaded here. Uh, yeah, just all the standards. Of course, Connect Star Wars is in the, in the disc right now. And yeah, uh, not much going on with this console, honestly. And oh no, we have family settings. Oh, you, you could just tell from those profiles that it looks like a family of like kids, adults, even grandpa maybe. So of course there's some family settings on here. Uh, let's see if we can hack our way through this. So we'll go here and we gotta guess our passcode, which I'm usually pretty successful with. So let's try it out. Yes, <laughs> it was four Ys every time, I swear. All right, let's, uh, actually I'm kind of curious. Can I see what the, yeah. Oh, okay. I wanted to check out the passcode reset question. It was favorite food. I would have guessed pizza because I always guess pizza, but it's sushi. Okay, I, I see you. All right, let's turn this off. Save and exit. And now, now this console is good to go. Oh man, gotta, gotta, love, the, <laughs> gotta love the family settings. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, this thing coming all the way out. Yeah, it is. Okay. This console good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, I'm back in my Wii grind. I even got a Wii bag here. I don't think I can open it up. I think I actually might have to cut this bag open because it's tied so tight. There we go. Got this bad boy opened up. We do, in fact, have a Wii inside. Oh, this thing is disgusting. Gross. All right. We also have a bunch of random accessories. We have, oh, it's one of the, ew, it's yellow. <laughs> it's one of those chargers. We also have a stand. We have like four Wii remotes in here, which I'm sure are all corroded. There's actually five remotes in there. And then there's like a door handle or like a cabinet handle thing. Interesting. All right, well, let's plug this Wii in and see if it works. All right, power and oh, no free game. But let's see if the console works. All right, boot it up and it's like, oh, hey, wait, <laughs> we finally have a secret channel. Hit The internet channel's hidden on the second page. Not that it matters, but let's go ahead and put a game in, make sure it works. I got Wii Sports in there and it is loading up now. This thing was, uh, it pulled in games pretty slow. Let me just show you here, here. So it comes out fine, but pulling the game in, it's just a, uh, yeah, pretty slow. It, it does work, but it could definitely use a cleaning on the rollers. It's a pretty easy fix, honestly. You open it up, clean the rollers with some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, and five minutes later, you're good to go. I probably won't do that in this video because I've done it in the past and it's just like a very simple job and not worth really worth showing on camera. But let's go to the Wii channel, right? Or <laughs> the Me channel, check it out. Ooh, okay, we got a handful of Miis. Oh, so it's another one of these where they just make, well, these are normal, but like the, the ones over here were just a bunch of random letters. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname as well, Graham. All right, nothing special. I guess the guy's name is Graham. Although I didn't see a, I didn't see a me named Graham, which is interesting. All right, this console is good to go other than the, the slightly, let's try it out again, actually. Yeah, it's still just going in slowly. Those rollers definitely need to clean, but it, it is working. But anyways, guys, this console will be listed down below for sale. Go check it out if you're interested. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, I have a big boy PS3 to test out, and this thing is absolutely filthy. You can just tell on the top, and of course, it has this Zoo York Extra Large sticker t-shirt on it, which is an interesting choice. Let's go ahead and flip to the back and see what model number it is. It is a CECH P01, so that's either 40 gigs, 80 gigs, not backwards compatible. Well, let's plug it in and hope it works. Got it plugged in, but I also forgot to point out that our warranty seal is still intact, and we're missing a hard drive cover. But let's uh, go ahead and flip the switch. Whew, that was close. We got power there. We got life and oh, we got a game inside. Yes, what is it, what is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> there's no way. Rodney Yee's Power Yoga Collection. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, all right. It's better than nothing, but come on, man. Dude, this thing booted up. I, I honestly had no expectation for this thing to boot up considering how it looks, but here we are. We're on, uh, we got two profiles. We got Tim and Silk. I'll start with Tim here. Any games? We got Final Fantasy 14. Nice, free game there. Let's check out the last time this guy played back in 2016. Great GTA 4. Nice choice. Check out the message box. We got <laughs> somebody sent this guy, "Hey babes." It was from Dream Girl. Oh, mm -hmm. must be his girlfriend. Okay, so uh, D Money Wild Boy decided to send this guy probably the most vulgar message I've ever seen from anybody on the PS3 message system, which is saying something considering the PS3 we saw earlier. All right, let's check out the sent messages. <laughs> Wait, I just found the reply to that exact message, that vulgar message. It's uh, it's pretty funny. I, I can't show it, but like it's, it includes your mom. That That's, I'll leave it at that. I can't really say anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and put a game in though and see if it works. Wow. I I honestly cannot believe this, this drive mechanism works. I, I can't believe anything here works, just how nasty it looks. But let's see if it loads up. Sure enough, it loads up. Man, it's always the consoles that look the worst that work. Not really, but I'm just saying that because 
This sounds cool. But let's go ahead and check out the other profile as well. Hold on, wait, I just <laughs> I just noticed there's a giant gash in the back corner of this console. There's another piece of evidence that makes me question how this console is working. Amazing. Well, maybe I gave this thing too much credit because I just had to turn it off and on because it froze right as I was talking, giving this thing a, a nice uh, nice compliment. But let's go ahead and check out Silk and see what's up there. And I forgot to check out how many gigs we have here. We're on 4.81. Oh, we got a oh, we got a 160 gig hard drive. So somebody swapped the hard drive here, which is nice. Now let's check out Silk, see the last time this person played. 2014, Need for Speed Undercover. I never played that one. And then no messages, so not much going on here. But the console, surprisingly, is working. <laughs> It'll be listed down below for sale. We'll, of course, clean it up. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we have a couple Wii consoles, and I'm a little concerned because there's a giant X on the top of this one, like somebody tested it and it didn't work. Uh, but we'll test it out. No, no SD card in there. This one looks a little, well, <laughs> this one looks disgusting, but it doesn't have an X on it. Oh. Oh, there's an SD card in this one. Oh, we got a 512 megabyte Polaroid. Let's go ahead and plug in this one right here first and see if it works. Got life and disk drive sounds fine. There's no game inside, but let's go ahead and see if it boots up. Looks pretty standard. Let's go ahead and put a game inside. Pull it in a little slowly, but it's kind of just standard Wii things. Oh, okay. Yeah, the X makes sense now. <laughs> Well, let's go ahead and explore this one a little bit more, but we'll have to swap out the disk drive here, which will be a pretty easy fix, honestly. Let's go ahead and keep exploring, and I first want to check out the console nickname and see what's up there. Norman's. Nice. I guess the guy's name was Norman. <laughs> We're also going to check out the last time this thing was played. We've got some data right here in May of 2014. Of course, it's just a message, not even play data. So let's keep scrolling. All right, December 2013, and yeah, it just danced for two hours. Dude, this is like the third console I've seen in the last few episodes where people are playing on December 24th, which is not surprising. People get together with family, and they're like, hey, let's pull out the Wii and play it for the first time in five years, which is, uh, I think, a pretty common occurrence across a lot of families. But uh, yeah, this console is good to go. Actually, hold on, I forgot. We need to check out the Mii channel. Wait, what? I, <laughs> I tried to boot up the Mii channel, and it gave me a, an eject button error. What? Well, that's a first. All right, let's try again. Okay, now it works. That was really weird. We have, what is that? Oh, it's like, we got a question mark, but his name is something random. Then we have Jules, another person that just names their me's just with random letters and numbers and stuff. And wait, what is that? Rick, Rickitaboo? <laughs> okay. All right, well, the console is kind of working. We'll try to swap out the disk drive and see if that fixes the issue. Uh, if it doesn't, then that kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and move on to number uh, 98 right here and see if it works. All right, 321, got power. Ooh, we got a free game. Wii Sports. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Okay, there we go. We got Deca Sports 3. No way. All right. So I, I I had Deca Sports on my Wii back when it came out, like when the Wii came out. I did not know they made three of them. I didn't even know they made two of them. All right. That's that's something not as good as a Mario game. But let's go ahead and boot this console up and see what it's got on it. All right. All the channels are pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and check out the SD card and see if they have any games saved to it. Yep. Nothing here. We'll check out the photo channel as well. And nothing. All right. So great. Another... <laughs> Another Wii with an SD card that has nothing on it. So somebody put this theory in a comment on a, few, a previous video where they said some people bought SD cards and put them in their Wiis because they thought that was how you save data on it. So they just put the SD card in there just because. And they didn't know the, uh, the SD card was for like photos or putting channels on it, that sort of thing. So I guess that's plausible. Let's check out the Mii channel though. Okay, we got a handful of Mii's here. We got White Mike, what? Court Snort. Nerd guy, nice. <laughs> we got B, nice, that's my favorite one. Hey, somebody bought a Hampton Hall shirt. Now check it out, the last time this thing was played, we got some data here in January 2012. We've got, we play The Secret Rings for seven hours in Wipeout 2. Amazing, all right, cool. Well, <laughs> that was something, I haven't seen that before. And now last but not least, let's check out the console nickname, which is Dewey, yes! Oh, I love it. All right, cool, well this console is working unlike that sucky one right there. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up, we're gonna test out this PS3 right here, which of course, as always, very, very beat up. We do still have a warranty sticker intact though. And flip into the back, it is a model CECH G01. Uh, let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, let's hit that button. We got power and no free game. Hopefully it boots. Wait, what? <laughs> what was that red dash in the top right hand corner? I don't think I've ever seen that, but it did boot up without an issue here. Let's go ahead and just start and see if we got any games downloaded. Nope, no games at all. We got any profiles? Just, <laughs> dude, Fred, what an awesome name. All right, let's go ahead and ooh, we got some, oh, we got a screenshot from PlayStation Home. I never played PlayStation Home, but this looks like a throwback image. That's like a, the epitome of a 2010 gaming image right there. We also got 
Act of Valor, <laughs> random movie here. All right, let's just start by putting a game in and see if it works. There you go, man, it is booting up, and ooh, this guy played some MW2, because you can see the completion of 52.7, very specific. Oh, multiplayer 100%, that's impressive. And yeah, this guy played offline multiplayer a lot. There's a lot of saves here. Let's go ahead and take the latest one and load it up. We well, got some extra classes unlocked, like the Riot Control, which I'd never seen on these consoles because pretty much every console I boot up does not have any offline multiplayer data, but here we go. Oh, I mean, I remember using this back in 2010 when I played with my friends, 2009 actually probably. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, go back to the main menu and check some other stuff out. All right, next up we'll hit up the message box. We've got some, huh? Hey, dear Fred, Fredgra, been a long time since you used your PSN wallet. This looks like a, one of those scam things, but maybe it's real, probably not. Oh, hey Fred. Nice, they even knew, knew Fred's name. Let's go ahead and check out the sit messages. Uh, every time. I, <laughs> let me know when your mom lets you get one. That's classic, like, 12-year-old, 13-year-old talk there. Awesome, network issues. Get to bed early, you have an early date. <laughs> now this guy sounds like his dad. <laughs> but last but not least, let's go ahead and see what kind of hard drive we have here. 40 gigs, wow. We only have, we have less than a gig of free space left. 4.55, that's pretty old there. Um, oh, actually, one more thing. I need to check out the last time this guy played. So, save data utility. Let me sort this now. Last played, oh, that was my save data. <laughs> last played Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in 2013. So, quite a long time. But this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, we have a couple of Wii's to test out. They're both GameCube compatible. Let's see if they have SD cards. Nope, neither of them do. Already got this one plugged in, so let's see if it turns on. It does, and we got a game inside. All right, what is it? Let's, let's see. Just Dance, again. But this is like the, this must be the OG Just Dance. What year is this from? Like 2010, wow. We're booted up here and the game is loading up. Everything looks pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and start with uh, the Mii channel and see what's going on there. Oh, oh yes, nice. Got like 30 Mii's here, we've got, wow. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I can't show that to you guys. Beena Beans, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, here we go. December 2011, looks like everybody just decided to play Wii Fit this one day. Uh, Wii Sports, Wii Sports, and what? why did they say Wii Fit, but nobody, I guess you can do the Wii Fitness test without playing a game and it doesn't add it to your play history. Oh no, strange, but last but not least, let's check out the console nickname. Tank, yeah, this thing, I mean, it's, it's not wrong. These Wiis are tanks. The number of Wiis I get, they just look disgusting, filthy, beat up like crazy and then they work perfectly and have a copy of Wii Sports inside is amazing. This console is working though. It'll be listed down below for sale. You can see it's number 94. Let's go ahead and move on to this one next to it and see if that works. By the way guys, if you haven't seen my other Hampton Hall video where I found an absolute jackpot in a Wii, go check that out up, up on the screen. We'll see if this one boots up. Wait, hold on. The faceplate is all messed up. Look at that. I can barely press it down. All right, but there's definitely a game inside. Uh, let's see what's in here. If I can press eject, come on. That was stupid. There we go. I finally got the faceplate back in place, and yes, Wii Sports Resort. Now, this game pretty beat up, but probably works. Let's check. Oh, we got some... <laughs> we got a <laughs> we got a photo on the photo channel of uh, <laughs> a kid with sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, man, we got a bunch of stuff here. Actually, we got the Wii, tran Wii U transfer tool, so you know this person transferred over to a Wii U. We also got a copy of Uno here. What? Oh, yeah, sensitivity, sensitivity way low. Hold on, let me, let me fix that. All right, that's better. Let's check out the console nickname, F Pfeifferland. N no guesses as to what that means. But let's go ahead and uh, boot up the game, make sure it works. All right, here we go, boot it up. I'm gonna see what kind of Mii's we got here. We've got Toad, <laughs> what was that, Toadweiser? Oh, uh, we only have like 10 Mii's. Eh, not much going on here. Let's go, out, <laughs> let's check out Toadweiser and play some, uh, play some Wii Bowling. Looks like this guy's actually played. He had a high score of 1,500, which is just insane for a bowling, <laughs> bowling game. <laughs> oh, I haven't played this in so long. Tortoro, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, baby. All right, started off slow, finished strong with a record of 2,100. No, oh, come on, Sky. You had a 27.98? Oh, no, nah, come on. I was so happy, too. All right, well, this game is working. Let's go back to the main menu. Now, checking out the meme menu, we do have, actually have more than 10 memes. We have, like, 15, maybe. We got Ginger Snap, <laughs> Bella, Cooper, Sky. Oh, there's Sky. The infamous Sky. They got 27.98 in bowling. Toadweiser, there he is. There's my man, Toadweiser. All right, guys, this console's fully working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have a 360 Slim, and of course, just very beat up as always. 
This thing feels very heavy. I think it's just because of the model, but let's go ahead and check the hard drive. Yep, we got 250 gigs and ooh, that thing is dusty. All right, let's uh, plug it in, see if it works. Of course. I do this every time. I accidentally press the, uh, the, the eject button as I was trying to plug this thing in. So no free game, that's unfortunate, but let's see if it boots up. Okay, well, oddly enough, there is no video output. I can't get it to work. Uh, I'm gonna swap to an AV cable and see if that fixes the issue. All right, well, there it is. It works over AV, but not HDMI. I think I've seen that like maybe one ever, other time ever. So I don't know, busted, a, busted uh, HDMI port, I guess. Let's see if we have anything downloaded. No games, okay. This thing actually looks factory reset. Let me check the storage here. Wow, yes, yeah, somebody, one in a million, somebody actually factory reset their, their 360 before they donated it. You don't see that very often, but let's test, test out a game and see if it works. This looks so much worse over AV than HDMI. I mean, obviously, but uh, yeah, game is working. This console is working fine. There's not really much to explore since they're, they actually factory reset their console. Can't blame them. Uh, but yeah, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Actually, it's not quite a good to go. I, I, let me explore some more and see if I can figure out how to fix this HDMI thing. Okay, so now it's working fine. I just basically went to the settings and wow, it looks so much better. I went to the settings, console settings, display and changed it to 1080p while it was still on the AV. And then I took out the AV cable, plugged in the HDMI and whew, there's a lot of dust coming out of this thing. I'm about to sneeze. Dude, oh my goodness. There's, there's dust like all around here from this console and the last console. You can just, ugh. All right, but anyways, it is working now fully. All right, guys, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we're gonna test out a couple of Wii's here. They are both black GameCube compatible Wii's, which you don't see terribly often, except that I saw these a lot in this lot, surprisingly. Now, do we have an SD card? Nothing in there, and nothing here either, other than a bunch of dust bunnies, but let's plug them in, see if they work. Starting with this Wii on the right side, let's go ahead and turn it on, and uh, I guess it sounds fine, but no, no free game, which is unfortunate. Let's go ahead and see if this console works though. Looks pretty standard here. Let's go ahead and put in Wii Sports, make sure that loads up. And in the meantime, we'll go ahead and load up, load up the Mii channel and see what's on it. Okay, I see you. We got a handful of Mii's. We get Bushy. So the interesting part here to me is we have Dad. We also have Daddy, no comment. But let's go back and uh, make sure Wii Sports works. Yep, Wii Sports is good to go. Let's go ahead and check out the last date this thing was played. December 2016. We've got, oh wow. Somebody played a lot in December 2016. We got. Sean White Skate and four hours of Wii Sports. So what is this? Oh yeah, it's Christmas Eve, dude. The family definitely got together and she decided that they were gonna play a bunch of Wii Fitness and wait, hold on, why, why did Wii Fitness pop up when it didn't say Wii Fitness in the play? Whatever, clearly basically the whole family got together and played some Wii Sports on Christmas Eve, which is just, I don't know, just a funny little history tidbit to see. Now last but not least, let's go ahead and check out the console nickname. TCC slash CTC. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what that means. I don't know what to, okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and inject the disc and move on to this console right here. All right, let's turn it on. Three, two, one. Oh, the front faceplate is kind of jacked up a little bit. Uh, there's definitely a disc inside though. Let's see, Wii Sports. <laughs> what do you know? It is indeed Wii Sports. All right, let's put that back in. Make sure that works. Man, every time you gotta love the free copies of Wii Sports and it is loading up. We got all the standard channels here. Nothing special. Let's go ahead and start by We'll boot up Wii Sports and check out the Miis that way. We got 22 Miis, nice. They had, nothing looks, cr no, no crazy Miis, not like they don't have any Snoopy or Garfield or anything, but we got we got Bacon, let's go. All right, Bacon. Oh, Bacon's a lefty? Oh crap, I'm, I'm toast now. Get out of here. Oh, dude, they, they got me with the angle and everything. I thought for sure that was out of the park and it was just a freaking pop-up. All right though, that, oh my. Left. I don't swing without a lefty, so that kind of messed up my shoulder a little bit. I already have some left shoulder problems so that don't feel great, but the console's working. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Oh, hold on. April of 2021? Oh, okay, okay. I see you. Yeah, there's the Wii Sports. There's the last time I played Wii Sports and then dumped the console off. Now, of course, you also got to check out the console nickname. It's Bacon. Yes. Yes. Classic. That's awesome. Love seeing Bacon. Actually, let's go back to the Wii, the, the Me channel. Let's see if we can see anything else interesting there. And yeah, like I said, 22 Mii's here. Nothing crazy other than bacon. Wait, there's multiple bacons. Bacon, bacon. Wait, <laughs> Debbie, is that like the, the Disney actor? That is, that would not surprise me at all. This is definitely a kid that loves bacon and they also watch Disney Channel. So they made Debbie Ryan, the Disney Channel star from 15 years ago. And <laughs> that's hilarious. But this console's working. Let's go ahead and put it to the side. And of course, this thing will be listed down below for sale on my website. Let's go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. I also just noticed that the Wii Sports in this Wii right here is I believe the new copy of Wii Sports. I, I really don't remember the exact differences, but the, I think there's some minor differences. You can see, just physically, you can see that the, 
I think the blue is a slightly different color and then also the text is all white versus some of the text over here is clear and you can see the disc through it. So next up, I have a couple Wii consoles. This one has both flaps and tech. You don't see that very often. Uh, it looks pretty decent other than this giant scuff on the front. This one, flaps are missing, no SD card. Well, let's plug them in and see if they work. Three, two, one, you got power. Ooh, there's a game inside. Can we get a Mario Kart? Oh, yes, I guessed it, Mario Kart, let's go. Come on. I don't know why I went back in the first time. Uh, disc looks decent. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. Well, uh, the disc drive is making some very funny noises. Great, so game doesn't work, but <laughs> there it is. All right, awesome. I'm sure this console just stopped reading games. The person dumped the console to the side, took it to Goodwill, and that was that. Let's go ahead and boot it back up and check out the Me channel. That's making some really strange noises. We'll check out the Me channel and just some other stuff here. All right, here we are. We got four Mees. Looks like a small family. K Ray, Drunk Drunken, <laughs> Meg Megadie, and Camster. Oh, so they all got nicknames. That's kind of funny. And next up, we'll check out the console nickname. <laughs> home. Great. Maybe they had two Wii's. They had one at home and one at work. I don't know. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. Here we are, May 2021. Wow. Just dance for over a full day. <laughs> I love seeing the 24 hours, over 24 hours in one day is just awesome. But Just Dance back in, yeah, two years ago, kind of crazy to see how we played that mo that recently. But this console is partially good to go. It works, except for the disk drive, which is obviously an issue. We'll put this console to the side for a future video and repair it. Disk drive issues are pretty easy to repair on a Wii because personally, I just swap out the disk drive. Super easy to do. But let's go ahead and move on to this console and see if it works. All right, three, two, one, we've got power. And oh, no free game, but, but we can put in Mario Kart and see if Mario Kart works on this Wii. Great, got the slow rollers, awesome. Oh, we got a Pokemon Rumble demo? That's so random. I Honestly, I don't remember demos at all from the Wii. Where, where did this come from? Okay, well, Mario Kart's loading up, that's a good sign. And do we have any secret channels? We do not. Let's go ahead and boot up the Mii channel and see what's going on there. Actually, no, 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 no. We'll go to Mario Kart first and check out the Mii's through Mario Kart. Oh, dang. Dude, we got Rob and he's got, he's got gold on everything. Impressive, we also got Caitlyn here. Dude, Rob, what a boss. He actually kind of looks like my me as well. He's got the, the whole afro and everything going on. All right, let's go back to the main menu and check out Rob a little bit closer. Oh, crap. Okay, I see, I see. We got a bunch of me's here. All right, we got Bray Baby. This is so interesting. Every single person here has like a legit name. Here's Rob. We got the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that beat Mario Kart. And everybody else here, I've been searching around and every single one is like a, just like a normal name. There's no gibberish, nothing that was like downloaded by from the Check Me Out channel. It's all, it's like this person just created a bunch of me's on their own, like real people. But let's go ahead and check out the console nickname next. And Wheezy Wee. Oh, nice. Oh, that's, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> I really wish there was a little Wayne me on here now. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's go to the, uh, the calendar here and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, July 2014, we got some play data. Last played, Mario Strikers charged for three minutes. <laughs> Dude, that definitely looks like somebody who just booted up the me for the last or the Wii for the last time to check if it worked, and they're like, "All right, let's get rid of this crap." And now I have it. But the console works, which is awesome. Got the free game in the last console. Uh, but yeah, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to buy any consoles from this lot, go ahead and check out the link down below to my website. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I bought 114 untested Xbox 360s, PS3s, and Wii's from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn our profit. Guys, welcome to the Christmas edition of The Hampton Hall. So we'll start here with this Xbox 360 Slim and flip it to the side. Let's go ahead and check what kind of hard drive you got inside. Feels pretty heavy, so it's, oh, oh, okay, okay. We got a third party drive in here. I have not seen one of these in quite a while. No idea how large that is, but let's go ahead and plug this console in and see if it works. All right, plugged in, let's turn it on, got power, any free games? Nope, no free games, but let's see if it boots. All right, so we got one profile here, Gideon, Gideon Autofilm. <laughs> I bet that's somebody's business. That'd be hilarious, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and boot it up and see what's going on here, see if he's got any saved data. And checking it out, played NBA 2K16 last, Minecraft Pure, and no record of online play, so no idea when this guy played last. Let's go ahead and scroll over to the games, see if we got anything downloaded. <laughs> nope, no nothing. Now, I am curious how many gigs we have here. So it looks like we only have four gigs here, and I'm actually curious if this is onboard storage or if there's a hard drive. Nope, that's onboard storage. Wait, this thing's not even plugged in all the way. Hold on, hold on. Maybe that was not smart. I don't think you can hot swap drives. Oh, it's booting back up automatically. Let's see if that added any more storage. Oh, okay, so it looks like I actually just didn't plug it in all the way when I put it back. So we got another profile here, Inert Muscle 16. That's actually a pretty nice name. Uh, we got 2600 gamer score. 
So we've got a little bit of play data here, or 2100, sorry. Let's go ahead and check this guy's profile out. Got Tony, go to achievements, and last played, uh, yeah, you can't, he's never played online, so there's no record of when he last played. But let me go ahead and check the games again. Maybe we have something downloaded, nope. Uh, now I'm curious what the storage shows here. Oh, we got, was that a 320? Or a three, <laughs> a 300 gig, maybe that's 320. I don't know what the, the capacity actually boils down to, but this huge hard drive and just nothing saved here except for probably some Battlefield 3 and 4 updates, but I guess that's about it. All right, well, let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. So I booted up here and the game is working. So this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jarobgaming.com. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, I have two Wii's to test out. And surprisingly, this one's got both flaps on top. There is no SD card in it. And then this one over here is just uh, <laughs> uh, one of the dirtiest Wii's I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug them in, see if they work. All right, let's start with the one on the right side. Let's go ahead and turn it on and oh, no free game. What? The thing just did the, the eject noise for a good 20 seconds after it turned on. Usually it does that for like five seconds. Okay. All right, now I booted it up, it looks normal. No hidden, hidden channels, no free games. Let's go ahead and put in this random uh, deck of sports three that I have and see if it works. Sweet, so the game is loading up. Let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel and see what's going on here. See if we can find some good Mii's. Oh, come on, man. We got three, three Mii's. We got Mom, Mia, and Skylar. I mean, that's like, <laughs> It's about as normal as you get, I will say, but I always love to see the, the cool customized Mii's. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. So here we are, March 2014, but pfft, never mind. February 2014, there we go, we got some play data. Netflix for <laughs> Netflix for almost the entire day, awesome, <laughs> classic. These people clearly just didn't didn't use their Wii very much. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname as well. Kristen, wait, were any of the names Kristen? I don't, I don't think so. All right, well this console's working, it'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and eject the game. Turn on this bad boy right here and see if it works. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it's not fully working because it just shot the disc out and it's still spinning. Okay, so like it, it works. If you wait long enough to put a disc in, it works fine. But when you eject a disc, just watch what happens. It just tries to keep going. It, it, if the rollers pushed it out further, it would push it out further. And Okay, weird. I mean, it is still working, so I'm gonna leave it alone, but uh, let's go ahead and turn this one off. Are you interested in a free game like Wii Sports or even a Texas Load and Hanson Hall sticker sheet? Well, if you are, it's your lucky day. Check out my link down below to whatnot and get a $15 credit if you sign up today. It's 100% free, no tax, no shipping, anything under $15 will be 100% free. And I only have this stack of games, so once these are gone, they're gone. So go check them out right now before they're sold out. So onto this one, let's turn it on. Oh yeah, we got a game, yes. All right, Wii Sports. Oh, what? FIFA 15, wow, that is extremely random. First of all, I did not even know they were still making FIFA for the Wii in 2015, are you serious? All right, uh, wow, the disc looks perfect as well. well. Let's go ahead and uh, load it up and see if the console works. Oh, 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 we got games, yes. All right, so we got Midnight Bowling, what is this? Okay, I mean, it sounds kind of cool, honestly. We got Galaga, Pokemon Rumble, we've got, oh, the Check Me Out channel's all the way over here. What is this, a Pokemon Rumble demo? <laughs> okay, random, but I'll take it, and of course we have the free, wait, wait. Oh no. We have the free game inside, but it's, oh, it's not loading up. Hold on, let's try it again. It's not even trying to read. I don't hear it spinning at all. Crap. This is one of those consoles that we gotta replace the disk drive. Uh, what I've been doing recently is basically, I'm taking all the broken consoles from the Hampton Hall and putting them in a future episode where I'm gonna try to fix and repair all the broken consoles. So this will go to the side, but we'll check, go ahead and explore the rest of them for now. All right, let's start with the me channel here and see what's on it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh man, we got like 30 me's here maybe? Sweetie Pie, Silas. Oh, is that the, that's the cool grandma. That was definitely made by a grandma who just made a me. <laughs> call, her the cool, call herself the cool grandma. All right, well, most of these me's are actually like pretty normal with just regular names. No, nothing special like check me out level. But let's go ahead and uh, check out the console nickname next. Sublet. No idea what that means. All right, last but not least, we'll check the calendar and see when this thing was last played. Yeah, Ju June 2016, we got some play data. Wii Sports Resort, Michael Jackson, and hold on, what is this other bag of, bag of tricks? Oh, it's just a, <laughs> I love how they put like random, random achievement names on those. All right, well this console is not good to go. This drive doesn't work. Actually, hold on, let me just try a different game first. So this is the free game that came with it. Let me try Deck of Sports, which we know works, and see if that works on this console. Okay, yeah, definitely not. It just, it doesn't even try to read, it just, uh, Slides in and that's about it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up I have a PS3 and this thing is one of the dirtiest PS3s I've ever seen which is saying something because I've seen some dirty PS3s if you know if you know you know. It looks like a desert. <laughs> and here on yeah look on the side just look at those holes clogged up by that dust. That's just uh not great. Now flip it to the bottom we have CECH K01 is the model number so it's either a 40 or an 80 gig 
And oh my goodness, look at all that dust ingrained. I can just see like seed dust flying around. Wow, this thing is, oof, this thing is just filthy. Oh, we also have a warranty sticker on the, the side that's still intact. Well, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, I got the console plugged in. Turn on the power. No yellow light of death yet. No game inside. Let's see if it shows on the screen. Maybe, please. Oh yes, there it is, yes. <laughs> Dude, every time a fat PS3 boots up, I just rejoice because these, these things, uh, they never boot. They just, they just die so easily, especially the backwards compatible ones. Now, of course, this one is not backwards compatible, so it's got a better chance of living. But uh, let's go ahead and scroll through here. Check out the profiles first. We got Sandberg. Let's take a look at the save data utility, seeing this thing as last played. Okay, so this console is used exclusively for YouTube and Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> Wait, hold on. They were playing back Black Ops back in 2013, and then they decided to pull out the PS3 just to watch YouTube. I, I guess that works kind of funny. Check out the message box, see if there's anything here. What's up, cutie? <laughs> the funniest part is when profiles have zero sent messages, or very few, and then they have a bunch of received messages. Uh, that's the case here, not a whole lot going on. Well, let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. And indeed, the game is working, it is booting up. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. The funniest part is, I didn't even mention this, but there's just a giant piece missing right here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, here's our problem. No, the eject mechanism, this mechanism doesn't work. I can see the disc partly out. Hold on, I might be able to grab it and pull it out. So we did get the game out. I had to use some tweezers to kind of slide it out a little bit. I don't think I damaged the disc at all. No, it's still good. All right. <laughs> okay, so this console does need some work. Uh, I guess we'll <laughs> put it to the side and work on it in a future video. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console now. So next up, we got the Rare PS2, because there are only two PS2s in the entire Hampton Hall lot. So we got one of them here. And this one actually looks a lot better than the other one did. The other one was just super beat up. This one's not bad at all. And oh, we got some, uh, <laughs> apparently they were selling it for $72 at some point, console only. Pretty crazy price, especially from Goodwill where it's untested. But uh, you got this giant gaping hole in the back for your, you know, your bay that's not used. But yeah, other than that, it actually doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. All right, console's plugged in. Let's turn the on, on switch, hit the power there. And is there a game inside? Oh, crap, no game inside. But the disk drive opened up perfectly. Console's booting up. Let's go ahead and put a game in. We got GTA Vice City. And it looks like the clock battery is bad. That's not surprising at all. Most of these consoles are <laughs> bad clock batteries at this point. Let's go ahead and see if it reads up. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, showing up. Classic, dude, this, oh, I haven't played a PS2 in quite a while, but this brings back so, mem so many memories every time I boot this up to the, the memory card and see that disc pop up. Man, I, I put so many hours into my PS2. Got it when I was like, you know, I don't know, eight years old or whatever. Played ATV2, Off-Road Fury. I played the Incredibles game, bunch of bunch of like movie tie-in games. So I was a kid, oh, Madagascar, Panda Express. And that's not called Panda Express. What is that movie called? Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> oh yeah, here it is loading up. And man, this game brings back so many memories. Not even because I had this game. I, I didn't have this game. I, my parents would not have let me bought this when I was, or purchased this when I was seven or eight years old. But my friend had it. And he had this, uh, he had a piece of paper printed out with all the cheat codes so you could like, you know, basically go in an open world and kind of just roam around like so and do like, you know, X triangle, square, square, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, and just a bunch of ridiculous combinations and then out of the sky, a helicopter would appear. Good times, man. I, I miss those times sometimes. But this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, I have a couple Wii consoles. We, of course, have the infamous black GameCube compatible Wii here. Let's see if there's an SD card inside. There is not. Now, over here, we have a white one, which... Wait, hold on. Where did that... <laughs> did you guys see that giant yellow stain on the back? How did that happen? And then, what is this? Okay, I... Very strange Wii. Uh, no SD card. In... Wait, wait. Yeah, no SD card inside. Let's, let's plug them in and see if they work. All right, black one's plugged in, turn it on. And man, another console, no free game. I, I really want another Pokemon XD from a, the same thing I got a few weeks ago, but checking this console out, no secret channels. Let's go ahead and just start out with a uh, game and see what happens. Yeah, we got Deck of Sports loading up here and the, the Wii sounds fine. I don't hear any weird issues. Let's go ahead and start with the Mii channel and see what's up there. And we got, wait, is that <laughs> is that Waluigi down there? Tool, tool C, okay, man. That, Kind of looks like Waluigi from afar. Not much else going on here. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was, this, this thing was played. All right, December 2014, we got some play data. Just Dance 2015, nice. It's always, guys, it's always December when you see the last play data. Not always, but pretty often. It makes sense, it's like Christmas time. People are playing games. Let's go ahead and last but not least, check out the console nickname. Ram Noreen, somebody's name maybe? I don't know. Console's working perfectly fine though. Let's go ahead and eject the disc, plug this one in, see if it works. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. Yes, yes, free game. Let's go. It's always the always the dirtiest Wii's that have the free games inside. All right, and <laughs> Wii Sports every time, baby. Let's go. All right, we have this giant. What is that? A spill? Somebody spilled some coke on the Wii Sports. Dude, this thing is mutilated. 
My goodness. I bet it still works, though. It's Wii Sports. It's invincible. All right, let's uh, boot it up and see if it does work. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Oh, no. I've never heard a noise, noise like that from a disk drive. Yeah, that's that's not good. All right, turn this bad boy off. Let's take the disk out, and I'm going to try a different disk to see if it's a disk issue or a console issue. I would wager probably a console issue because this thing was making some really strange noises that I've never heard before. But let's try out Decca Sports 3 and see what it does. Yep, so that's not working either. Great. So we have another bad disk drive. Let's keep scrolling through here. We got the Mario Kart channel. Let's go ahead and just check out the, the Me channel next and see if we got anything interesting. Wait, wait, hold on. What is what is that thing? <laughs> no words. All right. We also got Kara, Matthew, Callie, Mom, and Daddy. Okay. Uh, no more comments on that one. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname on this one. I, after seeing that, I can't imagine it's going to be good. Scooter. <laughs> now, I'm too lazy right now to scroll through the calendar to find the last time this thing was played because it takes forever, but uh, this console is not really working. We'll put it to the side, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, I have an Xbox 360 Slim, and the first thing I noticed is this $49.99 price sticker in the corner. I guess Goodwill tried to sell it by itself on at some point in time. Now, flip it to the side. Do we have a hard drive? We do not. One of the, one of the rare ones of the Hampton Hall. But let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, let's see if we got power. We do. Do we have a free game? Maybe. Yes, we got <laughs> Madden 13. I should not be excited for that because it's like a $2 game. It does look really good, though. Let's plug it, put it back in and see if the console boots. And, of course, the game auto boots when I boot the console up. And it is working, so at least we know that's good to go. Now, let's go back to the main menu and see if there's any profiles here. So, we got Spida 757. And the 757 is actually the area code of where I bought this console from, Virginia Beach. Let's check them out right here. And last thing played here is Madden NFL 13, which makes sense because it was in the disk drive. And it's also what I just booted up. Now, oh, wow. This console was legitimately played back in 2022. Hey, that's pretty, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. This is such an odd play history. He played on the same day, Madden NFL 25, Madden NFL 9, Madden NFL 11, NCAA football 07, five days earlier, NFL 15, 07. I don't really know what to say. That's just, that's just such an odd play history to play that many different variations of the game within that short of a time frame. I don't know. Let's also try D-Nice here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. D-Nice. That's from a Keen Appeal skit, isn't it? I don't know. That's funny. All right. Zero gamer score. Nothing there. Uh, let's see if we can get any, get any games. Nope. No games. Do we have family settings turned on? We do not. And we saw the game works. So this console is good to go. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, we have a basically mutilated Xbox 360E. I mean, just look at that glossy portion, man. I can't believe they made this revision and still kept it glossy. Uh, warranty seal is still intact. Let's go ahead and check out the hard drive here. I really hope we have a 250, maybe, please. Oh, no. Another 4 gig. Let's plug it in, see if it works. All right. I hope this thing doesn't read red ring again. Okay, good. We got life. Any games inside? Oh, I think I heard one. Yes. <laughs> Dude, really? FIFA 14? Come on, man. I mean, the disc looks good, but FIFA 14? Really? All right. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. And of course, FIFA 14 auto boots. So we know that's good to go. Let's go ahead and see if we got some profiles. Yeah, we got four profiles. We got J.A. Moore. We got Jared A. Moore, probably the same person. Kiki and Kingston. All right, Jared A. Moore is the only one with the Xbox Live profile. So let's sign in, go back, and check out this guy's profile. Actually, we can check out the profile here. I forgot about that. So we can see no motto, no location, no bio. Doesn't exist. A three-star rep. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and check out the games this person played. Last played FIFA 14. Obviously, that's what's booted up. I also got GTA 5, decent amount of uh, play history there. And yeah, first thing played was Call of Duty Ghosts. Wait, hold on. NASCAR the game 2011. I did not even know that existed. But you can actually, oh, you can see the date, 2019. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what the date is on these GTA 5 achievements real quick. 2018. Okay, so this thing was played fairly recently for a 360. But anyways, this console is good to go. Uh, maybe. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the main menu and see if there's any games downloaded. We got Sky Skydive. What is that? Okay, so yeah, you're just straight up a skydiver. Uh, press A to start. Oh, okay. Why Why have I never seen or heard of this game before? It looks like a new take on SSX or something, but it, how do I, what do I do? Oh, 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 okay. Uh, you know, I, I would think you could do tricks, but nope. Oh, oh, that's not good. Interesting game, never heard of it, but I see why now. All right, let's go ahead and take the game out, and this console's good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, I have three dirty Wii consoles. You can see dirt, dirt, and more dirt. This console's already plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on, see what it does. And wait, <laughs> oh, this is the, oh, this, oh, okay. First of all, 
Look at that disc. No way that works. Actually, maybe that's just dirt. But taking a step back, I think this is the Wii console I saw in the lot when I was unboxing it, where there was a copy of Wii Play hanging out of the console upside down. Because basically this game just kind of loaded itself in when I booted it up, or when I tried to boot it up. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if that works. And uh, yeah, free game. Now the Wii itself is pretty standard, but unfortunately the game is not loading up. I wonder if that's a game issue. Uh, this game it looks terrible, so it's probably a game issue. Let me go ahead and put in a, another Wii game and see if it works. Hey, there we go. All right, so it is a bad copy of Wii Play. I do actually have a, a disc resurfacing machine I can try to fix that with, but Wii Sports is, is working. Let's go ahead and boot up Wii Sports and check out the Miis. All right, booting up some tennis. We got a bunch of ran. Oh, there's actually a lot of Miis here. Hold on. Dude, 45 Miis? Let's go. Finally. Finally, somebody with a bunch of Miis. Now, half of them, wait, wait. Half of them have the exact same name. Something sketchy is going on here. Let me, let me just try to play as Aaron right here, see what happens. Then we'll go back to the Mii channel and get some more details. Of course we're playing against Matt. Are you kidding me? Take that, Matt. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know I don't know the bodybuilding poses. Now back to the me channel and holy crap. Yeah, we definitely do have like 45 me's. I don't know why there's so many repeated though. Like, look, Aaron, Aaron, Salome. There's multiple Salomes. I, what, what is going on here? Animal love. Yeah, my favorite. Er, Ernest, no, how good is it? Big J. Let's go. Kind of looks like me a little bit too. Like got my same hair color. Wait, I didn't even notice it said Jacob. Of course it's me. All right, <laughs> let's go back and check out the console nickname. I bet it's Salome. Jules to Gabe. I feel like they can miss me a lot of different things. I'm not gonna speculate. I'll just take a step back and say this console is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to this middle console now. All right, let's turn it on. And yes, free game. Pokemon, <laughs> Wii Sports, what, what do you know? Another copy of Wii Sports, another mutilated copy of Wii Sports, but I'm sure it'll work. Let's, uh, let's test it out. Okay, it, it is working, but the disk drive is making a strange noise. Let's go ahead and just start here with the, the me channel. Okay, I see you got, what is that, seven me's? And uh, yeah, pretty standard me's here. Let's go ahead and check out the console nickname, ba Baco. No idea what that means, but uh, I'm feeling a little lazy right here, so I'm not gonna go to the cal calendar and scroll back to find the last play data because that takes like 10 minutes for me to do. But let's go ahead and uh, eject this disc. Console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. And let's test out this third we here and see if we get in another free game. All right, turn it on and yes. Free game. Wait, I didn't even check there's an, F F there's an SD card. Nope, no SD card. All right, I'll leave your guesses down below. What's the free game in here? I'm guessing Mario Kart. Oh, dude, we got a Super Paper Mario in here, and it looks good. Dude, I have never seen this game. I didn't know it existed on the Wii. I've never played it. Uh, let's go ahead and first see if it works. Hold on, let me see how much this game's worth. Okay, nothing crazy, not too bad. Actually, I do recognize this game now. I just didn't, did not recognize that disc. It goes for about 15 bucks, so not bad at all. And it is loading up. Let's go ahead and, why are there two messages here? Oh, that means this thing's not been booted up in ages. If I just got these messages today about the Wii, <laughs> the Wi-Fi discontinuation in 2014, this thing's not been booted up since before 2014, which is always crazy to see. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel. It's actually just amazing to think about the fact that this game has been sitting in here since 20, before 2014, nobody ever knew. Nobody ever thought to look for it. But here we got the me channel. We've got Bossy. Yeah, he sure does look bossy. Oh, my favorite, Ehuga. Christina's got a big mouth. But all right, no, no, nothing too crazy here. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and check out the console nickname. Oh no, dude, this is definitely a college Wii. Sweet 7003. This definitely came from a college dorm room. Oh, that's actually really that's hilarious. So this these people, yeah, it makes sense. So these people bought this Wii back in, let's say they went to college in 2010. And yeah, they made all those Mies. Those Mies were probably the people in their dorm. And then they got rid of it when they went to, when they left college. And that was that. And that's hilarious. That's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna scroll back and find the last time this thing was played. Here we go, February 2012. Yeah, there's our last play data. Netflix, nice. Got tired of playing Super Mario, Paper Mario and just watching Netflix is the last, the last hurrah. Wait, let's check out this one. Paper Mario, nope, there's Wii Sports. I don't know where the Paper Mario playtime came from then, but anyways, guys, this console is good to go. It is making a slightly loud disk drive noise, but still working. Uh, it's good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And actually, there's no consoles left. This is the last console of the Hampton Hall. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe we'll have some bonus episodes, and we definitely will have some actually bonus episodes with fixing or repairing consoles. So, check those out in a few weeks. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Hampton Hall so far, and I'll see you next time. I bought a ton of untested Xbox 360s from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna try to fix a few of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to a bonus episode of The Hampton Hall. 
Now we're gonna start with this console right here. And if I remember correctly, this does have the Blaze dashboard, but it doesn't read games. And flip into the back, you can see the manufacturer date is from 2006. There's no HDMI port. And from the power port, you can tell it's a Xenon motherboard. Uh, so let's plug it in, kind of verify what's going on with it and then see if we can fix it. And dude, oh, this is the console that I think is the best console in the Hampton Hall. Not only was it the Blaze dashboard, but it had so much history here. You can just see we have this one profile here with a 4,000 gamer score, and the, <laughs> the motto is your mom's couch. I mean, like, what more could you ask for from a, a console from 06? Now you can see down here we have an unplayable disc. I tried out, you know, of course, our old Call of Duty here, Call of Duty 2. The disc is perfect, and I've used it on other, other uh, consoles, so I know it's an issue with the disc drive. Now let me just like listen to it real quick and see if we can figure out what our issue is exactly. So I hear it trying to spin up a little bit. It, it's probably, I mean, with a broken disk drive like this, it's either a dirty laser or we need to replace the laser. It could be a bad motor, um, could be a few other things as well. So we'll go ahead and open this console up and see what the disk drive looks like and hope we don't break it in the process. Let's go ahead and start by taking these uh, side pieces off. <laughs> Dude, are you serious? Ironically, I mentioned a minute ago about not breaking the console in the process of, uh, of fixing it, but it's just breaking in the process of opening it up. It's so brittle. I've seen this on a few old 360s where they just get so brittle that you can, you basically just trying to pry pieces off and they, things just start breaking. So this is, this is not a good sign for it. Now I just want to note here that it is partially my fault that this console fell apart right here because uh, I was pulling at it at a weird angle because it wouldn't come apart the same way that I've taken apart hundreds of other 360s. Uh, but it is still just a very brittle 360 as you'll see later in the video. What in the, <laughs> pieces are just falling all over the place. Another one. All right, the other side released in a much more reasonable manner. Now, although it's still still a bit broken, um, let's go ahead and ooh, that's, yeah, it's dusty. Let's go ahead and open it all the way up and see what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, this thing's gonna need a case swap. I just like release these pins here, and they're just they're just falling apart. All of them are falling apart. Wow, pieces are flying everywhere. But we got oh my gosh. Okay, got this piece off. And yeah, it's, a, it's pretty dusty in here. It's not actually not awful for how old this thing is. Got the console on, disk drive open, uh, disk inside. Uh, what I did next is I took the magnet out of the middle so we can kind of run the disk drive on its own without the top so we can kind of see what's happening. So I stick the magnet there. It should run as normal. You can kind of see the laser and you can see the red dots right there, but it doesn't seem to be moving at all. Yes, yeah, so that laser is not moving at all. That tells me a couple, it, it really doesn't answer any questions. It could be a bad laser. I believe the laser, doesn't start moving unless it reads something. So it could just be a bad laser and that's why it's not moving back and forth. Uh, could also be a bad motor, but I will say this feels pretty smooth. But the first thing I'm gonna do here is try to clean the laser and uh, see what that does. All right guys, forget what I just said. We're gonna jump straight into trying to replace the laser. I ordered some, they came pretty quickly. So it's been quite a while since I replaced a 360 laser, honestly, probably like a decade. But uh, from what I remember, it's a pretty straightforward process. We basically need to remove this, uh, this pole right here, this one right here, slide the laser off and slide the new one on. Um, we're going to flip over here and take off this PCB on the bottom first. I already got a few of the ribbon cables off. Uh, last one we need, to, we need to take off connects to the laser down here. So let me just pull that out. All right, PCB off. We'll put that to the side. Okay, cool. So that was super easy. I removed those two screws down there and these little, they just basically popped out. And I should be able to slide the laser off like so now. Boom. And I already took off that screw right there. So now we can pop off this little mechanism from the laser and put on an... Oh, <laughs> Good thing that's our bad laser because I just dropped it. I'll put that to the side. I have my new laser here and this laser is specific to this drive So I had to you know, obviously order these so first thing we'll do is pop this little uh, Mechanism back onto the the new laser and it just kind of slides in place like so I'm also going to clean off some of that gunk right there. and We'll put some new Lubrication on it later got that cleaned up a bit and now it's pretty simple kind of just put it back on the same way it came so I gotta make sure I don't touch my laser here, but we'll go ahead and slide Slide this through here, and then this piece right here will clip on as well. And now I just take the little black piece out, drop the pole in place, put that little piece back on. Same thing down here. Those two screws are in. Put in this final black screw into the little mechanism that connects to the worm gear. All right, that's back into place. Now next up, we need to put the PCB back in place as well. Our ribbon cables are back in place. I can pop the, pop the PCB back in, flip this over. The laser looks like it's flowing nicely. All right, guys, moment of truth. We'll first start by turning the console on. Cool. Oh, oh! I just saw the laser move. Ooh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Get our little mechanism there. Oh, oh, oh! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh! Thanks. Looking at this thing, I'm definitely thinking it's like the the worm motor or something now because uh, it's you, you can't really see it from your angle. But let me just go ahead and inject this thing. Wait, now it's spinning. Come on. Okay, so we eject it, and basically what I saw it doing is I saw the same thing as before, where the the laser is like kind of inching around, like do 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 do. 
and uh, trying to read the game, but it's not really moving back and forth fast enough. All right, guys, so I basically confirmed it is a bad worm motor. Uh, I uh, basically plugged the disk drive back in. I looked at the worm motor kind of under it and saw it was doing nothing. Um, I tore through a bunch of other 360s I have here to see if I have another worm motor that's compatible, uh, and I don't because this is like the rarest Xbox 360 drive. Uh, this console has become a nightmare at this point because I have to keep ordering so many parts. And uh, <laughs> basically, we're going to do three more repairs in this video. But to be honest, we're going to have to cut the Hampton Hall repair videos like way short because I just have so many of these things I've been trying to repair for weeks on end. And it's just becoming like nightmare fuel at this point for how much time I've spent on these consoles trying to order parts. And I've come up with, there's been plenty of other issues that are not, not even in videos that you guys don't know about. And uh, yeah, so let me know down below what you guys want to see in the Hampton Hall repair videos. But I I'm probably going to select like, two or three more consoles after this video to repair and that's it um, because I just frankly do not have time to fix 25 broken consoles with the, the various issues these have um, and still do two videos a week on this channel. So guys, uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console now. Do you want a free game like Call of Duty Black Ops, Mario Kart, or Super Smash Bros? Well, if you do, hit that link down below, sign up for whatnot. You'll get any of my games under $15, 100% free, no tax, no shipping, 100% free. So go check it out. Got a bunch of other games as well, and I'll see you guys there. So next console I have here is a 360 Slim, and I believe the issue had something to do with the flash memory on the board. So let me just like boot this thing up and see what it does and verify the issue. Okay, yeah, I remember this one. So basically I booted up, and it actually seems to be working this time. But if I remember correctly, uh, you can see that there's some something going on here because we have two of the same exact profile But if I, I think if I boot one of these up, it'll freeze on the menu and that's why I think there's bad flash memory Let me uh, let's just keep going. Yes, yeah, so you can see when I booted up this profile now It's just kind of frozen on this <laughs> this pop-up right here, which shouldn't happen uh, on a normal 360 So this console doesn't have a hard drive attached. I don't think um, actually it does hold on Let me just unplug the hard drive first. All right hard drive is out and you can see there's still some profiles popping up Let's just select one here and see what happens this time. Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, it's kind of the same deal without the hard drive. I, I try to load up a profile, it freezes, and it's just stuck now, which is why I think it's a bad flash memory on the board. Uh, this should be pretty easy to fix, honestly. We open it up, pull off the flash memory, see if it fixes it. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy off, open the console up, and see what it looks like on the inside. All right, guys, I got the console opened up. It is a bit dusty in here, nothing too crazy, but you can see right here we have the flash memory on the board. Uh, basically, there's four gigs built into this console. Now, luckily, this is the correct motherboard that you can actually pull the flash memory off the board. The other motherboard, I can't remember if it's Corona or Trinity, which one is which, but one of the motherboards, basically the flash memory is built into the board and you'd have to solder it off. This one is just like able to pull off. So let's go ahead and try to just snap it off. Whoop, well that kind of <laughs> didn't mean to snap it off like that, but okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so basically it was held in by this uh, proprietary connector right there. And yeah, four gigs gone. I, I think it'll work now with that off. Let's go ahead and just plug the disk drive back in, turn the console on and see what it does. Okay, cool, it's on and wait, hold on this game inside. <laughs> We got Destiny inside. I guess I didn't even make it this far before, but let me go ahead and, why is the controller not connected? There we go, okay, controller's connected. Let's go ahead and see if we can scroll around and, um, oh, I was, <laughs> I was looking for the profiles, but the profiles are obviously not on here because I took the hard drive out or the, uh, the built-in memory out. But I'm able to scroll around, click on my games, and okay, it's working, working much better than it was before so far. Let me go ahead and turn this back off now, and we'll go back and put the 320 gig hard drive back into the console, turn it back on, and see if we can use it like a, a normal Xbox now. Okay, okay, I see. We got some profiles here, and I actually, if this works properly, I can explore some profiles that I did not explore in the Hampton Hall. So first we got Jets Day Fly with 11,000 gamer score. He's got the, <laughs> he's got the, what is it, the, the 1776 fit on. Uh, we got Love, Meagle, Pizza Guy Zero. What, what kind of helmet does he have on there? Uh, <laughs> player one, player two, and Recalled Feline. All right, let's go ahead and try out Jets Day Fly and see if it'll actually sign in this time. Yes, let's go. All right, we signed in. We're on the profile. We're on the main page now. Can I boot up his profile? Yes, I'm Trick Daddy. Let's go, Trick Daddy. Trippy Nation. <laughs> Chesapeake, Virginia. Makes sense. I bought this in Virginia. Uh, let's see the last time this thing was played. 2013. Okay, so yeah, definitely just uh, bought a PS4, Xbox One, and stopped playing as 360. Now let's check out the first time I played as 2011, Call of Duty World at War. All right, well, guys, this console seems to be working now. Let's keep exploring, though. So let's check out the My Games tab. We, ooh, ooh, we got 19 games. Hold on. We got Air Mech Arena. That's a full game. We got Defiance, Destiny, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment. We got Mafia 2. Ju oh, we got Just Cause 2. Let's go, dude. Jackpot. This calls for a boot up. Oh, boot up Just Cause 2. There's nobody, there's no save data, at least on this profile here. Oh, man, that's so tragic. Did, did anybody else play the Just Cause 2 demo like crazy? Like, I, I, I can't even explain how many hours I spent on that demo. Uh, basically, they gave you like a little, a little mini map you could run around in and just blow stuff up, and it was so much fun. Uh, let me check out, let me just check this out and see if I can figure out which profile has some Just Cause 2 save data. 
All right, well, apparently nobody it just, has the, it just has the game installed. I mean, it's better than nothing. But let's go ahead and check out their other profiles now and see if we can find some more uh, interesting stuff. So we got Pizza Guy Zero is Xbox Live profile and recalled feline as well. We'll try out Pizza Guy first. <laughs> Pretty funny name. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> let's go. Uh, he's got, let's see. Last game played appears to be Castle Crashers in 2014. Okay, I see you. All right, well, this console, fully working. Pretty easy fix. Uh, we'll put it to the side. It'll be listed on my website down below if you want to check it out. Uh, let's move on to the next console now. All right, next up we got console number 59 here, which is apparently the cool one. Um, it's a, uh, what is this? Looks like a Falcon, I think. And look at the top. Oh, that's why That's why it's the cool one. It's got a, all the Turtle Beach and Cliff Bar stickers. Nice. Uh, apparently this one has a stuck disk drive. Well, let's plug it in, turn it on, and see what happens. All right, turn it on. Let's go ahead and try to open the disk drive. And yeah, it definitely is stuck. Okay, it, it shoots out once I bang on the top, which is not surprising. But ooh, even this like this part right here is kind of sticky and gross. Um, uh, yeah, I bet this thing just needs a good cleaning and it'll pull in and out. Let's go ahead and see if, it, if, if the game even reads. All right, we also got a bunch of profiles here, which I'm sure I, I explored it at some point in time. Um, but we'll check them out again. Uh, we got blue cornbread. <laughs> got teas and nuts. <laughs> I definitely did explore this one at some point. Uh, double flip dog, phase killer, salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and boot up, boot up. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, I definitely remember this now. Okay, let's try out salt and pepper though. Oh, it's got a, yeah, yeah, yeah it's the one with the, the, the passcode. Oh, classic. Um, let's go ahead and see if this game works. Okay, cool, so game does load up. So the laser is good. Uh, we just gotta fix the disk drive so that it actually shoots out. Oh, it's working now, but it still has some issues. So let's, let's open it up, see how dirty it is on the inside and we'll try to fix it. Oh, <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. It's one of those Xboxes. Oh no, oh gosh, this, <laughs> this console's filthy. There's dust going everywhere. Oh man, this thing is caked in dust. Yeah, so that's not great. That'll definitely give you issues with your old consoles if they're caked in dust. But let's go ahead and pull this, uh, this disk drive out and open it up. So I'm actually gonna start here by just wiping down the entire outside of the disk drive because it's filthy. Yeah, we don't want it to be filthy, especially this, this front piece, right? Wow, great. Broken pieces just falling apart. But uh, especially this front piece right here, which is like, caked in this like disgustingness um this is probably not helping the issue here all right that's looking a lot better now got the entire thing wiped down you can see the front right there just has um most of that crap gone <laughs> so let's open it up and see what the inside looks like oh no oh my goodness <laughs> all right that's not a good sign when the bottom looks like that and then wow there's just like little pieces of or big pieces of dust just caked everywhere hair and stuff all right we're sliding it out now um the gears right here actually don't look terribly dirty and dusty. <laughs> Not as much as I thought they would compared to everything else. Uh, well, let me just go ahead and I, I guess I'll just spend the next 15 minutes uh, cleaning out some of this dust and grime. All right, got the drive mostly cleaned up and here's uh, our uh, Q-tips. I even That's not even all of them. I threw some of them away. Very dirty inside of here. Now I could get a little bit cleaner if I took it apart literally everything, but I'm not gonna do that here. Um, but something important to show you that actually I haven't cleaned yet. Uh, I took the, uh, the rubber band or the, the belt as they call it um, that strings around there to there. That's basically what causes the drive to open up. Um, I took this off, we'll replace this because this is old and brittle and kind of stretched out. We'll also clean around these little wheels right here with a ice purple alcohol and a Q-tip and clean that up. And, and you know, that's typically the main reason why these consoles stop opening up or get stuck, um, just because that band stretches out or slips. All right, got that cleaned up. Now, next thing we're gonna do is lube up a couple of these rails. So this rail right here, this one here, and the worm gear there, and also this gear right here, we'll put some, um, some of our lithium grease that I have here, some white lithium grease. All right, we got all the grease on there. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and replace this band, which is really the most critical part. So we'll go ahead and, you wanna make sure you have a clean hand, string it around this piece, uh, like so, and then bang. Now, let's we'll see if we can spin this bad boy. Ooh, yeah, that's, wait, hold on. Okay, there we go, all right. <laughs> I accidentally missed the gear the first time, but there we go, you can see it's spinning around. Uh, it's much tighter, which it might actually have to loosen out for a few days to, to be in precision form. That's not the right word. Uh, let's go and put this thing back together, plug it in, and see if it works a bit better now. All right, console's plugged in, turn it on. Let's go ahead and eject, hit that eject button, see what it does. Let's go. Now let me go ahead and close the tray here, make sure it closes properly. Cool, all right, that's working a whole lot better. Now there is one, still one slight issue. Let me just show you. So basically when it opens up, it doesn't actually open quite all the way. It has to kind of like hiccup into place. Let me show you one more time. Basically, you can see the disk drive kind of like pops into place because the, the band is so tight now. So the, <laughs> that's kind of the problem is this band went from being super loose to really tight. So the band's gonna have to stretch out a little bit. 
um, I might actually go in there and stretch it out a little bit with my fingers and then put it back in. And uh, this happens with pretty much every time I replace the band. It just kind of has to stretch out for a few days, few weeks before it kind of, it'll never work exactly the same as the OEM band, I'll be honest, but um, it's better than it being stuck all the time. So uh, let me go ahead and just play with that a little bit more. But essentially, as you can see, it is, it is working properly now. So let's go ahead and move on to the next console now. All right, guys, so next up, we're gonna try to fix this Xbox One here that doesn't turn on. Now, when I tried it last time, basically it just, got no power at all. So my theory here is that the faceplate is dislodged and it's just um, basically disconnected from the board altogether. And all I need to do is basically swap this faceplate with a new one and maybe it'll work. I don't know, uh, but let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it's still doing the same thing. Yeah, so plugged in and when I just pr try to press the power button here, just nothing, no response at all. The sync button doesn't work either. The eject button doesn't work. Just nothing's connected at all. So I, th I have a feeling the ribbon cable that plugs in from the faceplate to the board is just completely uh, disconnected. So let's go ahead and try to pop open this Xbox One and take a look on the inside. I've never actually opened one of these before, so uh, good luck to me. All right, I actually got this top piece off a bit easier than I thought it would be, probably because it was already dislodged. But um, yeah, there's some oof. I don't know if you guys can see this yet, but it's just a massive dust bunny right here. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Uh, we're kind of straddled right now by a... Oh yeah, it's not even, nothing's even plugged in. No wonder this thing's not working. Hold on, hold on. Dude, look, even the speaker right here is just like, it was just kind of stuck back here. Uh, this thing, no wonder this thing came off so easily. It's just nothing is plugged in at all. All right, so we got the top piece off now, and yeah, you can just see how disgusting this thing is. Dust over here in the fan. Got your speaker unplugged. And yeah, so basically this, uh, this ribbon cable right here is supposed to be plugged into the faceplate or into the motherboard so that the faceplate actually works and it just was not plugged in at all. Let me just go ahead and actually completely remove the faceplate from the top piece here, and we'll try to plug it in and see if it works. Got the faceplate off, and the faceplate actually doesn't look too bad. It was just a, it looks like somebody, I don't know, maybe they tried to open it up and failed, or maybe they dropped it. My guess is they probably dropped it, honestly. Um, we've got that piece plugged back in. Let's go ahead and plug the ribbon cable back in as well. And just from like a visual inspection of the faceplate and the ribbon cable, they, they look fine. So my guess is that was, probably the issue I and mean, even the, the connector looks okay as well uh, but that's plugged in now so let me just go ahead and plug the console back in and we'll see what it does now oh oh hold on hold on oh it's doing something okay 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 so uh basically the, <laughs> the front button here is still not working the, the faceplate is not working at all but i stuck my finger in here and i guess i i, I shorted a connection or something and it, it, it's causing it to turn on so that tells me it's definitely a bad faceplate or a bad connector here let me go ahead and plug in the hdmi cable and see if it shows up on the screen this is so interesting. So I guess the connector is just completely jacked up because when I just like touch the connector, it causes it to turn on. What in the world? And now it's turning off. That is so strange. Oh, okay. Oh, we're actually booted up. Nice. Now I got to figure out how to connect a controller here. Ooh, actually I might can connect a third party controller that doesn't need the sync button. Hold on, hold on. Let me try that. Oh, yo, let's go guys. All right, I got my Xenon controller hooked up from Hyperkin here. A third party. <laughs> third party comes to save the day, finally. Uh, and we can scroll around here. We got uh, Lunar on 60 FPS is the profile here. Got Netflix, Overwatch 2, Fortnite, Civilization, uh, UFC 4. Let me go ahead and just check out all the games and apps and see what's going on here. Uh, it's about the same stuff. Um, apps are pretty standard as well. Looks like we got 55 gigs free. I wonder how much storage space this thing has. Should be 500 gigs. Yeah, definitely 500 gigs. Let's go ahead and put a game inside of this console and see if that works. Well, I guess not, because I just took my disc in and it's doing absolutely nothing. Uh, let me see if I can... F crap, how do I eject this now? Just take a gamble on... Oh, oh, there it goes. Okay, never mind. Came out. Let me go ahead and just like... Sometimes, in my experience with Xbox One, sometimes you got to put the disc in and out like four times when you boot up a console for the first time in quite a while before it'll start reading. So let me just uh, try that method out and see if it'll start reading at some point. Also, I can't get over the fact that I'm quite literally just pressing on this connector on the board for it to work. Let me just uh, show you a video of this. So I, write, I put the disc in, right? And to eject it, I'm just pressing... Oh, crap, I turned it off. No, 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 come on. I'm just quite literally pressing on this, <laughs> this ribbon cable connector to get stuff to work. What in the world? All right, I've ejected the game and put it back in like six times now, and it's still doing the same thing. Well, actually, now it's trying to read up, but it's not reading at all. Um, honestly, I'm not even going to bother to fix it because Xbox Ones are like 95% of people are using them all digital anyway because of Game Pass. I just don't see the point in fixing an Xbox One fat disk drive at this point in time, to be completely honest. All right, guys, so a note to make here. Uh, first of all, the bad Xbox One is over here. This is a completely fine, good Xbox One, and let me just explain something that I found out. So apparently... Pressing on this connector right here actually does turn on and off your Xbox One. It's just like kind of a, 
it's not a feature, but it's just something that happens with the Xbox One. I have no idea why, uh, but it's actually a workaround in case your faceplate goes bad. Um, but uh, I basically took the faceplate off this good one, put it on the bad one we were just looking at, and sure enough, it was just a bad, bad faceplate because the faceplate is working fine now. I can turn it on and off and eject the disc and everything. So. Uh, yeah, console is actually good to go now. Just, just a new faceplate. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you want to see next. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.